Pink Poodle Crafts, join the Poodle Pack. It's time to get creative and make you laugh. Make your own art today. Pink Poodle Crafts is the way. What a good boy. Pink Poodle Hello, everybody. Hello, 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 hello. Hi, Sharon and JD and Renee and Suzanne. Hi, Susan. Haven't seen you in a while. Where have you been, lady? We've missed you. How's everybody doing today? It's hump day. <laughs> it's hump day. Everybody have a good hump today? <laughs> I need to clean my glasses. I need to clean my glasses. Chicken butt. Is that the right guess? <laughs> Hi, Debbie. So what's everybody doing? Working on anything fun? I'm officially starting my fall and Halloween crafting. Oh yeah? Ooh, fun. He'll be there Friday? Awesome. I, I want to see videos of him when, when he gets there. He's going to annoy the crap out of the older dogs. <laughs> You're working on your lunch and you're working on a mini album. We well, all need to stop what you're doing and work along with me today. I'm going to mix media mashup because we're doing it a little differently. Hi, Rhonda. So you don't have to gesso a paper today. So don't gesso it. You don't have to gesso anything today. Oh, why is that still going? I have to fix my nightbot. My nightbot's still on auction mode for some reason. I thought I fixed that. Oh, that's right. I didn't go live after the after the auction. So I think I, usually I'll catch it then and, and fix it. But I didn't. So, so hmm. I need to fix it now. get rid of that and get rid of that and get rid of that okay that should do it that should do it so today we're going to do things a little differently we are going to um instead of doing the cards what we're going to do is we are going to make some quick and easy fall slash well we're going to do fall today um if we have time we'll do uh well maybe we'll do halloween too but we're going to make some quick and easy fall mixed media backgroundy type papers um today that are going to be pretty easy and quick to do. So if you're interested in playing along, let me know. And I will inform you on what you need. So if you if you don't have it out, it's fine. Take your time. Because I, I, I purposely didn't get, even though I had time, I purposely didn't get what I needed out necessarily because I figured this way, you if you guys need to get something out to, to play along, you can get it out while I'm getting it out. This way you won't feel rushed because there's no rush. Um, but you won't need that much or anything. It's not going to be major, but in case, cause I know some people might not have like certain things out. 
You know what I'm saying? You feel? Dang it. This bead has been underneath my glass thing for like ever. <laughs> Hi, Tina. You're in? You gonna play along? So, if you want to play along, um, I'm going to make like, hmm, because also we are going to do like a little project afterwards, a really simple one. So, but a really cute one, really easy. So, um, and then you'll also have tons of papers to play with for fall. So, um, we're going to probably make like, maybe like 10 papers. So if you want to, the first thing you can gather is gather some different papers that you might have. So you can use, you can take a watercolor paper. Like I'm going to take this one and I'm going to cut it. And I'm just going to cut it, eyeball it and cut it in half because it's a big piece. Or you can use like, you know, so I'll have to like two random size, you know, like the, the size of papers we're going to do is like up to about eight and a half by 11, not anything really bigger than that. So these aren't even quite that big. These are obviously 11 inches at least, but yeah, they're 11 inches by like whatever. Cause I cut them in half by like what? Six, something like that. Yeah. So I'll have two of those and then I'm going to get a few other papers. Like I'll get uh, a couple pieces of copy paper. I'll get um, a piece of, or two of tracing paper. Just get a variety of crap that you have lying around. Don't like fuss over it. You can use all watercolor. You can use cardstock. I might even grab some cardstock. You can grab some scrapbook paper. If you have some scrapbook paper that is kind of like fall-ish colors, but you don't like it that much, or you want to dress it up, or you want to do something to it, grab that. Um, it doesn't have to be, you know, anything specific. It can just be whatever you have. Grab about 10 sheets. I would say like two of each, if only if you have it. You could do all water, like I said, all watercolor, all cardstock, whatever you want. All you can copy paper, it doesn't matter. But I would, if you have enough to do like two sheets of five different papers, that would be ideal. But if not, then just do what you got. Because I don't even know if I have two sheets of five different papers. But this way you have different like weights of paper to do stuff with, you know, for your fall crafting. So like if you had, um, like here's two pieces of um, cardstock. And then this way, if you're like, you know, if let's say you have a couple pieces of tracing paper and you, we do some stuff on it, then you'll have stuff to like collage with. If you want to make like, you know, an ATC and you want some little collage bits or whatever, you can use book pages, you can use dictionary pages, you can use anything. Hi, Mary Jane. Hi, Stephanie. Did I miss anybody? I don't think so. I don't think so. Hi, Laura. So you could use anything you got. Doesn't matter what it is, really, as long as it's some sort of paper. You can use deli paper instead of tracing paper, or you can use a piece of vellum even will work good for some things. Um, you know, whatever you got, any kind of like weird paper that you want to try out or cover up or whatever, this is a good time to do that. So that'll be the first thing we grab. So I've got, already got four pieces here. Let's see, uh, so I have tracing paper over here. Somewhere over here, I do. I know I do. Uh, where is it? No, that's not it, is it? What's that? What's this? What's that? Is it drawing paper? It's not a cardstock. No, I don't need that. I already have like a cardstock. Where's my tracing paper? There it is. So I'll do a couple tracing paper. This way you'll have like a little variety and you don't have to stop at 10 and trust me 10 is not going to be that much this is the way we're going to fly through these and you can do five if you want you don't have to do 10 you could do if you're a little slower do do five you know it doesn't matter um and also if you have something to put on your table like a drop cloth not a drop cloth but like a big piece of paper you know like those packing paper sheets or newspaper it might make cleanup like a little bit easier on you I'm going to grab a piece that I have 
because I always forget to do that and I should. And I'll probably grab a couple pieces of something out of my closet. So I've already got three different types of papers and I just need two more. So I'll probably, wait, I'll grab some scrap of paper and grab a couple pieces of that from back here. Okay. Here's a, a piece of green that I can dress up and I can cut this in half. Well, you know what? Actually, I'll grab two different pieces. Do these two. So I'll do those two pieces. It's double sided, but it's that on the other side, so that's fine. Yes, we're gonna have some messy fun. But we're gonna, you know, it's gonna be all pretty much simple stuff. You'll also need your sprays. Now they can be ink sprays, paint sprays, oxide sprays, whatever sprays you got. Now, if you have no sprays, you can use paint. And I wanted to do some paint ones too. Um, so I might do some paint ones after we do the spray ones. So if you only have spray, if you only have paint and you don't have any spray, <coughs> choking on air. If you don't have any sprays, which I imagine everybody pretty much has sprays of some sort and you don't need a lot, you just need some fall colors. So you just need like some yellow, orange, maybe red, um browns a couple different browns gray like stuff like that like fall colors even like a green um any kind of fall colors you have would be great doesn't matter what kind really uh oh you got storms moving in well i hope everything stays as calm as possible and you stay safe Okay, so I've got watercolor paper, I've got cardstock, I've got tracing paper, and I've got scrap of paper. And I'm going to get one more thing. I'm trying to think of what I want to get. Oh, maybe I'll just do, uh, here, I'll just do copy paper. I forgot. Here we go. I got two pieces of, well, it's, it's legal size, but that's fine. Doesn't matter. Let me go grab my drop cloth piece real quick. Paper I have. Okay. I also grabbed a few other papers just in case, you know, just in case we have time. And so what I'm going to do is these papers, you know, that when you go somewhere and they pack your stuff with these papers. Um, this one I started using actually has like some white on it, but that's fine. I got two pieces. And what's nice about using these, if you have them, is that these become really good collage papers when you're all done. You know what I mean? If you use them and then, you know, hold on to them, the oversprays and stuff that gets on them, and I purposely will kind of like get some on there so that it'll do that. And that works out really well for um, for having some extra paper. Now this one here, Actually, I want both of them, so I'm going to double that one because it's a big piece, and I'm going to do this one because these are two different colors, and I kind of want the two different colors just because it'll make two different. Actually, I'll do, it. I'll do this. I'll do it on. It's smaller. And as it gets like mucked up, I'll move it over and like get some on this one. You know what I mean? Like kind of move it around a little bit to, to get it all working. Working. Get it all working for you. I'm going to open up my screen a bit. And anybody that plays along with me tonight, you will be entered to win. Three people are going to win a die. And I'll show you what it is. Okay. 
you guys remember that one die that I have? Now I have one that's bigger and then I had this one, which is a little bit smaller. And it's that cool kind of like, um, I wish I had one handy that I'd already cut out, but it's really cool. Good for layering with flowers and using with anything. So you'll win one of these. Uh, three people will win. And actually, um, what we'll do is the first, you'll win that. And like, I have some other things that will go with whoever wins too. So we're going to get out our colors. I'm going to get out my colors, which will take me a few minutes anyway. So take your time if you don't have your stuff out. Get your fall colors. That's why I was like cleaning up and getting my Halloween stuff out, even though I really didn't, I really got most of it out already. But I was thinking, well, I'm not going to get everything out for this because I don't want anybody to feel like I'm waiting on them. So this way, because I didn't really say what I was doing ahead of time, this way you can get your stuff out along with me and then you don't feel like you're being rushed. So I'm going to grab my sprays and sit and go through and pick out colors. So I've got like this brown, just like coffee, I think. I think that one is too, but I don't know which one's darker. Um, let's see. I've got some green. I don't need blue. Um, or pink. What color is this? I might have to spray it to find out. I think it's, oh, it's an orange. Okay. Hi, Marsha. Yeah, definitely. If you, if you have a, like, if you have a certain, you don't have to use the paper that I use. If you have a lot of scrapbook paper that you're like, ew, I don't like it. Even if it's not fall paper, even if it's other paper, as long as it's kind of light in color, like pinks or light colors, you can go spraying over top of it and it's going to look fall, you know, regardless when you're done. So don't be afraid of that. Like I have this like age, the aged mahogany would be a good one because it's got like that kind of reddish brownish feel. So ground espresso is a good one. Black soot's a good one. I've got my homemade ones too, which I like those too. So we got homemade orange. What's this one? This is like a yellow, but I don't think I don't think this one's very strong. And luckily I have bottles, so if one of them's clogged, I can quickly go pour it into a new bottle. Because I think this one's a little clogged, but also I don't think this one is very, very dark anyway. I don't think it... Oh, that's right. I didn't have anything. Yeah, this is not very dark. I have better yellows than that. Oh, this one's... Is this one pinky? If you haven't missed anything, really, um, what we're doing, if you weren't here when I said it, is we're going to make some... Instead of doing our typical mixed media mashup, because it's the beginning of our like fall Halloween season with crafting... Um, we're going to do some, we're going to make some painty papers, basically some mixed media painty papers so that you have them for the fall season. You know what I mean? Because, you know, a lot of us, you know, don't, we don't ever take the time. We want the painty papers and stuff, but we never take the time to do them. So this way you're going to have them. I think these are the same. No, maybe not. So this way I'm going to kind of force you to get them done. So you'll have a bunch and we're going to do a whole bunch, like 10 at least. And we're going to do them quick and easy. They're not going to take, it's not going to take forever to do. Cause trust me, we're going to, we're going to make it pretty quick and easy. I mean, obviously they'll take like regular mixing mashup takes up to three hours. So two ish, hopefully two to three hours. And then I'm going to show you something you could do with some of your papers. And if we have time, we'll, and everybody wants to, we'll go back and do some Halloween themed, like orange and green and, and purple. But first we'll stick with fall. We'll do fall colors. And we're going to make, and we're getting out different shades of, um, or not different shades, different types of paper. So if you have like a couple of pieces of scrap of paper that you don't care for that you're like man I don't really like those as much and you want to you can use those to put sprays and stuff we're going to start with sprays um we are going to use paint too but for putting the background down quickly we're going to do sprays and then we're going to go over it with paint and stencils and stuff like that kind of like mixed media mashup we're going to do a little bit of that too so you want to have like several different types of paper if you have it if you don't just use whatever you got 
So like I grabbed two pieces of scrap of paper, two pieces of cardstock, two pieces of tracing paper, two pieces of watercolor, and two pieces of copy paper. I'm starting with that. And this way we're going to make a mess. I've got these down as like a drop paper. You know, these are those like thin, like craft papers or whatever those kind are that you wrap your wrap glassware up and stuff like that. Um, what do I have in here? I know I have my black there. So I'm just getting out any kind of like colors now that are fall. Like orange and black and browns and, and yellows and all those kinds of colors. We'll do, like I said, we'll maybe we'll do Halloween colors after. And for going over anything with a pattern like the scrapbook paper, you're going to want to use a pigment spray more than an ink spray or use that to do paint on. Wait until we do the paint because the if you just use dye. Uh, sprays which is like the distress stains and that type of spray like the regular distress sprays they aren't going to cover it very much so if you just have like a light color like this and you don't care that it just tints it then that's fine but if you want to actually like cover it a little more then you want to use your oxides or like any kind of that kind of paint or mica well not really even mica because that's still just going to give a shimmer so any kind of paint or pigment spray would be good for that. So, let's see. Let me get this one out. Fire brick is good. All these are good fall colors. Crushed olive is good. Dark pistachio, probably too light. Evergreen bow. Mm -hmm. Right, persimmon. Crackling campfire. I might use a combination of the oh here's the yellows, mustard seed, dried marigold. Um, I'm gonna use a combo <clears throat> of distress and regular like oxide sprays, but just use what you got, it'll work out. If you're using if you're wanting to use your, you know, you can use a combo too. If you only have like a couple. Yes, you can add water to your thick gesso. Yep, totes. And you don't have to gesso any of these papers that we're doing, as, by the way. Um, um, what was I saying? Oh, if you have like, if you only have like a couple of oxides and then you have a bunch of the regular distress sprays or you have like mica sprays or other things, delusions, any of those, you can, we're gonna mix and match them together because that they work good together when you do stuff like that. It's kind of cool. I'm just grabbing every damn thing that's kind of fall colored and I'll figure it out whether it looks good after I start using it. <laughs> Who knows? Reds and reds and browns, grays and greens. Those are good ones. Paper. Reds and browns and grays and greens. And orange, of course. And yellow. So that's probably the best combo of Okay, so those on top of the last one, and then I'm going to keep this one out so I don't have to back and forth. And I'll put this one on the floor next to me because I have a lot of stuff up here. What I might do is put orange over on that side, orange and yellow on this side. I do this until I start working and then. I start working and I make such a mess that it all ends up everywhere. Orange, red, yellow on that side. Greens, browns on the other side. Okay. That sounds like a good one. And black, greens, and browns on the right. That works. Then I've got smoke. Put my glasses on. I do have some micas. I can go throw a few of those in too. Phosphoric amber. I've got that pewter spray so I can put some silver in there. Rustic wilderness. And you don't need, obviously you don't need as many sprays as I have. You certainly don't feel like, oh I don't have that many so I can't do this. That's not true. 
at all because you can like you this is just like one layer and you can do this and just use like what colors you have and then put the most detail and the most like color on with the paint afterwards you can don't you don't need a lot of sprays like even if you just have four sprays you'd be good you know what i'm saying you don't need a lot i'm just grabbing everything because you know i'm a weirdo so you definitely don't need the all of this at all what is that one i think that's black or something tarnished brands do I have an orange? I don't, I don't have as many distress sprays. And these aren't very colorful. They're more mica. They're more for like micas. So those I'll leave out. Okay. Let's get this one here for now. I don't have I realize I don't have as many distress sprays. Let's see. I'll put the two metallics up there. And this one's green and that one's orange. Okay. And as far as anything else, I have these things up here. Let's see. Any of these? Look up. That might be interesting. That's an orange. And like I said, we'll do a Halloween, like purples and stuff after if you guys want. But you don't have to do those to be eligible to win. You just need to do the fall ones with us and you can stop at that point if you want to some orange. i'm not gonna do neon necessarily but i do have some that are not neon like that one that one that one so it's just just a variety of crap basically all that comes down to it also gives me a chance to use some of the ones that I've had that I don't even know or don't even remember what color they are and what <laughs> they even work it gives you a chance to use up some of the stuff you have that you don't know you have like this is like brand new i don't know where i got it from but i've never used it okay that's good enough obviously More than good enough. And, I'm, and i might grab you know you, you might grab more papers if you have them because it, it won't take long to go through and add the spray on so if you have more papers grab more papers No, we're using inks. This, the first step is we're going to be using inks. Then we're going to be doing some paint. So we're going to do a few steps. So mostly just going to use inks and paint. So we're going to use like our stencils. We might throw some other things on, you know, and then I'm going to show you how to make something. Um, paint and create. Oh, these are like dollar store. Where did I get these from? I don't even know. I don't know. Um, we're, what we're starting off with just you know, spraying. Spraying is first, and then we'll move to other things. And I'm using this paper. So is there anybody that needs more time to gather their stuff? Because I don't mind waiting. It's fine. And also, you know, you'll need a place to put these. So if you have another piece of paper, and you don't have any place to lay your wet papers, Grab another piece or two of this stuff and lay it either on your floor or on some a surface near you. And then you can lay your papers on top of it. Which actually, you know what? Let me go grab another piece of this because I'm going to need it. Let's see. Let's And like I have this lid that goes to like a tote thing. You can even like, you know, put your papers on something like that. Oh, I grabbed these too. These are like little placemats. Maybe I'll use them to throw paint on too. See, like I have this one here. I worked on like a long time ago. 
just a little. Er, I'll throw that. That'll just be to throw my paper. But it'll, it's a good collage paper, you know, because if you cut little pieces out of it and stuff. I probably did this last Halloween because look at all the black and orange and stuff. There's other colors too, though. But this way I can throw my papers on that. And I have other places I can put my papers. So that'll work out for now. Stop stepping on that. Wonderful. Okay. Get these out of my way. Lay this down behind me. So that it can catch my bricks. There we go. And I also like to open my drawers that I have next to me, like those little drawers. I pull them out and then I lay my papers on them. <laughs> so I wind up with like drawers of papers. don't have browns you can make a brown if you have an extra spray bottle you could take some brown paint with a little bit of water or you know put water put about three quarters water squirt a whole bunch of brown paint into it and shake it up that'll be a good spray it works perfect it'll do the job and if you have an extra spray bottle that would be perfect you can make, if you have a couple extra spray bottles, you can make a, you can make a light brown, a dark brown. You know what I'm saying? You can make all kinds of stuff. You said who will be there. I, you told me, you said that Simon will be there. I heard you. I said, take video. Remember? Are you losing it, lady? Well, there you go. You have a brown. That works. Oh, you were talking to Janie. Never mind. I forgot that you, uh, that you call other people sis too. Cheater. <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay, so I'm going to grab the first sheet I have, which is this copy paper. You can do whatever you want. It doesn't make a difference. And I'm just going to grab some colors, and I'm going to pick like three or four colors and just put them on. So if I want like, let's say I want something to use. It, I mean, it doesn't matter what you're going to use them for. Because this is good for collaging. It's good for punching things out. Of course, it's going to get a little thicker when I put the paint on it and stuff. But this is good for like die cutting, like leaves and stuff. Um, and making like cool leaves. So I'm going to try this because I've not used this one. And so I'm going to stick some of this green with a little brown and just make colors and just, just go hog wild. Who cares? It's just a paper. So don't freak out. Be like, Oh no, it's ugly. Guess what? It's supposed to be like, if you, if you put orange and green together and you get brown in the middle, great. That's fall. Perfect. You know what I mean? Like there's no, there's no like worrying about whether it's going to work. You want that brown. You want that mud. So I'm throwing some of this on. So you're just going to throw a bunch of different colors on your paper until it's covered. And you're just going to make a mess. So I'm doing orange and green and yellow. Just use whatever you got. Put some on top of each other and all the kinds of things. Grab one of these. Oh, I'm the first and the best. <laughs> Hear that, Janie? I'm the first and the best. <laughs> uh, let's see. What's this over here? Crackling campfire is a darker orange. So this is just your time to make a mess. I mean, you're not going to hurt anything. It's not going to be, trust me, it'll be perfect. Here's a regular distress spray. It's not an oxide or anything. So I can add some of that to it. So I'm using like a mixture. Here's a shabby shutter. Now the nice thing too is if you get it really wet, you can put another piece of paper on top of it and soak it up. 
And then I'll take some brown. What's this one? That's the lighter brown. Where's the darker one? Brown espresso will work. You can add water, move things around. This is that one that doesn't like to spray very well. Trust me, it might look ugly and weird, and you're going to be like, I don't know if I like this, but just trust in the process, because when you want to cut out some leaves and make it look really, really authentic and cool looking, so I'm taking the other piece, and I'm just going to go bloop, and pop it on there, and this way, especially when you have a lot, you might want to wear gloves if you care about your hands getting messy, I don't, so I'm just going to do this, and squirt out, <laughs> mush out anything that's, this will start coloring my background paper too. Don't worry about the backs getting colored. And now we're going to unpeel it. And look at that. Look at those fall colors. And if there's any white on here, I'm going to go and add, look how perfect that is. It's like screaming fall. Now there's some white spots on here because it dried a little bit in some spots. So I'll just go through and Add some more color. Just do that if you have to. It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. It's going to be perfect. And so then when you have your, you know, want to make some cool maple leaves and stuff like that, you know, you have, you can even like do this and go just fold it. You could, if you don't want to do like, another piece of paper you can always fold it right in half and just make you know you can do one side and fold it in half just unfold it before you let it dry or else it'll stick so perfect fall colors i got number one and number two see how fast that is super easy make tons of fun colored papers super fast okay now we'll do the next one and i've got Nice colors there. I'll get the watercolor paper. This one I'm going to wet first. With the watercolor paper, because it's so thick, I'm going to give it a little bit of water. It'll help things flow a little easier. So I'm going to wet that a little bit. And then just again, I'm just going to go crazy. I'm going to do like some orange. And it might bubble up on you and that's okay. You can always just take one of your bottles while you're working and do that and then just wipe it off when you're done. So like just do that in the middle. On your oxides, try to keep a baby wipe near you and when you go to put the lid on, just do that and we'll put the lid on. This way you don't make, um, you don't end up with an issue with any clogging. Come on ball. Loosen. And then you can move it as you need to, and it'll also leave some cool marks on your paper. Hi, Kennedy. Let's see. I'll grab a brush corduroy. clover now if you have a stack of like copy paper what's cool that you can do as well in this process is keep your copy paper handy you know if you or scrap papers whatever you got this way keep a piece handy like that one has something punched out of it but it's fine you can keep it handy because then you can, when you're doing things like this, instead of taking the other piece of watercolor and going over the top of it, use your copy paper. This way you can just keep adding to it and that copy paper will soak up, you know, the 
soak up your excess and you can make a bunch of cool sheets doing that. So that's how you can make some really fast and easy sheets of, you know, and the, the, the distress sprays will kind of like almost disappear when you, when you put them in, but they won't when you throw something over top of them. So I'm just going to fill in any white space with my finger and then I'm going to take the copy paper and I'm just going to go like that. And so now it's kind of like jelly, jelly printing, you know, mono printing sort of, but you're doing it with copy paper and that'll soak up your excess and that'll also get blends going. Now mine have those dots in them because some of the homemade sprays that I have, which I don't even know if I used any of them. I think I did. Um, I put my homemade sprays, I put silicone, silicone in some of those, like a drop or two. And that purposely will give me like little bits of like, you know, like little dots or whatever. And I'm just gonna get that excess off of there a little bit. So now I have two more pages. See how fast it goes? You can make tons and tons so fast. And then as your paper starts to dry, you can kind of like, I'm going to take the excess and just keep moving it around so that it kind of colors my page in the background. And then once you've got like a thing going on and you've got like some blank space in the middle, take it, flip it like this, and then do it here. It doesn't matter if the back of your paper gets messy. We got the other piece of watercolor. Let's see. I want to do a couple of these colors. I keep my oranges over here. They're supposed to stay separated. I only got four and about four hours sleep today. I kept waking up and I just gave up after a while. So I'm going to stick this in the middle to keep it down since the watercolor paper has a tendency to buckle a little bit. And I'll start working over here. You don't have to do that with the regular distress sprays, but with the oxides or anything that has mica or anything, you want to wipe off the nozzle. It helps so that it doesn't clog. Sometimes it still clogs anyway, but... on first it could be it actually it could be tina because i don't remember if i used my homemade sprays on that one so yeah it totally could be it could just be from the water This is the one time you like want mud to happen. See, if you put a lot on, it really kind of blends and gets all nice and juicy. So it's, you know, don't be afraid of loading it up because then of course you can get that print off of it too. So that kind of helps. I'll use some of this green. And I'll use a little bit of this green too. Make sure you shake them every time you use them just to keep the keep them the pigment from squirting up in because that also will help you will clog it. So I always take everything and shake it. Shake your money maker. Right, let's do brown or something. Or you could just like, if you have a lot on there, you can also do this and get all kinds of cool drippity drips and all kinds of things going on. Move that color around. Spray it with a little water, then you get it. You don't even have to keep covering that spot up because I can easily cover that spot up just by spraying a little bit of water and just kind of get it moving towards that spot because sometimes it'll avoid it. And then you can drip it onto your paper in the background and make your background paper really cool. So. I'm going to spray a little bit of this. Come on, spray. Why does this thing like to not spray? I 
Okay, I just make sure all my areas are really wet so that this way when I put my copy paper over top, it'll be nice and nice and juicy. If you do that, it'll kind of squish it out the sides a little bit, gush it out, and then you'll have yeah, your hands are gonna get dirty. That's just kind of what happens. See, there we have it's really wet in the spots. You just take your finger and just do that. It doesn't matter because it'll just give you more colors on the paper. So we got some good gushy papers going on. Good gushy ones. And then, because there's like a puddle here, I'm going to do this for a second. I'm just kind of stop it up. And then I'm getting... And then... Hi, Nora! Okay. And now I got this tracing paper. I can just sock up. Because the other side will be start to have color on it if you want them to have two-sided color. Let's see, let me use some of the Distress, Distress, Distress Spray Stain. Now this with the tracing paper is fun because you can either do it with, you don't have to use a lot of color for that. You can just use a little bit of color if you want to and spray water and kind of move it around because it's so thin, it'll work really well. Um, or just like do half of it and then Fold it over onto itself a little bit, and that kind of works nice. I need a red. Is that a red? No, I didn't really get a red. I got barn door. What was the other red candy apple or something? Do I have that? Did I grab that one? Is that red? Oh, that's red. I'm getting freaky because it's fall y'all that's why you want fall you gotta have fall colors it's this one and then i can take a little water and then i can squish around and then take the other tracing paper and put it on top but you want it to be nice and wet so that's why i'm like making sure that there's ink or spray or whatever that's another thing, if you have, if you don't have sprays and you have the inks, you know, those like acrylic ink thingies the, with the dropper bottles, you can use those instead and just put a bunch of them all over and move it around with the water. You know what I mean? There's ways to do it without sprays. Totally. You can even do paint. Take a bunch of paint, put it in little cups. Add water to it so it's real flowy, and then just take a big brush and just slop it on. We'll do some of that too, but um, we'll do some paint ones where you can just, we're going to quickly add some paint to it, and I'll show you some different things you can do with that. Ooh. Hey now. Hey now. That's the only thing with tracing paper it likes to stick to itself. That's a good one. That's a good in. And I don't mind if there's a little bit of, you know, white space or clear space on the tracing paper as much. Good fall colors. Now I might want to add a little bit of brown to this since I forgot to. So what I'll do is just do like a, just a little, little bit of spray of brown just kind of across it like that. Just to kind of fall it up a little bit. And I'll stick those up yonder. I hope that they dry quickly. Once my papers start to dry, I kind of move them off of my mat, off of my paper, so that I can utilize that space for another sheet. Play musical papers. Let's see my background starting to get real, real good. Well, we're going to have them to use for our fall projects, you know, so you'll have these, you know, you can use them, make a journal, you can use them, you know, to have painting paper journal, you can use them to punch stuff out of, you can use them to die cut, 
You can use them to collage. You can use them as bases to cards that you're making in the fall. You can use them for tags. You can use them for anything you can think of. That's what you'll have them for. So you won't be like, oh, you know, I wish I had some painty papers. This way you sit down, you make a bunch, and then you, you've you done it, you know. This is a cardstock. You know, and there's no, like, it's the best way to do painty papers is to, you know, at the beginning of whatever season you're wanting to do it, whether it's, and we'll do it again around Christmas time, too. Um, to make some Christmas papers. That's an easy way to make some papers that you'll have for your projects. You know what I didn't use? I didn't use this weird thing. It doesn't feel like... Is there anything in it? <laughs> oh, it's really thick. I don't think it's supposed to be that thick. Let me add water to it. Yeah, it needs water. I think it started to dry up. I don't know how. It was completely surrounded in plastic. Somehow. I don't, like I said, I don't remember where I got these from. Now we have two of them. I have a green, I think a green, or is it? I don't know what, I think it's blue and then this yellow color. No idea where I got them. That sounds better. It was, sounded like it wasn't moving before. I don't know if I clogged it already though. I might have. Hmm. Still kind of thick, but. Stupid thing. Oh, that's good enough. Don't worry about that now. Good enough. This one's good for spitting. <laughs> it spits real good. It's actually for dyeing fabric. Forest moss. For what? What do you mean? For doing like you mean like when I'm doing this on this paper? I yeah, I, I, I it doesn't matter. Whatever I got. And I'll take my copy paper and I'm gonna spray this with a little water because the copy paper kind of soaked everything in. This whole side over there. Yeah, see the copy paper or the Cardstock soaks a lot of it in, but that's fine because I can use this on the other piece and just stop up more over there. So the copy paper is not going to blend as well because it likes to just saw, at least this kind does. I don't like this kind of copy, or uh, I keep saying copy paper, cardstock, because I think it's that Nina stuff. I don't like it, but I mean, it'll work fine for what I'm doing, but I might go over it with some other things because it doesn't blend as well, this particular one. So I'm going to go over it because you know how like, I got a nice cool blend. Well, this one's kind of spotty because it it likes to soak right into this stuff for some freaking reason. I don't know. So what I'll try to do is do it a little faster. Hopefully it'll sit on top a little better and then I can go like that and kind of get it to move a little more. Hmm. It's okay. That'll work. That'll work. And that'll be, I'll keep that one around in case it, I can add more to it later. So for this, I'm going to, this is my other piece of cardstock. 
And it's probably because of the cardstocks type, because certain types of cardstock, like the, the Nina stuff, I just don't like it. I never did. I always, you know, found that the Nina cardstock was either too thin or it was just like, I don't know. I just don't like it. I like the best kind was the, um, um, the Georgia Pacific, which I have some of that still, but so I'm going to wet it really good. I'm going to wet it really good and then throw my colors on so it really kind of spreads. That's the only way I can see this working as well and be quick about it <laughs> so that I'm not like, uh, I hate when sprays do that. Spray, dumbass. This way, if I'm quick about it, then I can get in there and it won't be a, as much of a problem with soaking in. And then I can take my copy paper and go, and that'll kind of move it around. But with the cardstock, for some reason, you got to be quick, at least that type of cardstock, because it likes to soak in so fast. I got the start of another one here. That'll work. That'll work. We're going to add paint to it, too, so I keep forgetting that. We're going to be adding some paint. So whatever we don't like, we can fix later. Oh, and I got my... I'm going to turn this again to get some more area. And now I've got this here. Um, I'm just going to spread this out a little bit. I've got my piece of scrap pattern paper stuff. I'm going to do the lid for that. Okay. They will move around even if they're the other kind. You just gotta use um you just gotta put water on your paper and don't use cardstock because cardstock will suck it right in. Use um watercolor paper and spray a lot of water on it and make sure you're saturating it with a lot of spray and doing it quickly. And once you have all your colors on, throw another piece of paper on it and that'll kind of blend it. But you gotta move a little quicker, that's all. But you use some water and soak that paper down. It'll really start to move. It's not going to move on paper that soaks in quickly. Um, but your even your dye sprays will. As long as you have the paper wet. Like this paper, it's not going to move either. But, and I'm not wetting it, so it's not going to move. And that's fine because it's just, a, it's already got like, you know, it's already got color to it, so I'm not really concerned with it. But if it use if you use watercolor paper, it'll move. Um, but that's you know the this type of paper won't move as much. You know any kind of regular paper. But if you use tracing paper, watercolor paper, um, that'll all move really well. Spray it with lots of water and be fast about it. You know what I mean? Like you can't, you can't sit there and spray and take your time. No, you got to move. You got to spray, 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 and then throw your paper on top. You got to move. Any watercolor paper will definitely, it'll definitely move if you put water on it first, like lots of water. You know what I mean? Like soak it and then spray it fast. Even if you have to get all your bottles out first, take all the lids off and spray it quickly and then throw your paper on top. It will, it, it will move. You just have to move quicker if, you, if you're just using that. But it doesn't have to move. You don't have to have that. You can just make it all spotty and that's fine. It's not, you know, it's, it'll be just fine. I'm more or less making it move so that I have another piece of paper that I get out of it. You know what I mean? not not purposefully like you know if it doesn't move i'm not going to cry over it because once you die cut it and use it for other things and we put paint on it it's not going to matter whether it does or doesn't so don't don't fret too much over it ain't gonna matter 
but yeah, it will move if you put enough water on it and then be quick about it. Be quick like. And then even this, I'll just do that and get whatever gets because it's already soaked in, so it doesn't matter. And then we're going to add paint to it, so I don't really care. It doesn't have to move around. But if you want it to move around and you want to be like more premeditated about it, if you have clear gesso and you go over your scrap of paper with a, a real quick coat of clear gesso, then it'll move. It'll stay, you know what I mean? Because it won't soak into the paper. So you can always do that too. Like if you have a bunch that you want to do, you can always just take some clear gesso and go over everything first and then it'll do that. But, you know, watercolor paper, yeah, it'll, it'll, it'll work. Yeah, and if you're using really big papers, you might want to cut them down some so that you're not trying to cover too much and then it's drying in certain areas, you know what I mean? Like this one, I'm going to just let like be splattery. And I'm just kind of going to splatter some color on and leave it at that. have this like coffee spray and I can take that and just kind of go over it in the spots that are white and make it tone it down a little bit tone down the white kind of coffee stain it at the same time yeah that's good and so I used up all that paper that I got out already and so now I can grab a few other sheets of things that I had like these little placemats. I'll grab one of those. They're just little paper. I don't know what the hell they're made of. <laughs> they're made of something. I swear this one gets so messy. This color here for some reason. It's messy. But yeah. If you want more chance of your color of sitting on top, you want to use um, more oxide or, you know, something to that equivalent. Because the pigments will sit on top a little more. But with copy papers and stuff, it's not as likely to, to sit on top. What's this one? black. Oh, I don't even have a thing on that. I think that's the same color, but in the regular oxide. I mean the regular spray. Yeah. I don't need any black soot. Oh, there's my red. Don't be afraid to soak the hell out of your paper. You'll get the most movement. I mean, don't 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 think, oh, I don't want to waste my sprays. You're not wasting them. You're using them. <laughs> that's what we're. That's what we got them for was to use them, right? We didn't get them to to like let them sit on the shelf and not ever get used. We got them to to do this exact thing, to color our papers and to make our pretty papers with. So utilize them. Utilize them. Spray that a little bit. I'm gonna take another one of these and put it down. 
so it'll ooze out the sides as it kind of mixes it together. curls. Actually, I can take this now. It doesn't have a lot on it. and kind of go like that and kind of just tamp down, gather some more color off of it. I use it and mop up some of that color. I've got it on my arms. I've got it everywhere. You're getting a lot of rain season. We got rain yesterday, it rained, and that's pretty much it. Didn't rain today. Put these up. Okay. And one of my favorite things to use also is typing paper. I have different kinds. I have this a little bit thicker kind of typing paper, so this might soak right into this. A lot of times it does, but I don't care. Either way, I'll just throw some color on it. Well, maybe it'll sit on it a little more than I thought it would. Sometimes it would. anybody keeping are, are you still making papers or do you want to stop and go to the next step let me know when you're ready okay and if you have white spots you can also just take some water and kind of do that and it'll pretty much fill in marks on there too. I don't know if they'll last, but <laughs> okay. <clears throat> You're ready to go to the next step? Okay, next step then, we will do that. 
First, we're going to move our sprays to the side or out of the way. I'm probably going to put them back. That's probably the best thing to do with these. Put at least the ones that I know I'm not using right now out of the way. That's just the distress spray stains. No, nope, that's an oxide. This way, so you're not in the way when you get some paint. And then you're going to get out some paint colors again in fall. Get your fall colored, um, you know, yellows, oranges, greens, browns. Get those suckers out. So I can go in here. Yeah, it does look cool. It's starting to get really cool looking. All right, let me grab a couple of fall colors. Fall colors. Hi, Vern. Right. Take my medicine before I forget. Start with any of the drier ones that you have. Oh, 
I'm just shifting them around a little bit so that they dry a little quicker. I'll start with these two. I'll take my heat gun to them just a little bit so that they're a little drier than they are right now. They don't have to be like perfectly dry, but dry enough to put some paint on. Then we're going to take some stencils and you don't need a lot of stencils, just like some, you know, ones that are like geometric-y stuff, you know, like pattern-y stuff that's not, you know, we're not looking to do like, you know, anything that's like a specific design, but something that has different designs in it. You know what I mean? Like, uh, let's see. What are these? Um... ones I have here somewhere. I think these are all those type. No. So like I have that one. It's a good one. You can use your larger stencils, your smaller stencils. If you use your smaller ones, you just have to move them around a little bit. That's all. Got my circle one. They might be, oh, they might be in that other thing. In the bigger book, I think, is where I have them. Probably. Which is, what did I do with that damn thing? all my Halloween stuff out, I probably moved. Oh, there it is. I see it. I see it. That's right. Looking for my big book. My big book. Stencils.
just a random assortment. And then you need your sponge or whatever you use to stencil with. Where is my sponge? I just had it. What did I do with it? I done stuck it somewhere. Now I don't know what the hell I stuck it. Oh, here it is. I found it. Hi, Rose. Okay, so I'm going to stick my stencils over here so I can come out of my way. And we'll start with this one. I'm going to wet my sponge a little bit. Dampen it. Now we're just going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to, if I want to use this stencil, I'm going to use it on like all my sheets of paper and then move on to the next one. So I'm hoping that I have enough dry over here now to do that so that I can just grab, and it doesn't have to be super dry. Like this one's not dry, very dry, but I'm going to grab it anyway. And I'm just going to, as long as I can stack them on top of each other, then they'll, that's dry enough for me. Yeah, these are all pretty good. By the time I get through them, some of the other ones will be drier yet. This one's dry enough. This one's dry enough. Okay. Because this way, you can plow through them quicker that way. So let's start with a green color. You can do whatever colors you want. And I'll just put a bunch on there. You can put a couple different colors if you want. So if you want to use a couple different colors, like I put a green down, maybe I'll put an orange down over here. Um, this way I can switch. Because the nice thing about this is you can do a little bit with one color and then turn it and then use a different color. So if you're getting bored of using the same exact color, you know. So, like, I'll do, like, two or three spots, you know, on here. And then and then if I want to do a different color, and I don't care if there's some green on there still, and I just switch to that side, and I'll just go and do that side and do the other color. I'm being extremely random. I, I'm, you know, you just don't care. Don't worry about where you're putting it. it doesn't matter. I'm just kind of doing it, and you're just wanting to put marks on it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Like that's really sloppy and yucky, but who cares? And then you take those papers and you move them, and then you grab the other, the next papers that you want to use, which. Need more paint. I did not put enough down. Clearly, need more than that. Okay, I'll grab this paper. And we'll do some green. Once you think about it, the better it'll end up being. I'm just turning the stencil and, and doing a different, like, so here I did, like, two kind of shorter ones with a little bit of that one. This one I did, like, more taller ones. You know what I mean? Like, just switching it, just switching it around. And maybe on this one I'll do the orange. I'll do the green over here, so I'll just go back to it. And then 
it up to dry and move on to the next one and so forth and so on kind of like a little assembly line of stenciling and then we'll move to the next stencil and do the same thing this way you get through your papers quicker and you get something on each page the key is to not care where you you know really you know, not not put any thought into where you're putting it it'll turn out better that way around and almost knocked everything off. my stencil before I continue so it doesn't get too uh, mucky. My stencil's getting a little mucky. All right, I'm going to take this opportunity to wring out my sponge because I'm going to switch colors. Use the same stencil, but I'm going to switch colors because I still have more papers. So I have my bucket of water. I usually just wring out my sponge and let that sit for a minute. And then I'll take this and spray it and clean it as best as I can a little bit just so that it's not starting to get stuck to it too much. Like I've kept it pretty wet with paint, so it shouldn't be too bad. But I just want to prevent it from really sticking on there too much. I'll choose two different colors to keep going with. Same stencil, just different colors. This is already cleaning this up there. So, so this time I'll do the King's gold color. Janie's making popcorn. This time I'll put it on this mat. Put a bunch of there and we'll use the tomato red color. It's gloppy. Ew. Gloppy gloppy. We don't like no gloves. Coffee somewhere. Open my baby wipes. I could just suck to open. They're not very easy to open. They make it sound like they're going to be easy to open, but they're not. Beat the hell out of it to get it open. Just gotta beat them up. Okay. Set that aside. And we'll grab this one, which is one of the tissue papers. It's 
got a couple wet spots on it right there, but that's fine. It'll just make it more blendy. Grab my sponge, squeeze it out, dry it a little bit. And then start adding some of the color. overlap one of your previous ones. You can also use gesso to do a little stenciling because the gesso um, it doesn't dry like super opaque and that sometimes will look kind of cool depending on what your paper what kind of stuff you got on going on in your paper almost done with that whole batch just already with the one running out of paint on your on the side and you have what's on your sponge just take it and go like that and you'll get <laughs> get some quick quick and easy color like that so gloppy because it's old gross that's what I get for having paint that's probably 15 years old My hands are going to be a sight. How come you're not in the mood to craft? Do you have a fever, child? See this one I can just go. You can even just take it and go. You want to be really fast about it. Yes. 
speedy Gonzalez. Speedy, speedy. It's a messy job. All right, anything left? Did I get everything? Well, except this one, but I'll just use up what's left because there's not a lot of stuff on here anyway. So I'll get the white, a lot of the white spots with the stencil. I'll use up the rest of the paint, which isn't much. It's kind of. switch to another stencil and keep moving along. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I thought, yeah. Well, he really has a will to live, doesn't he? After all that. That's got to be rough on, on your boyfriend, though. You know, to have to live it every single day. What, you know, is it going to be today? Is it going to be tomorrow? You know, like, that's just rough. And you feel bad if you, you know, if you, you almost feel bad saying, like, well, you know, it'd be better if he went quicker. You know what I mean? But, but at the same time, you know, he wants him, he doesn't want him to go. You know what I mean? Like, it's one of those situations that it just sucks, you know? You don't want him to suffer, but at the same time, you don't want him to go, you know? Now what colors? Let's see. We'll do this uh, berry wine color. It's a good color. Shake it up a little bit. And we'll do a brown color, maybe. This one's a good one. I'll do like a brown color. So we got like a berry wine color, which is a good fall color, and a brown. Shelly. Okay. Very colors kind of seem better days. <laughs> Round things down here too.
I'll make for a nicer page. there <laughs> to move this pencil and everything yeah, who cares okay I just need to get I want to get marks on it it'll all come together later it'll all work out in the end if it doesn't work out then it's not the end They're still fairly wet, but stenciling doesn't really hurt anything. This is the fastest way to do it, is just scrub it over the... <laughs> scrub it. I'm still just putting a little bit of paint on there and kind of tapping it off, and then I'm just going over and... Depending on the type of stencil you have, certain stencils might be a pain in the ass to do that, but if it's a stencil that doesn't have a lot of tiny little parts in it, then it's easy to scrub over it, and that'll get your marks on quicker. And grab this one. with our marks. Speedy, speedy. Hi, Linda. Hi, Linda. You gonna get a shower? Well, it's about time, isn't it? marks on this one at all. Oops. <laughs> My hands. <laughs> Luckily the paint comes off pretty easily. Hi Deborah. How are you?
got one more left, I think. This is the last one, I think. Let me double check up here. Yeah, it looks like it. And then I could do the next pencil. And I'll probably just do the three stencils and that's it. I'm just use what I have on here. here because Just works of art. <laughs> Let's add some paint to the background here. Bobber. So that I can put my paint on this side. And the last one will do the circles, I think. Circles. What colors are we doing in the circles? Pleasant. Yummy. Ew. Yummy. The rain slowing down. That's good. Two. Four. Actually, what I do? Ooh. 
against the dark colors. Easy peasy now. It's easy, isn't it? Getting some nice papers. It's not hard at all. I ran out of my light color green. Get some pretty colors. Let's do this and help me clean that off a little bit. <laughs> starting to get quite putrid. <laughs> and maybe I'll rinse that off too. Because I kept not doing a very good job of keeping my paint separated on my sponge. I kept accidentally putting the wrong colors in the wrong spot.
What if these things would stop popping up on my damn screen? It ain't right. So I keep touching my mouse with my painted hands. Stop it. Go away. Okie doke. are quiet. Is that because you're working on your paper? Are you working on your pages? as you're just watching. Why aren't you working along with us? No stenciling on this one. Hmm. It was underneath of the paper and I didn't even see it. Oops. I'll just put some on there. I'll just make it work. We'll make it work. Next paper. Next paper. We 
this one needs circles. Let's see. stencil on that one. There's always some that I'll forget. Something with. I'll forget to do something on something. Tornado. Oh, I, I seen something about a tornado warning in New Jersey. Did they have a tornado up there? Did they actually have one? Or a tornado watcher. I don't remember what it was, but I seen something briefly. That's rare. That's extremely rare for there to be a tornado up there. When I was a little kid and I lived in North Jersey, there was a tornado that came through our neighborhood, which was shocking because that had never happened before and it was so rare. It came through. It didn't do a lot of damage. It wasn't like super powerful, but it came through and there was a lot of wind and stuff like that, but it didn't do like a ton of damage. We're used to them here, but not, not New Jersey. People must have freaked out up there. Hurricanes are called cyclones in other parts of the world, but tornadoes, since they don't have them anywhere else, are just tornadoes. <laughs> I don't know if they're called cyclones somewhere else because they're small and twisty. Small and twisty. I, I've heard of hurricanes being referred to as cyclones. or tornadoes. Oh, God. They all suck. I 
All right, let's see how many I have left to do this pencil. I have one, two, okay, just these guys here. These kind of here I got left. Let's do a lighter orange this time. Lighter orange. I still like this green. The problem is it won't stay straightened out. And instead of the yellow ochre, we'll do what is this? I'll do this brick color. It's a lovely gloppy paint. Gloppy, sloppy, gloppy. Ew. My sponge is gross. <laughs> Not anymore. I cleaned it now. It's pretty clean. Um, I'm using three stencils and going through on each page and doing a couple different colors with each stencil. So, haven't you been paying attention? <laughs> you can do whatever you want. You don't have to do exactly what I'm doing. Do what you want to do. So, if you only want to use one stencil and use a bunch of different colors, I, I mean, I would, you know, I'd probably use definitely more than one stencil, but... What I'm saying is you don't have to do as many things as I'm doing. But you definitely want to at least have a bunch of different some things on there, you know what I'm saying? I just want to have some variety. variety of color and pattern. The stenciling takes the longest time and then the rest of it doesn't take as long. One more, I think. And then we will be moving on to the next and final, well, almost final step. The next ones don't take very long. Check that I got all of them. Okay. Let me get you all. Looks like it. It 
looks a lot. Oh, let me get this one. Well, we're going to add another color to this one anyway. Because I have extra paint, so I might as well. fall painty paper I have. Now I'm going to take the rest of the paint and it's going to go on there in various places. Just scrub it on there. And the green, which I don't have much of the green, but maybe more of this color than anything. Is a salmon color? Uh oh. <laughs> hey, so if you add something over top of it, it'll probably turn it brown and that'll work. Poppy color, that should have been red, right? <laughs> That's weird. Huh. Maybe it was mislabeled. I've never heard of a poppy color being salmon. this one dry because I have that one over there. So we're going to let that be out. Well, this one dries a bit because it's quite wet. And we'll get the other one to catch any other paint that I use. Because next we're going to do some um, stamping, like household stamping type of thing. Um, like I'm going to use just like two things, like bubble wrap and something else, and then that's it. Um, I think that'll do the trick just for an extra layer. Something that's easy to stamp. Like here, I have that checker one there that'll work. I think that'll work just fine. Yeah, those two will do the job. Just to add a last little layer of something. Um, let's see. Let's do, I think I'll do a metallic color in this last one. We'll do a bronze maybe or something or gold. Maybe like a bronze color would be good. What's that? Is that bronze? What is that? Mink pearl, that sounds good. And uh, and This kind of patina color that I like. We'll do that color too. So we'll do the bronze and the patina color. And I'll call that done then. <laughs> These paints are old as hell. 
Uh, yeah, this is really old. <laughs> Weird color. That'll work though. Spread that one out pretty thin. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna grab another color to go on it. Light, weird looking. All right, you. What's the matter with you? If okay, no, maybe not. Okay, maybe not. Maybe that color is not really any good anymore. <laughs> Oh, who's wrong with my colors? Well, that just gave me some splatties. Let's mix it together. Mm, let's make a fun mix. I'm gonna use my finger as a as a mixing tool. Why not? I gotta spread this out anyway. There's a lot here. I'm not afraid to get my hands dirty. What city looks like a swimming pool, Jamie? I'm not following. I'm not doing a good job of following. Oh, this one's like weird. Feels weird. Don't like the texture of that one. Okay, let's do. I gotta move this so it's on my craft mat because I'm trying to stamp on an edge. I'm not doing such a good job. Needs a little water. It's a little dry. No. Uh, gross. Oh, in New York?
Are you watching it on the news right now? Oops. <laughs> I did it on the wrong side. <laughs> All I did was leave no bubbles. Just a flat, flat mark. My hands at least nice and sparkly. <laughs> what part of New York does it say? Oh, did I even get this stuff on there? Oh, I did. No one. New York. New York's pretty big. <laughs> that's, well, that's just New York City. New York State is bigger than that. So you mean like down, like actually, like Manhattan and, and all the, the, that area, downtown area. It's all flooded? Hmm. Crazy. Born to say it. Is it all flooding? Is that what they're showing? Or just this storming? Oh, I see. So it is flooding. Okay. Huh. Yeah, it doesn't flood there that often. It must be really bad if it's flooding. I mean, there's South Jersey floods more than anything, but I'm assuming that didn't get affected as badly.
Okay, I'm going to just have these to be left. Stick them somewhere. <laughs> Over here. Hmm. I have a couple of friends who live in Queens too. But. I think I have all of them done. I think I'm pretty sure I do. Not a lot on this paper, but that's okay. Just add a little here, add a little there. After a while, I hope I do more papers in the future. clean. I should do that more often, but I never do. I'm going to look real quick at the flooding and just see what's going on because, uh, yeah. Let me see what it says on the Hmm. 
I see it anywhere. It's not showing me any. saying anything. Why am I not seeing anything? Let me put the filter on for today. Oh, okay. After the remnants of Ida. That's so weird because we got the remnants of Ida and we didn't have that bad of weather. So something must have happened where it picked up some momentum or something and just caused more problems. Huh. They got a lot more rain than we did, I think. underneath that so I can see it what it says it's so weird huh it's crazy It's so weird that we didn't get nearly as much rain as they did. And Ida was much weaker as it went up there, but it must have picked up some momentum of storms or something along with it, or I don't know. Weird. No, that's Chris snoring. He's loud as hell out on the couch. That's all he does is sleep. Okay. My hands are disgusting. So is everybody did, done with their papers? The other, the last thing I was going to do on some of them was do some splattering. Um, I was going to take it and do a little bit of splattering. But you don't have to do that if you don't want to. Um, but I want to take some, uh, some black and maybe some white on some and black on another and just kind of give a little splatter splatters. Do a little splitter splatters. Which I should have left my paper down for that. Oops, let me grab it. <laughs> what are you doing? You sneaking? Come on. Come on. Come on. You want to come say hi? You got to come over here. Come on. Come on. You got to come over here. Come on, baby. Come on. Well, then go out. Out. If you're not going to come over here, you got to go out. Come on. Come on. You can't get through. I'll get you through. Come on. Come here. I'll pick you up. Come here. A little, a little sneaky. Look who came and snuck. We got a willy. A willy came and snuck. Yeah. And Sissy's now following you back here, too. Yeah, you guys are supposed to be out there. You a sneaky girl? Where's that Winnie? Okay, why don't you go out by your sister? I'm putting her out. She's going out. Come on. Both of you. Out. Come on. Out. Bye-bye. Go. Go. Good girl. Go lay down. Sneakies. Sneaky bum. One more time. Slap it down so I can splatter.
this matters. Some bigger ones. Big ones and little ones. All of them. All the splatters. And a big splotch. Birds at one stone. Putting the drop cloth down will definitely prevent it from getting too far. I mean, it might get some places, but it's not going to be as bad as if you didn't have it. It helps. If I was smart, I would keep the drop cloth by my desk <laughs> instead of putting it way back in my closet where I'm never going to get it out again, which is what I do like a dummy. Just keep it folded next to my desk and then I won't have to worry about because it definitely catches a lot of the splatters and the mess, obviously. Makes it better, easier to deal with. Mm -hmm. I'm putting that up there. Stop falling. Get back up there. And get up there and stay up there. I have paint flutters on my monitor too. I always get them on there. Don't cry over splattered paint. <laughs>
this is the last two for the black. And then we'll do some white. Because why not? Because we can do whatever we want. That's what I say. <laughs> I have peppermint patties, and I have Kit Kats, and I have Mounds, and I have Reese's. But guess what? I ain't sharing it with nobody. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's time for a peppermint patty. Peppermint patty? I want to taste the sensation. the white paint. No fair? What's no fair? Well, you had popcorn, Jamie. You don't need it. Peppermint patties after having popcorn. Well, actually, that's not true. I would like to have peppermint patties after I ate popcorn. Because sweet and salty goes together. I am not mean. I'm just honest. My white is a little contaminated now. Crap. Pour some of that out. My brush was clearly not clean. I think it's because my water is disgusting. My water is kind of gross. Let's try that again. <laughs> I should have done the white first. Smooth move, x -Lac. I'm not doing no more. I put too much water in there though. Loves the splatters, they just make it come alive. It's the splatters it just does it, makes it happen. Some bigger drips and some little bit. Maybe not that big.
we're going to make something out of this. I'm going to show you something that I saw somebody else do that was really cute and very easy. And you don't have to have painting papers to do it, but in fact, they didn't do it with painting papers, but I think the painting papers would look better than the non painting papers, to be honest. So that is what I'm doing. But isn't it nice? You have like a whole bunch of painting papers now for fall, and you're not going to run out. And you have a good, fun variety. You have enough to make a journal. Or more and then cards and die cuts and all the things. You can make all goodies out of it. Okay, Rebecca, well, make sure you put, well, I'll see your pictures. Never mind. I'll count you in the giveaway when I see your pictures. Fun, fun, fun. You didn't have to do as many sheets as I did. I mean, obviously, just do a couple sheets or whatever, but as long as you did some, you will be counted. And then you can watch back tomorrow, or maybe you'll still be up, but be able to do it. Another day, the project that I'm going to do is very, very, very simple. Very simple. It won't take more than a couple minutes. Rest. Lazy ass mother trucker. Did I cut everything? I think I got them all. I think I did. I think I did. I did. Okay. Now they're all done. Now they're all done. Now I can get rid of well, this. I don't need to pour on there because this is white. So I'm not going to make that much of a difference. I'll just do that. darker spots. Oh, you gotta get off your butt. I got you. Get off your butt. Get off your bum. You got a dirty bum? That's what I always say to Willow. She gets dingleberries. You, know, you got a dirty bum? <laughs> she knows I'm gonna wipe her, wipe her butt or shave her butt. <laughs> Either way, she don't like it. This up to dry. Okay. All right. Before we start our project, I will put your pictures up of what you did so that I can put you in the giveaway. Before we do anything else. Ow. Smacked my hand on the thing. Okay.
Mm, Susan, yours are so pretty. Um, I need a piece of paper. Oh, I have paper. <laughs> I need a piece of paper and I have paper. It's right next to me. see one up there already. Just Susan's. Let me refresh and see if I see any others. Rebecca. Very pretty. Her hands are all she showed a picture of her hands all dirty. ridiculously slow today. Ooh, very pretty. Your hands look good too. They're very artsy looking. <laughs> very nice. Wow. Come on, computer. Get with it. Good lord. Slow. It's a problem. Just Susan and Rebecca. Where's everybody else's? If anybody else puts theirs up, let me know what you did so that I can put it in. Anyone else? Because I know there was at least one or two more of you that was doing it. Unless you all fell asleep. Ooh, you guys need to wake up. Oh, yeah, I know. Pictures pick up weird things, and it'll, it'll look so different in person, and the pictures will look completely the opposite. Okay, let me know now if you if you still have haven't put your picture up because otherwise you won't get counted. What happened to JD? Oh, okay, Laura, that's fine. Take your time. I'll show the the how to make the thing I was gonna show. I'll do that now. It only takes a second anyway. So to make the thing that I'm gonna show you. I was, I came across a video that, you know that lady, what's her, uh, May May made it, you know her? Well, she did a video showing how to make something really, a really cute little pumpkin that was really easy to make. And all you need is an oval. Now, if you have an oval punch, you can use that. But if not, you could just draw a template on a piece of like cardboard or chipboard or something and just make a basic oval. It doesn't have to be perfect at all. So depending on how big you want the pumpkin to be, you make your oval that big. So let's say I want like, you know, like a, what, three and a half inch or so, uh, just make an oval just like that. That's it. And then cut that out, you know, and you can kind of tweak it as you cut it a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect though.
just gonna fix the side here. So just make a basic oval. And then take one of your, take some of your pages. You want probably some of the cards, more thicker ones, either cardstock or what have you would probably be better. Card stocky ones. Where are they? Oh, there's their cardstock watercolor paper. Those will probably be the best ones for this. Definitely the watercolor paper one is missing. Hmm. Where'd it go? Oh, up here. Okay. And what you want to do is trace that and you want to make um <coughs> five five pieces choking and do them in different like color areas you know what i mean uh, let's see any other pencil nope i don't got a tip on it that'll, that'll work and so you take and you go now obviously if you have an oval punch you can do it with that so i'll do one from that piece one from actually you want two that are this similar so I'll do two from here, and then another two that are similar, and then one that's different from the rest. So I'm going to do two from there, two from this paper. So it's kind of like got the same color scheme going on. And then I'll do one that'll be like kind of the brightest one, I guess. So you have these are a little, these four will be a little darker, and then I'll do like... Like brighter oranges, maybe, or something. Like this here. I'm just gonna have some over here I can do on the edge and not waste the whole piece. And then you cut out your five pieces. Or punch them out if you have a punch. I do have an oval punch, but I'm gonna do it this way. An oval punch somewhere, I think. I don't think it's very good, but I have it. <laughs> so I'm going to cut out, I'm gonna cussy cut my ovals. I've made pumpkins like this before, but I've never just used plain ovals, but I've done the same basic thing. So in this case, what you do is you take your ovals and you adjust them behind and you make them a little bit more spread out on the bottom and closer together at the top a little bit like that. 
And now you can adjust them so that they're less like less pointier at the bottom there. So you can kind of adjust them to make them a little bit more fatter at the bottom. So they're not so like pointy-ish. I didn't do a very good job on my ovals, but you can make them. So that they're a little bit less there, like that. Oops, let's go there. So that's like the start of it there. And we're going to ink the edges and stuff. It'll look a lot better when you do that. And then these will go on either side, on, on either side of the, of the other two. And it comes out really cute like a little pumpkin especially when you you got to glue it together and stuff but it'll give the look of a pumpkin you see what I mean and then you make a stem for it but first I'll ink these up with some a brown ink of some sort or whatever color you got like a dark brown is the best. Not there's any ink in here. Yeah, there is. This way you'll define the edges a little bit. dark but and then you just glue it or where my glue is where's the glue and you take this one and you put your you know you glue it and you, what you want to do is angle it so that it's like a little bit more in at the top and wider at the bottom clogged you clogged where did I put those pins at I put pins just today I put pins in here and I don't know what I did with them oh pins where the hell did you go I'm gonna just put them in here squeeze it out. It's me nuts. There. Anywho. And you just glue it to the back of the other one. Like so.
you see what I'm saying? And now you make it look, you know, you need to make your stem. So you take like the dark, a dark piece of one of your papers, you know, to be your stem area. I'm just, just going to cut a square out and then I can make a stem from it. And basically, what I do is I'll put that there and kind of make a, a fat stem for it. Like that. I could have made it a little thicker, but that's okay. And then I will add some ink to this. And this I will ink across more of it so that it's a little darker because I didn't have a very dark piece. So I'll ink across the whole thing. Kind of add some more of the brown. Inky inkies. And stick that where I want. Look how cute. Isn't that cute? And then I'll use some black to go around the outside of it so that it's a little bit more defined even around the outside of it. <clears throat> Hi, Dana. Isn't that cute? How cute is that? And then if you have a leaf, hold on one second. I'll be right back. Hold on. Okay, sorry. Okay, so if you have happen to have a small little leaf die or something, which I do have, or you can stamp one and punch it out. So I have like these little leaves, and I could take and Take a little leaf. Now you could always just stamp one and then fussy cut it. But she had put it on, you know, the, the thing here. And I need to put a little bit of green around it. It's not going to be dark enough. It's something darker. Grab some. Kind of darken this up. And also do 
not just green, but I think I'm going to do a little black around the outside of that too. I can get the stains on so it'll dry quicker and won't rub off the second I touch it. Now, like I said, if you don't have a leaf die, you could stamp one or you can draw one. side whichever I might actually green that up a little bit because it's blending in a little too much let's see if there's anything on here I'll just use this yeah. make it stand out a little better There we go, that's standing out a little better. Yeah, that punch is cute. Oops. And we'll leave that on. And then she had put a bow on hers um, with like twine or something. And I have some. And I can try to do what she did, but I don't know if I can make a bow the way she made it. Mm -hmm. I mean, she didn't do anything complicated, but I'm just not good at making bows. Period. Yeah, but I did have. No, oh, that's not it. Never mind. I should have. Oh, I do have orange raffia stuff here. That would probably work best. I have like an orange twine. I could try to do what she did. My hands are gross. She like wrapped it around her three fingers and I don't know if I'm going to do this right or not. Something like that. And then she had another piece that she tied. I don't know if this is going to work for me because I'm not good at making bows. And this string is not cooperating very well either. Hey, I did not say that you were allowed to leave. Okay, and then she like tied a knot. <laughs> I only have two hands, and this seems like a three handed job. Are there humans that have three hands or something? Crap. Come here, jackass. Had to use my mouth. Anyway, you're supposed to tie a knot in the middle. And then you have like a little phrase and stuff, kind of. That goes there, and that goes there, something like that. My book, stop it. 
stop it. So, right here. She just used some of the art glitter glue. Just put it there. Cute. Is that not the cutest little thing? So that's what I saw on May May made it. May May made it channel. May May made it. <laughs> I'm gonna fix this. It's a little too bulbous. Very cute. So, what well, you can make some, Laura. That's why I showed you how to do it. See, because you can make them. Now we all can make them and make cute little embellishments, little pumpkins. And make them for cards. She showed how you took one. Hers was a little bigger. And she made that like the front of a card. And then when you lifted it up. The, there was like a base underneath. And she tucked like a, a gift. She made like a gift card base. It was very easy. But I'm just making an embellishment. Because it's cute. Oh. You sent them my email. Okay. I'm going to look now. I'm going to double check the group and make sure there was nobody else, and then I'll get yours from email. Okay, I just see Rebecca and Susan. And if it's just Rebecca and Susan and Laura, then you guys will all win. Because everybody else didn't play, so they don't get to win. They snooze, they lose. Why is it being slow? Hello. Ooh, pretty, Laura. Very pretty. Yours would make really nice pumpkins. Very nice, Laura. Awesome. So everybody's going to get a die. Since nobody else played along. So I'll put you guys' names on it so I don't forget it. I'll put it on paper because that's probably going to take you here. my tape. Mm -hmm. That's the question. It was here. Now it is gone. Mm. Oh, I can use this tape here, I guess. Yay! 
You don't have a die cutter? Oh no. Oh no. How are you a card maker and you don't have a die cutter? You silly goose. Well, I will cut some out for you. How's that? I want to make another pumpkin. Oh, Janie, you, I want to, did I send you the link, Janie? I did, right? Come on on then. Come on, come on, 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 on. Come on. <laughs> Janie's going to come on. I'm going to make some more pumpkins. So I like my pumpkins. I might make two different sizes. I might make another template and do a smaller size too. Like that. Oh, there she is. And go. Hello, lady. And go. Hey, Stacy. Huh? I posted a picture of the the wear thing. What's and that? I opened it up, right? Oh, wait a minute. Wait, whoops. The wear thing? Oh, you mean the scale? Yes. And I opened it up, I pull it out, and I went, oh, I was just going to weigh 110 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> like oh my god did you take the rest of it out of the box yes. <laughs> yeah. I, posted, I posted a picture in the group and oh. i'm like oh my god. <laughs> yeah that uh, was so sweet i'm that that was really sweet of you really oh, i'm so welcome. serious i just i can't wait to start weighing things now oh, <laughs> my black one <gasps> nice nope so that's why i have a pink one too Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my uh um I wasted some of this uh mold putty. What what's that thing? I was gonna ask you what that thing is. Well, I tried making oh, some like extra thing. Yeah, do some um little honeycombs with the little bees and things. Right. And I wanted to try to make a mold from this. Right. Well, didn't, I tried three of them. <laughs> they, none of them turned out. They, oh, how? I why? know. I wonder why. I don't know. I huh. saw mad. So I baked well, a piece that one, of the one that you have in your hand looks good, no? Yeah, I went no, and I... Uh, no, the one on the on your table at the bottom there. Yeah. That one, yeah. I, um, yeah, these are crap, but I, <laughs> I took a piece of clay uh -huh. and I pushed it in, you know, here and then right. pulled it out and I baked it, which is that. And then I took a mold of that. Right. Right. Oh, okay. I have gotcha. done that in the first place and I did it. So, yeah. Well, well, that's all right. Too bad you can't melt these down, but make good texture maybe, you know? Yeah. Oh yeah. Use them for something. You can use them as texture things. I'm sure somebody you can give them away, and somebody would use them for texture on their clay. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. And a messy task. That's right. <laughs> Some of it. Oh, and also, I forgot to mention. Obviously, you can make this out of scrap of paper. You don't have to make it out of painting papers. You can make it out of scrap of paper that you have. You know, scraps. Go get your scraps. And, they don't have to be all orange. You can use whatever colors you want. It'll still look nice. Just yeah, those are so cute. There. Isn't that a cute idea? I saw her do that. I was like, I was half asleep. And I, I put on that video or it came on after another video and I'm like watching it. And all of a sudden I see it and I'm like, I waked up and I'm like, what is that? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh my God, I like that pumpkin. <laughs> I'm like, that's really cute. And this is cool. I don't know. It's adorable. It's adorable. Yeah. I was like, that's really cute and easy. Yeah. I'm going to have to show them that tomorrow. 
Hmm. Oh, I know what I need to do. I need, before I forget, to put holes in my voodoo dolls, my other, other voodoo dolls. Hmm. Hmm. One, two, them has. Alright, who took them? Who took them? Did they have? Oh, here's one. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Hmm. Hmm. Don't I have four? Oh, tell me one escaped again. <laughs> Probably did, right? Uh. Uh oh. Mm -mm. Around terrorizing. The no. Now I'm in trouble. <laughs> oh, oh, that's a shame, Stephanie. Yeah, they were probably scared off by our rain. <laughs> Most likely. Oh, that's annoying. Hmm. Oh, I got my ma my moon mask. I want to play with that tonight, too. <gasps> oh, yeah, I want to see that, too. No. Oh, here he is. Hey. Get over here. There he is. Sneaky mm -hmm. little guy. No, I know. We need more of him, too. Well, we'll call the scale payment for one of the voodoo dolls that you make me. Okay. Any preference? I have lighter colors, and I have, and actually, this one's a smaller guy. Now, I, like the light, I like one of the light ones, like that, that, that one on the bottom I like the best, I this think. Way. Yeah. Okay. Like Any preference on the holes? <laughs> <laughs> oh, one in the groin, one in the chest. <laughs> okay. And maybe in the back end. Oh, yeah, right sure. Oh, yeah, right in the ass. Okay. Good. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> then we will. He already has one in the heart there. Yeah. Poor guy. <laughs> he deserves it. <clears throat> You got your moon mask? Oh, uh, Mary Jane got hers too. Oh, nice. Twins. We're twins. I think I'm going to put black on the outside of all of these this time instead of just the brown because, because they're a bit busy. It shows up better with the black, I think. Mm. And, you know, I don't have to worry about erasing my pencil marks because I can just ink over them. I'm going to make me some pumpkins so that I can have some for fall crafty stuff. Cool. Oh, you sure nice can. Do you, want, do you want one like this one or one with black eyes? Or which one? That's probably the smaller one. That baby right there. Any preference on the holes, Shazzy? <laughs> These don't have holes in them yet. <laughs> yeah, this little man. As long as you're not going to use it against me. Shazzy, you brat. <laughs> this is another like, ow, ow. Shazzy's at it again. <laughs> Here they come. Oh, ah. <laughs> that one. I'll kick her butt. <laughs> oh. Uh, okay, this one. And just. Oh, okay. <laughs> See, that's why I want, I'm going to have to stick the um, pins in when I do the resin. Be huh? Oh, uh, because it sticks then, then it won't come out. And I'll have to pull it out. The teeny baby. Baby. Okay, <laughs> That went crazy. Came out, but I'm going to pull and I'll stick these in and then put the resin and 
put one coat of resin and then put the whole something like that. But, <laughs> oh no, you're not holding me up, Shazzy. You're fine. You're good. No rush. You and Sophia going to bed? I hope so. <laughs> okay. Good night. <laughs> Yeah, Sophia, and he's like, I hope so. <laughs> like, she's not going to say that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying there. Oh. oh, I love you too. You're welcome. Yeah, you're not holding me up. When you're ready for it, my <laughs> took me a while to find anything, too. You know? I'm already cutting them up. <laughs> I did. <laughs> Dana, he was hanging right in front of me. I, in, on my camera, I have some like beads and stuff hanging there, and I put these um, these things to hold some things when they dry. Well, he was on one of these right in front of me, face backward, away from me. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, he was there. Oh, <laughs> unbelievable. And I was so worried about him, you know, like coming after me. Well, you should be worried about somebody else getting them and then using them again. <laughs> yeah. You know. Voodoo dolls don't attack people. It's the okay. person who has the voodoo doll that uses it against somebody. That's true. That's true. You don't have to worry about them coming after you. You have to worry about them falling into the wrong hands. <laughs> true. Oh boy. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, I'm not good at making the stems. She she showed a better way to do it. My my, my stems kind of <laughs> suck. <laughs> my pumpkin stems are not very good. Hmm. If you follow her video, they I forget how she did it. I, I'd have to look again. But she did a very simple one. I just forgot how she did it. They're so cute. They're so cute. Are they? They're really easy to make. Yeah, I'll do, I'll do it on two fingers this way I can. Mm -hmm. Smaller one, maybe. Let's see if I can try this on here without wanting to shoot myself in the foot. I know. <laughs> Even after I found him, I was like, went to bed that night, and I had this. Uh, as I was walking to the bed, I had the strange thought of the voodoo doll that was on that movie. So I like really ran fast. <laughs> it was in my head. <laughs> oh my god, it's gonna get me. Uh. <laughs> get you. Going to get me. Oh, I'm pull out, honey. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> see, really? Yeah, see, I do. Now you can say, Listen, listen. Oh, wait, wait, no. okay, <laughs> watch out. <laughs> right, I know. Lock him in that box, he'll be still on his way through the oh my gosh, that was a terrible movie. <laughs> <laughs> The movie was so creepy. I'll never forget it. My parents were laughing at me because I was jumping around the room. I was all like, <laughs> they're like, oh my God. And my mother, I think, even talked about it in a letter to my sister and said, oh, Janie said, 
come time to bed. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. It's like, don't shut my door. Don't shut my door. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, you're right. <laughs> That's why I hid under the covers most of the time. <laughs> yeah, big baby. I mm, know it. <laughs> it's always so great. <laughs> Since Grandpa had one hanging on his gate and in a tree. Oh, geez. <laughs> That'd probably be me. <laughs> all, all the booty dolls around. Now this leaf is probably going to be too big for that one. Maybe not. <laughs> I don't know. Mm -hmm. Get here. Yeah, right through. Look at that. Cut both of these, maybe. Better remember that one putting on resin. That went right through that. How the hell did that happen? Well, that looks better than the. Mm, it's not too big. It's perfect, yeah. actually. Should have probably done two on there. That's good. That little stem piece, though. Have you really? I can barely remember that. That show, uh, the Blair Witch Project, been a long. I never time. like watched that. The whole thing, I watched like part of it. It didn't really interest me, but yeah, I don't because I don't remember too much of it. But <laughs> that would be me too. Hi, Letitia. Hi, Letitia. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh man, that's oh sure will. Oh, I'm sorry. Your mom's your mom is in the hospital from COVID. Oh no. Mm. I hope she'll be okay. Oh, did it, Rebecca? Oh, boy. Because I know I'm just never going to watch it. What a man. Hmm. It's been really creepy. Remember where I put these? Jeez, as usual. Hmm. Great. Now what? I found them. More quality engine. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I just I, I can't remember. I probably saw here and there. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe one. Oh, that's so adorable. You can do like a card with you can put like two or three of them on there. Cute. Letitia, if you can't ask here, where can you ask, right? That's for sure. Mm -hmm. Don't remember. How long has she been sick? Has she been sick a while? Yeah, when did she go in? Horrible. I think she just went in, but I'm wondering how long she's been sick. Mm. Oh, I hope so. Hmm. Yes, yeah. in between the sides of that too. Oh, wow. A couple hours. 
Oh, well, just I'll say being positive. Yes. Hmm. There we go. That's scary. Thanks, Krista. Mary Jane. Oh, is that Mary Jane? Oh, okay. Sorry. Thanks, Mary Jane. Forgot. Yeah, that's the same thing. Had she had she been sick with it for a, a while, um, Leticia? Like for you know, then it just got worse or something? Yeah, because Sometimes you wonder, you know, how long it takes people that have a lot of growth. These are, jeez, I think there were these small things here. Too small. Look how small those are. The little drill bits or whatever. <laughs> oh, I know. They're really little for that. Like, I know. Know. like the little handle thing. <laughs> yeah, like, whoa. Yeah. Mine are too. Mine, yeah, they're really little. Tiny, crazy. But that's good. I mean, yeah. I think I like. Oh, let me get out of there. This is always better. Okay. Oh, your ex mother in law had it. Oh, boy. She pulled. That's good. Well, I'm sure it's scary. No, you know, of course it would be. Yeah. Think positive. Think positive thoughts. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me go. Which way am I going here? health issues but nothing like this she had a cold for a few days got better then we got hit the news tonight oh okay wow hmm yeah i'm sure it, yeah it's hard to to think positive but oh, you know make yourself sick yeah just because she's going in the hospital doesn't mean that it's you know going to be a you know right you know that means that she's not going to come out of the hospital you know what i mean yeah My niece, my niece is in the hospital with it, and you know she, yeah, she got better. I mean, she still has some issues, but That's scary with something like that, I'm sure, if it, you know, not like an operation or something. doesn't help, does it? <laughs> For sure. Doesn't help at all. I'm glad you came in, though. Leticia. We don't need you getting sick here.
you to stay away from whoever was around your mom that she got sick from. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. If anybody sick tries to come to you, you give them the kung fu kick and tell them I'll kick their ass. <laughs> yeah. Stay yeah. away. Just keep your keep your fungalitis to yourself. <laughs> fungalitis. Fungalitis. Hi, Marsha. Hi, Marsha. Where were you at, Marsha? You left mixed media mashup. Hmm. I might have to dress this one up because if that's going to be my middle piece, it's not very pretty. So I'm going to dress it up a little bit. Dress it up. Dress it up. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Oh. No, 16 hours each. Great. Put the same color. Probably. Take a long way. Mm. That's a lighter color, I think. Okay, I'm going to use yellow. Oh, what are you spitting on me for, dude? Okay, my plan. Go watching and playing our game at the same time. Well, that's good. We're glad you're watching. I want to know what kind of game you're playing. What kind of games yeah. do you think you're playing here, lady? <laughs> what kind of games? You want to know. Yeah, she's cheating on us, that's for sure. Triple match 3D. Ooh, that sounds interesting. You know what? I wonder. Dwayne said that today and that scared me. <laughs> um, I want to, you know, I have to keep the pin member from being lost. So, you know, I put this little pin thing here, the head pin, I mean the eye pin. And then the problem is if I want to make like the pin, okay, that sticks in this way. And I thought, okay, well, I could just make one at the end of this and then have the chain from this to that. And that way you could just put it anywhere. But the thing of it is, if I put one at the end, I won't be able to put the little round well, thing. Well, why don't you make a, an, uh, use, an eye, use the eye pin instead of a head pin? You know, the little loop at the top? Yeah, I was going to make a little loop right here of my own. Yeah. Oh, okay. But then how my, how would I put one of these my little toppers on? I wouldn't be able to stick it through. Stick it through it. Like stick the stick the you know the pin through the head thing so that the loop will be at the top of the pin head. And then put the thing. chain onto that. Yeah, and hook the chain onto that, and then hook okay. the chain to wherever part of it you know. To the yeah to that then. Okay. Yeah, I think that'll work. Good idea. That'll work. <laughs> it's like, oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Okay, Leticia. Alright, Leticia. 
put you some supplies. One there, one there. I'm gonna, I gotta fix that one. I don't like it. And there, and what? Brown stays on. What do I do with the brown? Maybe I'll do green. Do you want to hold the side of his head? Or no? I got, I got, you know, one, one here, and one here. <laughs> and one back here. Uh, do we want one on the side of the head? Sure. Okay. <laughs> right, get ready. Hey, mister. You're in trouble now, dude. <laughs> uh, there he goes. No turning back. He's getting a brain surgery sort of thing here. <laughs> Getting something. <laughs> All right. Leticia wanted to know if you saw her message. Oh, no, I haven't seen it yet. I came on here. I haven't looked since I've been on here. But I will look at it in a second. Right? <laughs> I can look at it now before I start making mm. the thing. Oh, I like this drill. Sharp little thing. What message? Because oh, on on the on there. Let's see a message. Oh, so you know. Oh, you have. Oh, you it. saw. Oh, okay, oh, I'm oh, sorry. Oh. I read that wrong. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> okay, got it. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, Stephanie, I think you need to because you need to get your mind off of things. For a while. I forgot how sharp those palm trees are until it kept stabbing me. Oh, it was making me tree? mad. I put it. Oh, oh, oh I, I just saw the, the picture when I was going through the, the thing for the. For the mixed media mashup, I saw yeah. that you did something to the palm tree or something. I decided to go out and trim it. And you did? <laughs> Whoa. It, yeah, I needed it bad. I think we've I've taken a few limbs off here and there as it was growing, but then we just left it. So it needed, right. needed trimmed, and boy, it was like a sharp little thing. <laughs> That's funny because uh, Stephanie had said about um, work, and then she had messaged me, and then I said, I said something like, "I was going to, I'll be at mixed media mashup," and then told her about the, you know, po having the pictures I was going to post and stuff, and then I think she said something like, "Are you going to be alone?" Are you going alone or something? And I'm like, uh, going alone. And I had to think, and I was like, um, and I kind of laughed. I went like, to mix mix me a mashup. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> and she meant, are you doing the palm tree by yourself? Oh, because <laughs> like, before she saw it, she was thinking it was a huge palm right. tree, <laughs> and so. I told her that's how they all started out at the other house. They were smaller than that, much smaller. And then in 17 years, of course, it got so big where I had climbed that 10 foot ladder and I just could reach the, the palm wow. leaves. And so that was would have been the last time I could ever reach it myself. 
we'd have to call okay. somebody in for that. But yeah, it took a long time, you know, for, but yeah, it grew nice and tall. I have a small, a medium, and a large. So I like to have a variety of sizes on my pumpkins. So cute. I love them. They're very cute. Very cute. Yeah. I love them. I love them. Cool colors. I need to make, I need to look at her video and see how she made the base, the stems, because I like her stems better. And I forget how she did it. The title of her video is, uh, will you be making these for everyone? <laughs> is there, is she, called the, she says, is this the gift of the year? Because, I don't know, because she made it into a little gift card and it was so cute. <laughs> oh. It's really cute though. I'm not used to having a black hair dryer. I was always looking for my white one. I got a black one. Don't fall. Don't do it. <laughs> oh, I see how she made it. Oh, yeah, that's right. I remember how she did it now. I remember. Okay, Stephanie. Be careful. Where is she going? Where are you going? She did hers more fat like that. Like she did them more like that, like more fatter like that. I'm gonna make this a little smaller, but um that little hole right there real quick. I'm make that one a little better. I like them both ways. It's cute too. So you can barely hear that, can you? Mm -mm. I'll have to get me one of those. <laughs> it's nice to not have to shout. How much was it? <laughs> yeah. Well, it does silence after a few seconds, but it, you know, sometimes it could take a minute or two, you know, like a minute to get it to be quiet. So there's that stem and then there's that stem. So there's two different types of stem. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I like them both. That, that would be a tough one, but I can see what you mean about that one too. That's nice. 
I don't mind it. Okay. Either or works. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's hot. <laughs> he's hot. Oh, very. I think she needs like a clip to hold it while she while she put the thing on it. I'm not sure I have a clip that's gonna be small enough. I mean I could clip it here. That's a good idea. That's what she did, I remember now. She used like a clip of some sort, so so that you didn't have to have three hands to tie it. <laughs> it's funny because I, when you said I, I have to use my mouth, a lot of times I have to do that when I need like a third hand because it's just mm -hmm. like, you know, tying things. It's like, <laughs> it's tough sometimes. Let's check out which two are the ones I was tying. She made it so it has four tails. That's him, I smell instead of the. Okay. You stop sticking in my fingers, you fool. little um the little eye pin problem is i can't find them um not the ones like you know yeah, like the heavy duty one well heavy duty but those um eye screws whatever but i've got the um oops, gold ones but I can't, for some reason um, I can't find other ones of course i can't because <laughs> i put them away from you know like, yeah they should be like right here, but not. And they should be where all the um, keychains and and everything are. And that's weird that I didn't put them in there. 
Oh, good night, Stephanie. Oh, I thought she was going to craft. No, she left. Yeah. Oh, she had to go. Yeah. Oh. So I, maybe they're in here and I just don't know it. No, they're not. <laughs> That's kind of weird. Oh. Well. Now, the gold ones, I have the everything together. Oh, that's strange. Of course, when I want them, when I hear. That would be cute. These would be cute on a journal cover for a fall or something. Oh, yeah, or, they would be. Or like a little, a little um, gathering. Yeah. Like that, on so like a card or something. Yeah. It's so it been a per more perfect color too, you know, for <laughs> for those. I know. Cute. Stupid cute. Perfecto. Perfecto. They are stupid cute. <laughs> they are. They're stupid cute. I like them. I like them. Oh, I should make some out of scrap of paper, too, because I got all my stuff out. All my hat over stuff. There we go. It's all out and So what are you going to work on, Leticia? Make you some. You can make you some pumpkins. Yeah. Here, I'm just moving around. See if I put my silver what's it called back here. I didn't see them. Something like that. These I'm gonna back on some paper. I think I'll recut them out because it's a little flimsy. The paper's thin. Oh, get back here. Hey, hey, hey. Let's see. 
look up a signature cord and I think what I'll do. It doesn't have resin or anything on them yet. I'll just put this, glue this to this and we cut those out. Um. <laughs> Let's look at the hair and, and laugh at this one. Oh, cool. Yeah, I like that one. Funny. What did you color the hair with? I forget what you said. Because it wasn't that color when you started, was it? This is just raffia. Oh, did I, but did you color it or was it that color? It was this color. Oh, it was. Oh, okay. For some reason, I thought it was a different color. Yeah. When I started. have uh, it was like, a, like a light colored. I did show the um, the natural. I had a, one of the natural ones hanging on. Oh, uh, maybe that's it. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, no, here's the brown. See, I thought I had black, but I don't have black. I have like red, brown, the natural colors. Um, she had witch doctor. And then, of course, I probably just threw it somewhere. Put it around here. <laughs> witch doctor. How do you use clear granular gel? And what is it used for? Um... It's uh, you can use it like through a stencil for, for texture or just, you know, just like texture paste. It's just a different type of texture paste. I have some of that stuff. You can use it through a stencil. You can put it on. It, it, it has basically little, little granulars in it, you know, like little pieces of sometimes it's glass beads and sometimes it's whatever, but it has stuff in it to make it, give it a little fun little texture, you know, you can color it if you want to, you know, or just put it on this plain but you know, it just gives a fun texture to things hi Shelly I forgot I made some of these already um, this one was, was already big like that but I made a whole bunch of little pins problem is I don't know um, if I want them small. Oh yeah, JD. I know I have. <laughs> I have one of those too. I'm like, yeah, they do make very good oval shapes. <laughs> that I know that right away. Yep, sure do. Check this going. What are you guys looking at me for? <laughs> they want snacks. I know, right? They wanna you know what? They're like, you're the snack lady. <laughs> I know. Give us all snacks. We'll go out for you though. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Huh. We're gonna have to wait just a second, okay? We might come into Okay. Sure, I am gonna just KB asked the same thing. I'm gonna try Sally. Very soon, like in the next day. Because I wanna uh, Katie asked the same thing. So I was looking and uh saved some images of her. For sure, of course. But um, do you want them this big though, Leticia? It's kind of it's it's a bigger one for a bracelet. Would you want them smaller though? Because it's like a chunky bracelet. I mean, I, I don't. Whoops, I don't know. Because he could be like that or like um, more like 
you know, the cookie monster, like that size. See the. Okay, I'll make I'll make uh, you know some of these anyway, and and then you can choose. Okay. Oh, I'll be right back. They're not gonna quit staring at me. <laughs> they want snacks. I could see myself making a million of these little pumpkins. I'm not going to do that. Because I'll spend all my time doing that. And I won't get anything else done. I need a brown. Which one did I designate for brown? I guess this yellow one because I don't have anything else for it. making little pumpkins that I learned how to make from watching um May May made it she had a little video on how to make these cute little pumpkins that was a real simple and so I've been making them little pumpkins out of my mixed media paper now I'm making some out of scrapbook paper scrappy paper Okay, and then I will 
to make the black around the outside look still wrong. I get some sticky ink. Frustratingly sticky. Which cat should be upside down? The one in the middle at the up at higher or the two at the bottom here? Because either way I turn it, one of them's gonna be upside down. I'm thinking this one this way, I think will be best. Mm. Okay. Looks like you put a message in, but it was no message. <laughs> just you, you just put the time in. <laughs> Weird. Weird. See if I can find some head pins in here. <laughs> I don't know what I would have done with them. That is just too weird. I mean, I can. You can just use a piece of wire and make one. Yeah, that's what I've been doing. But oh. I just, well, I know I had some extra, like, extra ones too floating, you know, in a package because, because obviously I had enough. <laughs> but now I don't know where they're at. So. <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, it's funny. She tried to put the cat food into the regular cabinet with her dishes. <laughs> you know what? I like my mixed media one better. Sorry, but mixed media oh, ones are cute. It's cute, but I like mixed media ones better. Yeah, I do too. Definitely. Mm. These look too plain to me. <laughs> How cute anyway. They are. They are, are very cute.
do. I found the rest of my Oreo cookies. <laughs> they were mm -hmm. stuck back there. <laughs> I think what it was, I needed the desk or whatever, and well, I took everything and just shoved it in the back of me, and now it's no mm -hmm. back there, of course. Found the cookies because that's the next thing I would have been looking for when I <laughs> put <it> together. <laughs> I found my raffia too. This, this mm -hmm. a piece of it. Oh God! I have a whole bag somewhere. I always lose stuff like that because I never know where to put it. That's a good place for it, so it gets moved around so much that I end up losing it. I didn't either, so I took a uh, a gift bag because I was thinking, where did I put it? Where I put it? I took like a gift bag and just a small one and I put all of it because all the colors in that little gift bag and I put a white piece of cardstock across it and put raffia and then I put it <laughs> in the closet where a lot of other stuff is. <laughs> I'm like, okay, yeah, missed that facing forward like in big letters. <laughs> I wouldn't miss it. the orange one that I found when I was doing my because last night I got my Halloween I had to clean up a lot in here to get that and then Chris helped me you know he was helping me get the stuff out the Halloween stuff out of the closet out in the living room mm -hmm. and he had to pull like everything out to get it out oh, gosh. and then I had to clean up in here in order to have a place to put it I had to clear drawers and that's what I did last night I was clearing away clearing out drawer I cleared out a lot of drawers and I 
didn't even need to clear out as many as I did, I think, but at least it'll be ready for Christmas too. Oh, wow. Good. Yeah, it feels good when you know you get some things like that done. It's just woo, doing yeah. that is, you know. No, it was good that I got it done because otherwise I wasn't going to be able to bring my Halloween stuff in here. There just wouldn't have been anywhere to put it, you know. I mean, it's yeah. still in the people behind me for the most part. I didn't have enough drawers to like put all the scrapbook paper in, but at least the at least the little embellishments and crap like that have a place, you know. Right. for the most part and I kind of organized it somewhat like I put like I had like little die cuts and things I put in these little drawers I had gotten um I made this last year I hadn't used it yet little oh scrappy cute. embellishment oh and guess what else I found I forgot that I, I do this every year and I always forget where is it um, all night because I kept trying to avoid it so I didn't get paint all over it. Oh, no. And now I don't know where it is. Oh. Well, I'll find it. Can't be far because I didn't go anywhere with it. Like, see what I found? No, I lost it. <laughs> that's, that's for me. sometimes when you go to look for something and it's like okay well well i yeah i don't know because i literally while i was doing those papers i literally was sitting there going oh don't put it there because i didn't want to get it wet and get wet paint on it so i was avoiding a certain spot but now i don't know where the hell it is i don't know if i moved it since then but it couldn't have oh. gone far because i didn't go anywhere right by my desk as far as I know this is where those little aliens come in and take them that's where it drives me really batty when stuff like that happens and now I don't know where the hell it is it literally sat right here because I know it was right near me oh for the love of god I don't know oh, no. Jesus Oh, I hear you. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Somebody steal it? <laughs> oh, that's little aliens came and got it. You well, must have because it was mine. I'm very confused. It's not like it's small, it's pretty big. No. Hmm. That's frustrating then. 
something over here. Maybe when I blew something or fell. I don't see it anywhere over here at all. What the hell? Sometimes you know the things, you, the places you would not put things, and you look there, and it's like, okay, I knew I wouldn't put it there, but now I look there. Where yeah, but I didn't even move it while I was doing it. I just kept avoiding it. I kept like going, nope, nope, don't put your paper there, and I'd, I'd go around it and make sure I didn't lay my paper on top of it because I was afraid it was going to get paint on it. And so and the only places I was laying my papers were on these drawers, so that's where I thought it was sitting, and now I'm looking, and it's gone. And I'm like, I didn't move it. Because it's not anywhere around here, and it's not in any spot where I would have moved it. So I'm very confused at what the hell oh. happened to it. Because it's not on my desk anywhere, and it's not anywhere where it even could be. That's maddening. That's maddening. Is that no? That's not it either. Damn it. I thought maybe when I was getting that string, I moved it again. I moved it. At that time, I mean, but I didn't. Not in there. It's not in here. Nope. Weird. That's really bizarre. <laughs> what the hell? Literally sat here avoiding it for the last two hours, like the, you know, going around it purposely, taking the papers and moving them around so that it, they wouldn't touch it. I was like, I don't want to drip anything on it, you know. And now it's gone, and it's there's nothing. Like if I was sitting here, I'm thinking to myself, and when I was taking the papers and moving them, it's not where I where it was. It was either on the right or left side, but sitting on a drawer, and that's where it was. And I kept having to avoid it, and I did. I avoided it the whole time. Instead of moving it then, I kept just avoiding it. Oh and now, God. all of a sudden, it's gone? I'm very confused by this. Because it's not in anywhere near where it was before. It's even more frustrating. It must be a mole person that was taking my stuff. I'm very confused. I look at everything I have over here. It's not here at all. I look over here now. Oh, no way. Oh, better. It's not over here. What the hell? I didn't get up the entire time I did mixed media mashup. I did not move a muscle out of that chair. I didn't get off my ass at all. I spun my chair around a couple times to get my papers, but I didn't move off the chair. So it couldn't have gone anywhere that was off my chair. Because oh my I didn't move off my chair at all. Is it under your desk? Under? Nope. I looked. Oh I looked. I just looked under my desk. Oh. I thought maybe it's in the drawer, but my drawers are so stuffed there was nowhere to put anything in the drawers. It would just sit on top of the open drawer, and that's where it was. So I remember sitting it on the drawer because I wanted to show you guys before I even started the mixing and mashup thing. And then I started it, and I said, well, I'll show it after. And I kept avoiding it to not get paint on it. But... Anyhow, it's completely gone, and I'm really confused because there's not any place for it to be. Like there's absolutely nowhere it could be because it's a it's a journal, so it's not small. You know, it's like this big and it's thick. So I'm like, where the hell is it? Because there's nowhere for it to have gone. It's not like you could. It's not small. It's not something that could have disappeared like really easily. Oh I know they're empty still because they didn't put anything in them yet. That's really 
gone. I don't understand how, but it's gone. There's not, I don't have any drawers that could be in or nothing. That's crazy. Oh, there it is. Okay, I did stick it in a drawer, I guess. So one of the empty drawers on this side, I didn't even notice that I even had an empty drawer on this side. Oh. Somehow I must have did that. I don't know when. I really don't know when I did it, but I just did it at some point when I finished my cleaning matchup and before I started doing the pumpkins, I guess. Anyway, some of you might remember this from last year. You know, the journal I made that I started and didn't finish it. I put some stuff in it, like tucks and belly bands and stuff, but I haven't actually finished it. I did a couple little things, but... Oh my gosh, I, I mean, there's probably be something in there that'll spark a memory. <laughs> yeah. I, I started it last year towards the end of Halloween and then and then I didn't finish it though. Hmm. It oh, you remember? Oh. I didn't even remember until I opened it. So I opened my box and I'm like, oh yeah. I think I do that every year though. Every year I start a journal and I don't finish it for Halloween. And then because I'll finish it and then I'll start a new one and that this was the new one. <laughs> oh. Yeah, this none of this is done back here, but there's a lot of pages in here and they're all backed on black paper. This really came cool. out really cute, but yeah. Of course I need to finish it. You know. I'm not, I I remember saying I wasn't going to go crazy with it. I was just going to do some pages and put some tucks and stuff like that, but mm -hmm. yeah, I didn't, I didn't finish That's it. Cute. So finish it so it can go in the auction. Oh, you weren't here, Shazzy? <gasps> hey, there's a lot of pages oh, no. in that. Um, I don't remember. Of course, this is like, why should I have remembered? I don't have them. Yep, and I found like, I was going through all my, all my different ephemeras that I had, all these things okay, that I had. Uh-huh. Different Femur pieces and I got tons of stuff in here. I got lots of fun Halloween stuff. Plus, I found that I got last year. I found these. I got these last year. I wanted to make a little shadow boxy thing with lights behind it. I got these last uh -huh. year. They're those vellum or not vellum. I don't know if they are. The transparent frames or something. Are these frames? Oh wait, I didn't get these last year. I'm lying. I thought these were the things. Well, they're the same thing, but they're vellum even. I still want to put lights behind them, but um, Ooh. they're like the vellum pieces. Oh, wow. Like this one I wanted to put and put like oh, cool lights or something behind it. I don't know. That's cool. No, I didn't get these last year. I got these a couple years ago, I think, mm. actually. Because I thought they were the Tim Holtz things, and then I realized, no, no, no. Because if, if they were the Tim Holtz things, I would have had to have gotten them last year. But I realized, I don't think he had these out for Halloween because remember he had those transparent things and I got some of them but they're not Halloween anyway I thought maybe he can these are from this year these are the Tim Holtz stuff from this year that I uh, got okay. and the rest of these are all from several years of just gathering stuff wow. and then there's these here which are more like that's ephemera and these are more like stickers kind of and wood pieces hmm die cuts in there and I have like little sunflowers and a little Frankenstein. I have this which is kind of a Halloween. -y. It could be Halloween. -y. Oh my god. Sunflowers are so sort of Halloween. -y. Halloween. -y. <laughs> so cute. I made that last year. Oh. And there's all kinds of stuff in here. Little pieces of them are there. Oh, wow. <laughs> some stickers and like little spider webby things. I still haven't gone to Dollar Tree. I need to go to the Dollar Tree. I haven't been there. Yeah, me neither. A while. There's some like, cute little fall sticker guys and stuff. Oh, cute. All kinds of fall stuff. There's one there. My stuff, was, my stuff still sitting out there in the kitchen when I was separating it to put it away. Well, it's still there. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
And then I have graphics from last year that I must have printed out either last year or the year before, and I was going through those, not that, but oh, wow. I remember I was I um I lost these because I had scanned them, and now I got to rescan them because I had scanned oh, all these. Yeah, yeah, and I didn't I put this this way so you can see my whole table. But I had scanned them, and now I have to rescan them. I don't know what these are. Oh, these are like those double-sided things. You can add glitter to them or something, I think. Um, so, yeah, a lot of these I have to redo because I don't have them. Well, I found my stuff. <laughs> Did you? I must have never put them. The only thing I'm thinking is I must have not put them in a place because maybe I was like separating everything and I didn't get to the the silver pins what to do with them because there's a lot of them here already and I just don't know so unless I come across them I'll just use these yeah <laughs> uh. you'll find them yeah. goodness for extra things and yeah, my little Paper mache skull guy. Oh, that's right. He reminds me of the ones I have, but the concrete ones that I put outside, I think they're up in the attic too. Hey, 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 you're falling over. It's going to stay in there. My dies that I got. My little dies. Those I got last year. So I think they were given to me by Sharon. I think Sharon or somebody gave me these. I think. Why well, you seem Ooh. like you're down in a hole? <laughs> you seem like you're down in a hole. Who's down in a hole? Me? You, you look like you're like. I'm looking way down in a hole. <laughs> oh, I gotta zoom it in a little bit. That's why. Oh. Maybe with my eye, there. <laughs> oh, and I need to make some cement thingies for my skulls and bones. Oh. So maybe I'll do that the next time I come online. I'll do some cement. Those. And I got my other dyes in the that came in in the, um, uh, with the moon mask thing, which is out in the living room, I think. <laughs> Good place for it. Oh. Oh, Here, I've got some skulls in here. I don't know why. I can use them. Oh, wait. I know I must have just been throwing things in because I remember you helped me make this bead with the glitter. Yeah. But it's in here with this clay and it should be in with the beads that I hmm. made. So I must have just thrown everything in here for some reason. I don't know. You sound like me. Tossing them in places. My face. Oh. Never know where you're gonna find anything. Yeah. Well, at least I have a lot of skulls in there I could use. That's a good thing. <laughs>
some more bunnies and owls also in the bottom here. <laughs> I can dig those out too because I need to keep those out. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's still too hot out. <laughs> it's hard to enjoy fall crafting when you know it's too hot out. Oh, yeah. For sure. Well, let the dogs out. It it looks like it has been raining just a little bit, not not much. So, um mm. but I sure could feel the humidity. <laughs> Yeah, raining and ooh, terrible. One rabbit. Yeah, I'll be happy when this uh, hot weather is over. I will mm -hmm. be more than happy to see it go. miserable. Yep. Let me run to the bathroom. I will be right back. What you been up to, Jeff? You cracked in anything? Oh, I found a few things. Well, that's my black clay. Oh my gosh. I can see it all over the place. Why should it surprise me? Okay. You know, it's very hard to think when you don't when you have a mess. I know that for sure because <laughs> I look around and I think, I don't think, I can't think because it's very frustrating. Because there's just too much around. So I think you're getting somewhere, and then it just seems to go the other way. a lot of times I'll do stuff and kind of be in a rush like oh I think I'll do this you know think of another project or something to try or something to do get everything out then it's a disaster again there's really no use in like cleaning up too much because right now anyway it's going to end up like this again Yeah. Okay. More play. Mm -hmm. 
Okie doke. I was just thinking I need a bigger container for my clay pieces like this. Oh, here's one. I'm sure there's no skulls in here. Hmm. Might have been something I tried with uh, tissue paper and glue or something and water because it's awfully light. Okay, I went and grabbed my salad. Ooh. It's a pinta pasta. Pinta pasta. It's got meats and lettuces and things. Oh, I had a favorite place to get those. Um, I can't remember what, what state it was in. <laughs> but, uh, one place I just love to go because they just made the best ones. Hmm. I said, what, you know, the pre-made salads, when would get me the ones either in the bag or in like those plastic containers, you know, with the cellophane stuff over that. Um, yeah. Um, seem to be a little cheaper than the bags. And so I've been getting those, but today that one, I said, is this the same one you always get? He's like, yeah, it's the same as that kind. I'm like, are you sure? Positive? Yep. It's the kind I always get. I mean, cause because hmm. I've been eating lettuce a lot because now I got the dressing. But I said, it literally tastes like dirt. And it's, it's <laughs> I mean, it's all washed and packaged. It literally it tastes like, like dirt. <laughs> it's, it's like they forgot to wash it. <laughs> I was like, it's just, it just tastes like dirt. Oh. Huh. I'm like, I'd get, you know, I probably could have washed it again. So I think I will. <laughs> Yeah, maybe it needs an extra washing. Oh, I just was. <laughs> Worse than dirt. Because, you know, I mean, I've tasted dirt too. Oh, I don't I'm to claw. Come here, baby. Come here, sweetheart. Come on. What's the matter? Come on. Are you play with me? Are you smiling? I see it. Come here. No. Come here. Smiling. <laughs> oh, I think I didn't know you were in here, baby. No. No. I didn't mean it. You okay? Okay. All right, come on, girls. Let's go lay down, okay? Good girls. Go lay down. She snuck in here and I rolled back. I heard a little tiny squeak. And then I looked back and there's Willow and she held her oh, paw. Like, hey. I must have got the hair on her paws, you know. I had no idea she was in here. Oh my gosh, that's funny. She's it's fine. Like, She's like fine now. Sneak in there. <laughs> yeah, it's because I have a gate on my butt. She's not one to yelp or anything. She does. She's very mm -hmm. really quiet. She's not one to yelp or anything about things. She's very quiet. Quiet, yeah. <laughs> It's like mine. But you can hear she out out so tiny. She's went mm -hmm. like that, and I was like, "That's what I was like." What the hell was that? I look behind me, and there she is, and I'm like, "Damn it!" Oh, that's no idea she was in here. <laughs> like any other dog would have went, "Yeah, you know." Yeah, right. <laughs> Cute. Hi, Esther. <laughs> Hi, Esther. She was. She was being quiet. All right. I like to sneak in. Mm. 
see the sneaking. Oh, there's way. Finding all these. I, uh. Oh, great. Now, where is it? Oh, of course. Well, I must have put it back in the container. Hmm? I realized I hadn't eaten anything all day. Oh, jeez. I got up at like, I don't know, like one o'clock this afternoon. Um, I had my tea, mm -hmm. but I didn't feel like eating at that time, so I didn't. And then I was doing some other things, and then I sat, I was sitting on the couch for a little while with the dogs, and then I was getting stuff ready for the live stream, and then I forgot to eat. <laughs> oh, jeez. Why well, do I feel kind of hungry? <laughs> I do that once in a while, but not very often. <laughs> I, know. I do it all the time. Wow. I'll forget to eat and then wonder why I keep snacking on like things. You know what I mean? Like picking on this, picking on that. Yeah. And then I'll realize, okay, it's because I didn't eat, you know, anything really. Wow. I don't think about eating. That's the problem. I don't get like hungry. It's very rare for me to be like, oh my God, I'm starving. Like ever. So... Wow. But see, when I snack on things, I always snack on the wrong things, and so that's why you know. <laughs> Me too. I'm not good either. Well, yeah. but I don't mm. like you know. I don't. I'm not one to like sit down and eat like a full fledged meal. Yeah, me neither. Unless like we go out or mm -hmm. sometimes on Sundays we can make something, but. Okay. Ooh, did the trick though. Just when I needed something. Something. Just the something. You know. Looks well, like I have a pricker in my finger. Why would it be red and look like there's a pricker? A pricker? From the <laughs> uh, palm tree. Oh, the thing? Oh. You can see it in the, in the... It's not that white spot. Can you see it right there? Mm -mm. It's not focused. Oh, I see a dark spot, yeah. That's it's not focused. What it's red that it hurts yeah, it looks like you have a splinter you mean of some sort yeah yeah squeeze around it squeeze squeeze next to it see if anything pops out yeah because it's uh but it looks a little kind of like i need it just a little pin here because i had the gloves on of course I mean, anything can go through the gloves, but, yeah. um, and I remember being jabbed there a few times and, you know, thinking, oh, just jab me or if it was still in there, you know, if I had a pricker there or not, and it didn't seem like it did, but I probably, I probably did. So, I'll do just a, a little operation. We'll get it. I think it did. It looks. What are you up to, Esther? You working on anything tonight? Leticia, are you still here? Are you crafting? Drinking your first. Oh, your monster drink. Ah, look! Ah. <laughs> what the hell was that? What? It's a pin. What was that? Oh, stuck it in my finger. I'm just joking. <laughs> it's just the top again. 
What's in there? I see that all the time. Put it into my skin. I, know. I put a whole bunch of them in my hand and go, look, mom. And she'd go, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you'd hate to get these things too far down in your finger. And then you can't get them out. And pretty soon, it's too late. Yeah. Your first message monster? What's a message monster? Oh, I added something here. I'm like, what's a message monster? It's a monster oh, with a message. Okay. With a message. Why okay, I thought I thought you made a mistake and you meant like a is the chat monster. adding words or are you adding words? Uh-huh. <laughs> Blame it on the chat. It's okay. Blame it on the chat. It's all Laura's and Esther's fault. Yeah. <laughs> See? Mm -hmm. Blaming it on you guys in the chat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Get it out? No, but I think I see it. I think I see it. What is it? Is it another palm tree? I need another pair of hands. Huh. I that the trees. Another pair of hands. There is over there. Ah. Ooh. Ooh, that's hard. Did you get Nail? it? <laughs> it's just one of my nails and oh, I jammed it right in the middle of that. Now it's bleeding. Oh, that hurt. Oh, no. There must be something in there. Oh, God. All right, well, maybe leave it alone. <laughs> maybe it'll come out on its own. I doubt it. It must have been because I had the gloves on, and when it went in, I just, you know, ignored it. I went down there kind of far. <clears throat> This is when you need the these tweezers because these are real tiny. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, I would think so, but you know. <clears throat> Never know. Maybe you wouldn't know if you typed the word message. Maybe your hands were taken over by aliens. <laughs> That's right. And they made you type the message. Did you ever think about that? 
<laughs> I bet you didn't. <laughs> Got those aliens around. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna grab a band-aid real quick and put it on there because I'm not gonna dig anymore. <laughs> uh -oh. Did you make it bleed worse? Well, at least I'll keep it open so if it's gonna come out, it'll come out. She's performing surgery on her damn self. Pumpkins. Ouch. We got pumpkins. Cute little pumpkins. I think I have another punch that has a leaf on it too. Yeah, I do. A little one. Oh, and a bigger one. Is that a one too? What's that? Yeah. Several size leaves. Leaf assistance. Tiny one. Teeny tiny. And then we got this one here, which is also teeny tiny. And then we have these two, which are also teeny tiny. Teeny tiny. Nicer looking than that one. Nice and nicer, much nicer. Oh, <laughs> the aliens. You didn't think about the aliens? You always got to think about the aliens. You better learn to think about those aliens because one of these days it's going to be bang, zoom, right to the kisser. <laughs> and you're going to get caught off guard and they're going to take you up into their spaceship and make you their sex slave. Don't forget about the aliens.
Right, Jane? That's right. You never know. You never know. The end, but one of these days, they'll catch you off guard, take you up into their spaceship, and make you their sex slave. <laughs> well, that's kind of scary, huh? That's what'll happen. Janie know. knows all about it. it happened right. to her. I know. <laughs> I know. It made me a much better person, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, you learned a bunch of new tricks. That's why you have good <laughs> <laughs> I did. I did. Obviously, I did, since, you know, I pre-made all these, and I made them, like, but I must have forgot, because I did these like that, I put it through before I baked them. <laughs> so, huh. it was a thought, but then I forgot it, because that's why I asked you, I'm like, what am I going to do? <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Oh, short-term memory. so cool. The t-shirt. Mm. I have to go back in and design that t-shirt. That's the problem. Is I have to go in and design it again. Yeah, you could wear one for the, the present time instead of the past <laughs> time. What? Yeah, if you wanted. For the present time. What are you mean? What are you talking about, Willis? Mm -hmm. T-shirt? She's talking about the school pack T-shirt. What's she talking about, Willis? You want more for 2017? Well, no, I'd have to, yeah, I'd redesign it and say 2021 or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Or, well, 2017 is the year that I started it. That's why I think I made them that year. I made them for that year because that was the year that I started the group, I think. That's why I put that on there. I yeah, don't know. I don't think it was before that. Um, I don't think so. See, I really think this voodoo doll's been places I didn't know because he's got things stuck in him that shouldn't be. What the heck? Okay. Good thing I'm putting new resin on him. Yeah. Hmm. Seeing that off? I don't know. And to think he was hanging up there the whole time. I don't think so. I don't think he was out gallivanting somewhere and then came back and hung himself back up thinking, making me think that he was hanging there. But see how that works? wire in like right now so I don't forget. You want to go to resonance and forget about it because mm -hmm. 
with my memory. Yeah, you, right, but I forget. So this mixed medium mashup with sprays, stencils, household stamps, and splatters. Um, I don't know. Was it? I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> That's terrible. Is that all that you used in the mixed medium mashup tonight? Big trouble if you don't do mashup. Somebody's in trouble. Damn it. I do remember some of those, Esther, but I couldn't tell you for sure. I was going to put something else on there, but then I, I'm not happy with that, so. Oh. So, that's what I say. Oh. With this scrampy and stuff. That. <clears throat> Did you have prompts or no? I, I didn't do prompts, no. No, I wasn't paying attention. Jenny, pay attention. <laughs> no, we didn't do props this time. We did a special thing. See, if you were here, you would know it better. I'm just kidding. <laughs> and me too. Why if I was paying attention? <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Mm. I was paying attention. I know I didn't You're see cards. You're in trouble. <laughs> I didn't see cards. I knew it. This time we're gonna do it a little bit. Hey, 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 relax there, dude. Relax, little dude. Woo, doll, not me. It's all your fault. Oh my. It's my fault. It's my fault. Okay. And I knew it. So, <laughs> cut this now. This. I'm not quite like. On that side. I need my little thing that I always use to scrape this out. Oh, boo. I'm going to find that out now. Crap. I thought so. Crap, 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 crap. Yeah, crap, 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 crap. Oh, there it is. Is that it? Is that it? Is that it? Yeah. I use my little thingy. Oh, spiky, spiky, whatever thingy that is. Oh, and that works. Good oh, for... yeah, got one of them. I never used it. <laughs> Mine work. It works good for when you have raffia like this, and you want to make it look like you know, like you want to make it. Oh, comb like it out. Use that. Thing. Yeah, yeah, like you'll see here. I'll do it. You just comb it. You just keep combing at it. Oh. And then look yeah. at the difference. You got this side's all fluffy, and then you got that side that's not. It fluffes this, isn't it? See? And if you flip it over and do the other side, it'll get even fluffier. Learn something. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. See? Oh. And now that side looks like that, and that side looks like that. I don't think yeah. I have that in mind. You don't have this? It's That's all it has in it is that. It doesn't have anything else in it. Oh, I have a blade. Why does mine look the same? Oh, you have the blade. Yeah, because they have one that has the blade, then they had one that has this. Yeah. Oh, well, guess what? What? I got something better. Yeah, I got something better, but I got this. I got, uh, <laughs> I get it off. <laughs> Wait, that. 
Ooh, I want that. Mm-hmm. Now, yeah. is that the same thing? It's got the little little doodads on it? Yeah, it's like a... Like a oh, yeah. I wonder if it'll comb the same, because this one has, like, little bent bits in the front that make it comb nice. Oh, that nice. And you spread out your raffia, and you end up with a cute little... Oh, yeah. Little, you like that. Oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna and stick that on there, put a little something on it. Let me find this stuff. Yeah, because you're, like, picking at, you know, trying to... Yeah. Get it apart. That's what I was doing for like the longest time, and then I was like, wait a minute, and I found that tool, and I'm like, hey, that'll do the trick. Oh, yeah. I'm going to put my gun on, or my dual gun, because I'm some glue action here. It's a lot easier than kind of doing what I'm doing. Well, I don't think it works as good as yours. Well, wait a minute. Yeah. I'm sure it does, no? <laughs> Yeah, you'd have to just do a few more times, but I think it does. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. Kind of thing. Deal. Good deal. Yeah. Well, look at that. I found that out, and I didn't know that there was two of those. They're different. I'm going to a different color leaf. I think I need a green one and then like a yellow one because that's not really showing what you're doing. Too much. Too much. Too much. Or this color, maybe is that different? Or going to bed. Okay, good night. Who's going to bed? Were you going to bed before? Oh, good night, Esther. Yeah, you weren't you going to bed before? Okay. <laughs> I thought maybe I was thinking of another night or something. I thought it was her too. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, that was hard to do. Oh, oh, puffy. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Found two different colors. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to do that. <clears throat> Wrong one. That's like a real fall leaf. Oh, that looks cute. Wow. Green at the end, the bottom. Ew. Now, I'm going to do that. How much it is? Is this easy to cut and this is hard to cut. Wait, it looks like there's two wires here. Is there? There is. Oh, you little bastard. I was like, I had one end and I was cutting off of, and then I had the other end, and I'm thinking, uh -huh. one end, I could barely squeeze, and this one was just like, but there's there's two kinds of wire on here. They must have got they were trying to pull a fast one. Oh, ah, see. I know there's aliens. It switched them. Yeah. On me. I have to get a new part. <laughs> the aliens love to do stuff like that. Mm. They're, always messing, they're always messing with you. I know. I figured this one out. Quick. Yeah. Now, <laughs> get them apart. Wait. Uh, and they're supposed to be such a higher intelligence than us. <laughs> yeah. They couldn't fool you. <laughs> right. <laughs> They ain't fooling me any. No. Who's mm -hmm. one? Okay. Where's that? And it goes this way. Wasn't there a puzzle that kind of this is bringing back memories that it, it had like a bunch of wire like this and you had to like maneuver it and to get them undone. Oh, yeah, the yeah. ring thingy. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Okay, okay, so I wasn't. Okay, good. <laughs> I was wondering. Well, then I have, wait, hold on, I have something too that you'll, it's not a puzzle exactly, but I don't know if you've ever seen it. I'll have to show it to you. Bigger one. I have to move my camera, so I'm in my pajama lap. See the rings? Oh. Ready? Ready? Yeah. 
Okay. Oh, look at that. <laughs> just rings. Cool. I can't get them back down very easily. There we go. It feels good on your arms when you do that. Oh, wow. And then you go, whew. Like magic, cool. you go, whew. Like magic. You go, whew. But do they come apart? Nope. No. no, they're magic. They don't come apart, Jamie. They're magic. <laughs> Magic ring. I, just, I bet you I could get them to come apart. I'm here. sure you could. You'd break them. <laughs> They'd be broken. I'd be like, hey, what happened to my magic rings? I got them apart. I'll never do that again. That would be good. <laughs> Those are cute, though. <laughs> magic rings. Yeah, we don't cut those, do we? <laughs> that does not make it magic. That's not how you do it. <laughs> Orange. Oh, orange. Orange. This is better way. Yeah, little orange one here. Dang it. Dang it. Look at all this. Why is all this here? All that mess in there. All that mess. Mm -hmm. Oops. You're gonna do with all that junk, all that junk up in your trunk. Oh, there we go. Oh, they jumped. I have an orange stone in here somewhere. I keep meaning to go online and get orange um, rhinestones, and I keep forgetting. So all I have is like these yellowy ones, and the orange. And a few, I have a few orange ones somewhere in here, but. It's so hard to what, find. what is it? Orange what? Rhinestones. I think that's an orange one. Yeah. It's an orange one. Oh, what? Limestone. You're saying limestone. Yeah, limestone. <laughs> oh, an orange limestone. Oh, limestone. No, because I only have a few orange rhinestones. Very, very few. They don't mm -hmm. seem to exist. <clears throat> Ooh, I could pop these up and they would look better. That's a good idea. Good idea. Good thinking. Good thinking. Good idea. Good idea. Good idea. Should wait on the butt one because if I resin, I'll probably resin the front first and then the back. She said butt. I think butt, butt talks. It's in the butt talks because it's in the middle. <laughs> like a crack. In the crack. Butt crack. <laughs> it's okay. Yes. Put the pins in the front and then we'll make them suffer later. That one, jeez, that was my thick wire too. And he, hey, now, now, now. What'd you do to it? Bent it. Bent the wire. Stop. Do that and still gonna get the same wire. Mr. Man here. Mm. 
is ready to be hot. And maybe it's because it's in a black part. That's why I can't see the hole. I, all right. Did I even put one? What I did. Where is it? No, I didn't. Sometimes I regret not having a die that has a good alphabet on it, even though I never, every time I even think about getting one, I go, and eh, I'll never use it, and then I don't get one, and I probably should have one, like, that has, like, little letters on it, so that I can write things like, you know, pumpkin, or Halloween, or whatever, and I never do that. Oh, yeah, I've got one of those. See, I don't. I need one. I don't want a big font. I want like a little, like not even an inch, like three quarters of an inch or a half inch. Yeah. Oh, if I could cut some out, I don't know where they're at. <laughs> I'd show you, but they're in the yeah. walking cave. Somewhere. Oh, I know. I got this. I can put this on there. Mm. I don't really want witching hour ones. I want some fall, more fall related. I am going to do a spooky pumpkin, though. Yeah, actually, I kind of, I kind of forget. I, I mean, not that I made that many projects that needed, probably none that needed the alphabet with dyes, but uh, I forget. Oh, I wasn't gonna put it on his butt yet. Ooh, what gonna do? Get out of there. Okay. <laughs> it looks like I could make Tin Man <laughs> put a bunch of that'd be dangerous. Tin Man. Oh, that's a good idea. Uh -oh. Pin man. Make uh, all the characters from Wizard of Oz. Mm. Yeah. Where's all my fall ones? Oh, man. I don't have them anymore on my computer, I don't think. Crap. Little sayings I made up for fall and stuff. Oh, oh, thing. Where the hell is it? I might have put it in the group. I'll have to see if it's in the group and then I'll, uh, I think you did because I'm like, wait, how did I get them then? But yeah, I think I put them in the, in the Patreon group. Yeah. Yeah. We did. I cleaned all the stencils and put them away. Okay. 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 My hands and nails are nice and clean. Okay. Time for bed. Oh, Good night, Laura. Good night. I read all that first. I didn't, I didn't skip. Have a good night.
How dare she leaves us? She's gonna leave us. Where would that be? Did I put it under the? I think I put it under the files or something. Mm. Well, wait a minute. Where the hell are the yeah. files? Oh, oh. That? Huh? oh, never mind. But over here, I think. <laughs> More files. Okay. Let's see. Um. Oh boy. Does it say something fall? Um. Something. What am I thinking? Like ball sentiments or something? I don't remember. I don't know. Fall sentiments? Nope. Yeah, probably. I could search for it. I guess just put fall in. Yeah. There's it up. I'm thinking something else, but. Fall sentiments. There it is. Found okay. it. Well, that's good because then I can find the Halloween sentiments and the Christmas. Did I do Christmas too? I don't, know. That I don't remember. I don't. Well, at least I don't think I've seen them. But that's really, there's no Halloween. Let me just put. Uh, hey. Really fall sentiment. Dang it. Hmm. Hmm. That's okay. Nothing there. Mm -mm. Well, I found the fall one, so that's fine. Yeah. That's fine. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. fine. I, can, I can type back up the other ones if I need to. Okay. Want that I can print these out. Hopefully they will print. Oh, I need to put paper in there. Mm -hmm. Make sure it's going to print first and then I'll go put some cardstock in there. paper to stick in there. Okay. Print me out some fall sentiments. Yep. We need some fall sentiments. on this. Forget. Oh, Sophia gets to go to the vet tomorrow. Huh? Keep forgetting. First time. First time to the vet. Oh, yeah? Well, actually not to the vet. Just the one we always go to. Yeah. Because yeah, she's over the side, so. And he's such a sweet vet. He always, <laughs> you've seen the help, right? The help, yeah, yeah. Remember the guy, uh, um, 
he was yeah he was the, was the manager or something not the of uh, the uh the newspaper was it or the, the newspaper article. it was a little guy he said and he was like did the little dance thing like Ooh, i don't remember that he didn't have a very big part and then even at the end they showed him like dancing and it was so cute it was just he was just little. I don't remember little. that. I don't remember him. Huh. I, I saw the help a bunch of times, too, and I don't, for some reason, can't remember that. I'm trying to think. What did he, um, let me think a minute. No. Yeah. No. Not the hell, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> oh, man, I just got it. Wait. Wait, uh, <laughs> geez, what the hell? Um, hope <laughs> floats. Oh, hope floats. Oh, God, that, that I haven't seen in a long time, so I wouldn't remember that one at all. Well, if you ever Where's watch it, he's the guy that. I haven't seen that in like 20 years. That was in a newspaper. Wait a minute, could have been. <laughs> You know what? Okay. I'm going to think about that one. Anyway, <laughs> I'm getting all confused. Oh, my God. Um, anyway, the poor vet. He's just, he's just like this little guy. And he, I don't want to say a squirrely guy because he's not like you think a like squirrel. But he's the cutest guy. He's short. He's, he's like, Jeez, um, he's just little. And... He yeah. always gets down on the ground, like on his knees with his feet and back. Like, hey, how you like kind of sit on your knees, sort of thing? Yeah. <laughs> you get on the floor and he'd face your dog and go, Oh, honey. <laughs> he's, so, he's such a good <laughs> vet. I don't know. I just love him. I've had him for years. And um, he always come in. He goes, So, how are you this fine afternoon? <laughs> he's always <laughs> a good mood like that. I'm like, Oh, my God. <laughs> Wonderful guy. Wonderful. Huh. But, but that's him. Now I have to think of the movie. I'm just trying to think of. Oh my god. Oh, hi, Leticia. Hi, Leticia. She's been crazy hi, around here. She dozed off. She dozed oh. off. She's a lawyer. She's a lawyer. What? I think. <laughs> Hers is going good. I had to stop, try to get a pricker from my palm tree that I don't know is in there or not. So, what the? Why are going? Oh, <laughs> did you see? God, that scared me. I went to like do the little hole here, and I thought it went. Whoosh, what the heck did it go through so easy? It wasn't him. It was the. It wasn't tight. It went. It went in here. <laughs> I thought, what is this, not or something? <laughs> oh, God, scared me. Oh, no, I can't get it out. Okay. She is, yeah, she's making a little pumpkin. She's making some more little pumpkins. I made this one recently with the little raffia thing on it. <laughs> Little rhinestone. Mm, that's in there. <laughs> I thought maybe the clay isn't even baked. I'm just thinking it's baked. But <laughs> all right, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get my papers out of the printer and grab my stuff from the kitchen, my new sprays and stuff. I'll be right back. Okay. I think she's going to put them in her auction. I think. Yeah, that scared me. Just went <laughs> like, oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, this clay. Yeah, but I don't like to tighten these too tight because then I'm, I don't want to ruin them. The screw on the screwdriver. Oops. 
dumb. I'm afraid it's going to go all the way through something and go through to my hand. My luck it would. <laughs> Almost. Yeah, I figure I'll put these pins in here. And that way when I go to do the resin, it won't cover over it. And then, because the last one I did, I put resin and then I couldn't, couldn't get the thing back screwed out. Yeah, I think she said she was. Uh, pretty sure. I have to ask her. We're going to have to go over here. No, I want right there. Put it. I know they're so cute. Sometimes you just want somebody else to make them, you know? And I have to, because I'll, I'll be like, Oh, I can make that just because I think, you know, not necessarily that, but if somebody else makes it, oh, I'm not going to buy that. I can make it. And I'm like, no, you won't. Just, no, you won't. Just buy it. Just buy it. You like that one. watching <laughs> my TV. I look up the oh maybe it's strangest weather on earth. Okay. Snow monster flavor project. What the heck? Brother, just what I need to watch. We're talking about aliens. <laughs> Documentary. <laughs> hmm. Some meteor something I don't know, came down and crashed. to use my new resin. Okay. Did you say you were going to put your pumpkins in the auction? Huh? No, I didn't say I was going to, but... Oh. <laughs> Why? Well, um, I told the teacher that I thought you said you did. She said she hoped you Hopes you oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I got oh, it. You said that about the, the journal that you might put it. That's I heard. Yeah, the that. journal. Yeah. yeah. And I, well, yeah. The journal. I, I didn't. If I, I don't know if I'm going to use it on something. So. Yeah. Isn't this so cool? It's got all trees in it. Ooh, pretty. Hmm. Talks about all kinds of trees. 
really cool book. And you got you'll like the other one. Yeah. Let's do with it. Did I make one? Oh, butterflies and moths? So cool. Yeah, this one's really cool. Pretty yeah, all kinds of pretty butterflies on Ooh. every page. Nice. Very pretty. Very cool. Cool. Look cool. I haven't tried it yet, Leticia. I still have like almost close to a half a bottle, but I, I didn't. It's been. A little too long, so it takes like a long time to cure. So I'm like, it's time. I love that guy. <laughs> now these are older ones of Tim Holtz that I got a deal on all four of these together. And bats and the and then this one was the only one that was newer. It was yeah, I got a deal on these three. And then they had this one for sale too. That's right. Wow, it's a How little pumpkin. That. Headless pumpkin guy. <laughs> Love that. And then my sprays. Where did I go? I have them over there. I had, oh, I got this stamp set that I really wanted that skull really bad. Oh, that's neat. A nice big skull. And then I got the ephemera in this one here, which is the new ephemera, I guess. Halloween. Ooh. I think it's I think it's new. Oh, maybe it's from last year. Oh. Let me see what it say. To, to, yeah, from 2020, so it's from last year, Halloween. Cool. Oh, is this oh, the same one? Oh, oh, wait a minute. This is the same one that I already got. So I got two of these? How did I get, why did I get two of these? Well, I use it anyway. It doesn't matter. This oh. is the same one that I got already. I don't know why I got two of them. It doesn't matter. Oh, I got two. Mm -hmm. Let me see your on Facebook. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's fine. That's fine, Leticia. Yeah, they'll just, if I don't pay it by tomorrow, they'll shut me off. <laughs> My phone bill. 3D texture fades. This is a. Uh... See, I was expecting this to be bigger. Hmm. Like a bigger, like a regular embossing folder. I had no idea this was really oh. tiny like this. Oh, and wow. I got it and I'm like, oh, I'm like, that's a really tiny embossing folder. I guess I didn't read. I just assumed that embossing folders are usually much bigger. So I was wow. surprised at how small it is. I, mean, I don't care. Most of all, most of the time I use them for small things anyway, but I was just surprised. And I finally got, I finally broke down and got one of his water bottles because... Oh, the sprayer thingy. Yeah, the one that he has that fits nice. And here's the moon mold and mask thing, I mean. And then these are um, the, the person that had those masks also had the stencils. And these are the shifting stencils or whatever. And there's three different sizes, I guess. Oh, and so I was good. like, oh, cool, I want to try those. Now, I don't under... Can you explain exactly what a mask is? A mask is a, is just the opposite of what a stencil is. So, like a stencil, when you stencil it, you the ink goes through the holes on the inside, and you get to see those shapes. Well, a mask is the opposite. It kind of like you know you you go around the mask. Well, in this case, you know you would they they call it a mask, but because they have the solid bits, but a, a better, there's a better use, like an easier way to describe a mask with, if I show you an actual mask mask, but because it's got like, it, this one's kind of like a mask stencil because it's got stenciling bits on the inside, but then the mask part is the outside. So if I will, I'll show you, I'll show you, it's okay. better if I show you, but basically a mask is just the opposite of a stencil where you, you ink around it and it gives you like the, whatever's left is the part that's you know well, open because i thought i was like i can i guess you'd have to like, yeah. have it demonstrated because i didn't quite get a mask is solid whereas a stencil has holes in it you know what holes i mean oh, and okay. you ink around the mask rather than yeah. ink through the holes of a stencil okay um it's a stamp uh leticia asked if this stampers anonymous this 
this is from yeah Stampers Anonymous Tim Holtz collection. Mm. It's the new Tim Holtz from Stampers Anonymous. Yeah, so is this. This is from Stampers Anonymous too. I should have had these out today. Duh. Well, I'll do, I'm an idiot. Oh, the show right. <laughs> Well, I didn't do Halloween really. I just I was doing orange and stuff fall, but I could have used these two. Oh. These two are well, actually these three, but I'll use them. Oh, those are oxides. They're not oxides. They're the mica sprays. Oh. You need to watch Timmy's video, Jane. I know. Why would you watch it? I didn't watch it. I was like, okay. <laughs> he showed all this stuff. That's why I hate watching his stuff around Halloween and Christmas because then I'm like, I want that, I want that. <laughs> and this year, I, I, a bit, against my better judgment, I, I just said, screw it, I'm getting it this time this year. I'm gonna <laughs> get what I want because every year I only usually get one thing, maybe two things if I'm lucky. And I usually wait until way too late to use it. You know what I mean? Like I wait, wait mm -hmm. until way into the season to use the damn thing or to get yeah, it. Right. This time I said, you know what? I'm not doing that because. I want to be able to make, you know, Halloween stuff and use this stuff that, you know, is out. That, you know, yeah. like, I don't want to not use it. For sure. Because what's the point? Um, All right. Or I wait till the end of the completely Halloween is over and then it goes on clearance or it goes on sale and then I'll get it. You know, I do that all the time, but yeah. I'd rather just get it. Woody, what are you doing? <laughs> They're being so sneaky today. She's sneaking and keying. Usually it's Willow, but now it's Winnie. They are. They're being very sneaky. <laughs> sneaky little children. Leticia said, doesn't that mask also help when you want to cover a certain part, like stamping over something, you can cover it, if that makes sense? Oh, want to cover Covering part. it? Well, I mean, if you want to mask yeah. it. In other words, if you want to use it. If you oh, want to protect an area, yeah. So, so if you, I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you. As soon as I put this one together, I'll, I'll show you. I think I get I'll, what you mean. Easier for me to show you than try to explain. Yes, yeah. too much to try to explain. Tim Holtz is hard. Yeah, not to buy. Maybe that's why I don't watch it because I know I wouldn't trust myself. That's it. No, <laughs> probably not. Reverse stem flame. He, he didn't have that much Halloween stuff this year that I've seen. Like, he's had more in, in past years, but mm. um, I'm really hoping he comes out with the stupid red truck with the tree in the back. You know, and I keep, I, you know, I'll have to, I'll have to message him about that because he needs to do that because then that's something he can put dyes out every season for to put in the back of the truck you know what i mean oh, i've yeah. said that last year so like he could do for this year for christmas he could do the christmas tree he could do a presents die you know and have the truck and the tree and all that and then he could come out with other things other dyes all year long that could go in the back of the truck like in the spring it could be baskets of flowers in the fall it could be pumpkins and you know or in the summer mm. it could be fireworks and it can be picnic supplies it could be summer stuff like scuba gear and you know boats a kayak you know what i mean like he could do that and have that dyes come out every season but yeah. you know and and he can have do this for several years because i'm sure there are things that he can come out with for several years for each oh, season yeah. but you know i don't know why he hasn't thought of that it's driving me nuts though yeah it's driving me batty I think of a lot of stuff to do that yeah for sure. oh yeah he totally could Oh, I like that. Do I want it? Yeah, I guess so. But it's driving me nuts. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it is popular. Yeah. Orange, I think. That just has a Christmas tree, right? <laughs> Stuff popular. Exactly. I know, and I keep and I, I said it like last year. I said, you know, I hope he comes out with it. Then he didn't. And I was like, you know, this is a missed opportunity for him. <laughs> Somebody mm, else is yeah. going to come out with it. Because it would be great if it was a steel rule die set. So mm -hmm. if he made the truck steel rule and then he made this. Because the, the, it's not really a super intricate thing to make that truck. He can make the truck. This way you can make it out of fabric. You can make it out of chipboard. Oh, yeah. You can make it out of anything. And right. he could do like two different sizes even. He could do one of the XLs and make it really long and big to put in frames. And he can make it smaller that it could be on a journal cover. Like there's so many options he could do with that. 
And we need crazy to not to do it. <laughs> huh? If they ever come out with the hiring of Tim Holtz teams, we're going to vote for you. No, it's okay. You can help. <laughs> really? Yeah, I know. It would be definitely a good thing. Where's my back? Stephanie. No, Ranger needs to be the one that listens up. Listen up, Ranger. Yeah. Get your pack together. Listen up and listen good. That's right. Hi, Stephanie. You said you were allowed to use your earphones. I did not give authorization for that. <laughs> no, you did not. I didn't hear you. See? Did not hear authorization. Janie has to sign off on it. I have to sign off on it. That's all the thing. <laughs> That's right. That way. Oh, oh dear. Mm -hmm. I already have punched a leaf or two here. Maybe I'll use one of the tiny ones since it's a smaller pumpkin. Where's my raffia? I had it out. I don't know where I did it. I don't know. Oh no. Oh, what? Oh, get it. <laughs> Oh. I'm tasting the sensation. <laughs> Don't want that. Enough companies make the red truck stamp. Oh. Um, I don't know. I'm sure. I mean, I know I have a stamp or a die of a like a look. It's just not the one that I want. Like what I want is the one that looks like the old truck, and. I'm very particular about how I want it to look. Mm -hmm. That's why I need to message Tim. I have Mario's email address. Mm -hmm. um. mm -hmm. What's my thing? Can I see my raffia? I had it out. You saw me. I used it. Where'd it go? Who took it? What? My raffia. My orange raffia. Remember I had it out because I did that one? Well, what'd I do with it? The raffia? Yeah. Oh. I don't know. I've been paying attention. <laughs> Clear. <laughs> 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 oh, this was one of the things I got last year. Was this the little oh, skull, oh, skull so doll, skeleton doll guy, girl, wherever she is? See, I want to do do her. She has great color. Her, yeah, I like her. She's cute. I I got her at the end of the year, so I didn't get to really play with her. Mm. Was it last year? Oh, that might have been the year before, actually. It wasn't last year. It was the year before. Mm. Well, ain't that about a bitch? Something else that's gone that was sitting right next to me. Hmm. I think this is a conspiracy going on here. Something going on. Something's not right. Them. Um, oh, it was like What is he barking at now? Jesus. The aliens are coming. Ooh, where's my orange stuff at? Did I have orange? I did. I have some orange on here. The gods. The rest of the oranges. I don't know. Let me get back here. The gods. The gods? The gods. Okay. 
machine gun. Okay, we gotta go. I put something away. I know. That's like, what I always what? say. And oh. I lost it. <laughs> no, I just put it away like a normal person does. Oh, oh boy. It's very rare I do that, but yeah, I do it sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to tie a knot. And this one, I'm not going to fan it out the same as I did the other one. Just going to tie it in a knot like so. I'm going to leave this one like mm. that. It's too long. Oh, I need a stem. Duh. Duh. Take that out. Try to break it. Voodoo doll guts all over my table. Voodoo doll guts. <laughs> yeah. Oh, guts. Poor voodoo doll guts. All oh, guts. You got guts. You got guts. This one. dogs and then he won't do it so like you know until I remind him again six hours later and I'm like uh hello Left a lip, not that glue stick. I think there's some left in this one, sort of. do that and I'm like darn it should have this or did that. Hmm. Keep busy. Well, what kind of kit are you gonna do? Like a watercolor kit? Hmm. Give me a shot. 
say this before? Mm. I'm having deja vu. You were going to make one? I thought she did. Like that, don't get it. <laughs> what don't you like? What happened? Oh, I'm gonna get that. Oh, there's my black. Oh, I see my black. <laughs> um, that's like camping. Where's my bag? Oh, bag. The other one I'm talking about right now will live in my day-to-day -day bag. Oh. Good idea. That's the one thing I can't decide on, though, because I'd be bringing everything. Oh, I see. Put those on there. I need to put a, a sentiment. Where's the one that I just printed? <sighs> okay. Mm, we are going to be way too big. Well, except for this. Oh, this one will work, I guess. I need to make some of these smaller. Definitely need them to be smaller. Voila. 
The font needs to be Samala. Samala Hala. That too. Smala Fala. Smala Fafala. Right. That's a See, it's too big for that one. Luckily, I may have a fall one. One of these here. Hmm. Scan those again because I don't know if I lost those files too. Or I had all my words scanned. Oh, whoops. Whoopsie, whoopsie. Whoa. I worked a, a whole bunch on these uh, honeycombs, you know, yesterday. I had like, I made them so perfect. And then I put the little hole in there and it's going to have, you know, have them be earrings, you know, and have the little, little bee on there. So I had them all laid out and I went, oh my God. So Dwayne came in here and I go, look it. You know what? I go, you see these? Yeah, what? <laughs> I go, you see something wrong with them? And he said, I don't know. What? I go, do you know what they are? He goes, uh, no. Spaceships? I go, spaceships? <laughs> <laughs> no. I, mean, like, I don't know what they are. I go, uh, a honeycomb? Like for bees? And I'm like, do you see what space, I did? You got a spaceship from that? <laughs> I know. I'm thinking, what? I said, do you see what I did? I go, you know how long I worked on these? I had like three sets of earrings. So 
there are six of these. And I mean, I cut them out and I made you. Here, what I did was I went and I, like, I took this and basically <laughs> I pressed it into the, uh, you know, the pot holder thing, the silicone pot. And then I outlined it and made it all perfect. And here it looked like this. And I'm like, wait a minute, that's not right. <laughs> all in wrong side out, basically. Mm -hmm. They weren't like a regular honeycomb. I'm like, oh my god, now I have to take them all. So that was all useless. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I'm like, yeah, I took them all. And he and he said, uh, I could tell that right away. I go, <laughs> oh, you could not take them. Just Forget it. Like, you thought it was, he thought it was a damn spaceship. What is he talking about? I know. Like, oh, forget it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> right. my God. Men. See, these are men so dumb. I'm like, okay, you know what? Forget it. So I was trying to, um, because I asked him for some of the Allen wrenches, you know, because that way, then I could take and, you know, because there's a video on how you can do them, you know, of course, with the Allen wrench. I'm like, I Get it. I'm not going to do it that way. And uh, give me one of his Allen wrenches. Well, don't lose it. And I'm like, are you serious? I'm not going to lose the stupid Allen wrench. And they gave me one that has a whole bunch of them on there that you can kind of flip up if you want one. And he goes, well, don't take it off. I go, <laughs> and so here I am with this big old metal thing like this. Trying to, I'm like, I can't use it like this. And he goes, well, don't take it off because it's all, they're hard, too hard to get back on. I go, oh, my God. Look here. I'll find you one just like that. Wait a minute. <laughs> then I made that one. Oh my god! Oh, it works. Oh, never would never torture you, huh? <laughs> oh, the dog. Right. The dog ate it. I don't know what happened. <laughs> You know, right? We we're talking about a pin man. You know, you can put a bunch of the pins in there and then make them all in. Pin man. Still forgets it's a voodoo doll. Pin man. Pin man. I know. <laughs> I just got used to calling him uh, pin man. The uh, pin man. <laughs> Oh, I keep calling it a mummy too instead of a voodoo doll. <laughs> Pin man. Hi guys, what's going on? Hi. You know what? I'm telling everybody who likes daddy better than me. I'm going to. Oh, now you woke up the baby. Oh, boy. Hi, Sophia. <laughs> so he always goes and sit with Dwayne now on the couch. I'm like, you notice how he likes you better now? And he goes, yeah, I noticed that. <laughs> I go, he's pretty because of Sophia. He is. That's exactly what it is. He's pissed off he because like he's me in your, he used to Isn't be in your baby. <laughs> I know. He feels, he feels replaced. Oh, no. He replaced Mama. I think it's a big ball. Wait, when he does that. Katie. Hi, <laughs> <I> weirdos. <laughs> Hi, Katie. Hi, Katie. How are you <laughs> feeling? What's she up to? What do I do with my glue? I don't know. That's going to be the new thing I lose now. Oh, damn it. Where'd they take my glue to? Oh, good. I'm glad. As soon as I'm done with this pumpkin, I'll show you how to use the mask. Yes. I need to find the glue first. Somebody stole that now. I was right here. 
Oh, I must have dropped those. I heard Sophia going, I like, scratched with her paw, and I'm like, what the heck? And I could not find her. I was like, I must be hearing things. I'd go back to work, and I'd hear, like, I'm like, oh my God, where are you, Sophia? And then Dwayne comes in, he goes, is Sophia by you? I go, I can't find her. I can hear her. I can't. And he says, what do you mean you can't find her? And I was looking around, grab, grab the flashlight. Yeah. She's yeah. under my desk. Now, remember, I have boxes under there from <laughs> stuff, you know, that I haven't opened yet. And I put a few more under there. Oh, so she was having a good old time, wasn't she? She made her way back there, and all you mm. see was her eyes mm. above the box. Yeah. She was back there. Right. I know she wanted to chew them. <laughs> she wanted to chew those boxes. I'm like, oh, no, you don't. So here I come. <laughs> she's out already Brat. <laughs> she says it's mine no yes you did oh you wanted to chew them boxes didn't you <laughs> you silly girl yes you silly girl you get to go to the doctor tomorrow yes you do maybe they'll give her something to make her calm yeah. down yeah Anti-Sophia. Yeah, the other morning she when she drops her off, first thing she does. Oh, I love it. Oh my god. It's too cute. We got the big ones, we got the little cute. ones, and we got medium sized ones. Um, and the scrapbook okay, one. Mm. Pumpkin. It's a pumpkin. It's a pumpkin patch. Mm -hmm. It is a pumpkin patch. It's cute. Over here, so cute. What? What? Oh. Sophia, I really don't want to pick you up. Come here. Just for a minute. Where are you going now? Okay. Come here. So I picked her up and I went, I know what you are. I said, <laughs> You're the devil in disguise. You're a devil dog. <laughs> Dropped her off at the door, and she comes running up the steps and jumps on me. And right when she gets here, I'm like, oh, my God. And then I can't get, she won't let me sleep. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay, you want to make a paw print? Ooh, wouldn't that be pretty? <laughs> make you a little paw print. <laughs> she got the biggest back legs for a little dog. Look, she's got, like, like chunk rabbit feet. Chunky. <laughs> Tell them, damn, you missed girl. Big Media mashup, Katie. You did. I know. We made, we made, we made fall painty papers. Which is what I was making my pumpkins out of. <laughs> Double -double. Yeah. You know what, Charlie? I spelled yes. her name like that forever until I saw Peyton writing it one day, and I'm like, she spells it S-O-F-I-A, and I'm like, oh, great. <laughs> now I had to remember to spell it that way. Not that it really matters. But... <laughs> you need a haircut, don't you? So, let's see. I need Oh, you know what you feel like, Katie. <laughs> I should say, oh, because I know. What? What are you looking at? What's over there? Are you looking at the oh, voodoo dog? by yourself. We're here. Well, I can, I can make a voodoo dog. dog. We're right over here. <laughs> over here. Mm. Looking at the voodoo dolls. Look at her. I can make a voodoo dog. Uh, a Shih Tzu. That's why I say she's a Leo shit, because I can't spell Shih Tzu very well. Like, she's a Leo key, aren't you? She's a little shit. Tell everybody, say, I live here. Spend too much time in Grandma and Grandpa's. Great. Can you look at the camera? Look. Okay, I'm going to show you how to make use the mask. Oh, pay attention. Oh, 
Okay, here. I got to pay attention. Here. <laughs> now this one comes with a mask, two, two for each one. There's a solid one and then a, a whole one. Solid one and a whole one of each size. So I'm going to do this middle size here. Hi, Diana. Okay. And so what, for this one, I put some yellow ink down. I don't know if you can see it because my light is blaring it out. So that when I lift it up, there'll be some color underneath. Because if I just worked with it the way it is, you're not going to see nothing. So this yeah. way, I put the mask down. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little tape underneath of it so that it stays put. Because we don't want it to move. We don't want it to move. Oh, that we figured that she said that your your sleep was all out of whack. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's not as flat as I'd want it, but I don't have special tools. And this we'll use afterwards. And now, so it, I'd make this is what you with a mask you make you basically you work it into the background instead of like your instead of putting the design on top you kind of it's kind of like reverse almost. Um, and so now I'm going to take a black, where's my black ink? Okay, so actually, no, you know what I'm going to do? Are you watching, Janie? Yes, I am. <laughs> Don't lie. <laughs> I am. I'm real, I just it caught my eye, this big boat going through a big ice thing in the bar this time. Well, you have a boat in your living room that's going through the ice thing? I do. <laughs> You're not supposed to be watching other videos while I'm trying to show you something. Put no, the videos like away. <laughs> or the TV. What TV? You don't have a TV in there. You two is right in front of me. Want to see? Yeah, it's called your computer screen. Yeah. That's why I said don't put videos on, Mom. It's not. It's not. It's, it's right there. Oh, okay. Okay. I thought it was your computer screen you were talking about. I thought she was fibbing. Uh -oh. There's my TV. All right. So I'm putting purple so I can blend in some black. <laughs> oh. I'm going to have to use the black um, mm -hmm. with this because I don't have a black one that I can use. So I don't want this black. Do I want this black? No. Let's see if it's not quite black. Could use my sprays too, but I did not. So, yeah, I made a Christmas card like that with the moon. I put it right in the center and then inked around it, and it was like a little moon or a sun or something. A long time ago. Oh, 
trouble? Katie, you're in trouble. Okay, then I want a blue, whatever. Um, dark blue. That's a good one for this. Maybe this one will be pretty good, maybe. Let me see. Put some water in my spray bottle, which I lost. Where'd that go now? Oh man! I'll be right back. Okay. So I'm going to spit some water on this. And get some paper towels. And take it off and make it look awesome. Like that. Mm. See? Them. Okay, now got the squirt bottle. Come here, Come here. Come here. Oh no, you cut your hair all off. Oh no. <laughs> oh shit. Now, let's see. <laughs> right? And never say oops. <laughs> oops. You know, right? Come here, sweetheart. Did she hurt you? Come here. Not you, Chloe. I know. You're a good girl. And not you, so force with me. Okay, staff. You do that. That's okay. See this? I got a squirt bottle. He got a pretty bottle. Look at that. For a squirt bottle, I'm like, hey, I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna take this. <laughs> I'm gonna take this. Yeah. See this? You can't hurt Ricky, baby. You gotta be nice. You gotta be very nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. So after we did that, then we got. Uh, see what happened to my moon, my paper because my thing was not very good. Ah, took my paper with it. Anyway, now we have a moon. Let me dry this. Make sure it's dry. See, that's what a mask does. It'll mask off an area, and underneath of it will have just the background while you work around. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. So that's the difference between a mask and a stencil. Woo! Sorry! Oh my god, I'm sorry, babe. And then 
But what I need to do is get that scattered and draw back over here because I gotta fix my paper that got ruined. Stop! Get down. Come here. All right, you know what? Get all of you out. Out, out. Now I'm mad. Go. Uh oh. Mad now. Mm. What did they do? Oh, I ran over some part of Witcher Face. <laughs> <laughs> and I tried to get up really quick, and then she bent. I was trying to get a hold of her, and then she was wouldn't let me get a hold of her. Then the rest of the dogs come, and then Chloe always gives me a nice big wet kiss. <laughs> huh. Okay, then you take the mask stencil, and you put that there, and that's how you add your little... Your little duders. Hmm. Little moon bits, you know? Little things that make it look like a moon. Yeah, and that's what I was wondering. What, I think what uh, that thing did, too. Yeah. Well, what I'm going to do first, though, before I do that, I want to see something. Is that the I want? Yeah. So I'm going to take that off. I'm going to add a little bit of darker... Color oh, here and there. Yeah. You're welcome. You see how much I love? <laughs> Never mind. Oh, quit looking at me. <laughs> I was like, oh. I go, oh, be with you now, or isn't it? <laughs> oh, mess. I'm just a mess. With an H. careful not to go outside of your mask yeah. or move your mask you don't want to move your mask either it's the moon it's the moon mask here here you go. Here you go. Oh. Here. I'm going to take um, oh, the darker gray, gray smoke. Fluff everything out a little bit. Make it a little less harsh. Anyway. Cool, I like that. Isn't that cool? Wow. Yeah. That's how you use a mask. I like that. Mask stencil in this case, but really cool. difference. Interesting. 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 Over there. 
time. It's always so good. Mm -hmm. It's always so good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come here. Who wants your teeth clean? <laughs> Come over here. So I can Ooh. put your nails and your teeth at the same time. Mm -hmm. oh, not me, lady. You're weird cleaning things to yourself. <laughs> or we could do, oh, I think this is, oh, there goes Ricky, you ran away. <laughs> oh, yeah, right? COVID, it's uh, doing all right. Ricky's a little. A little jobby here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Chloe's like looking at me, but looking away. He's like, I don't look at that. What? Are you scared? Are you scared? Don't be scared. Are you scared? Are you scared? Are you scared? I don't have no more. You're just sticking around because you want Cheerios. I gave you one. They're, they're all gone. They're all gone. Oh. I got that tortured. Yeah, that and my voodoo doll. <laughs> oh boy, that's not good. I'm going to fix that one area though. Hmm. COVID out there. Black suit. It's that one little spot that's driving me nuts. So, where'd it go? There it is. There it is. Oh boy. Showing wow, hmm. Oh, that's scary. That is just the letting visitors back where remember her work, they were um, not only letting family members, I guess, in because oh, oh, yeah. Shaggy said somebody took some idiot took the back road in, had COVID, and now they have cases back because of that. They have what back? Oh, the in cases, mm -hmm. and then you won't even say where they've been. Wow. He lost his brother a couple of days ago. Oh, okay. Oh. 
Hmm. <laughs> right? You <laughs> will live on my moon. <laughs> well, come on, you will on. The rent is high, though. Just letting you know. <laughs> it ain't cheap to live on my moon. I can't find my little box that I had. Oh, there it is. I was going to say with my embossing powders in it. Because I put some black embossing powder in there. And I'm going to stamp things. That sounds familiar. Katie needs an address. She said, I don't know why that sounds, why does that sound familiar to me? I don't know. What? I don't know. Why? Karen. Karen. She needs an address. Oh, wasn't she just in the auction? I think she was. You can't handle the address. Okay. to the moon. Traveling to the moon. We're all going to the day. Uh oh, I just realized something. This ink is not going to be dry. We're going to have a problem. Oh boy, this could be very bad. Very, very bad. Oh, she did. Okay, that's why I remember that. She, okay, she won one of the Shrinky Dink giveaways. Okay. Oh, you need her address. Okay, that's why I was like, why does that sound familiar? Okay, she got it. She got it. I knew she got it. She got it. I got nothing. <laughs> oh, yeah, she does. <laughs> no, it's not going to be perfect, but it'll have to do. didn't want it. So whose address do you need? Here in is it Mon Montoya? Montoya? Oh, okay. You gotta have it. Yeah. Let me find it. You want to shrink it?
Okay, I just messaged it to you. I messaged it to you. You're welcome. Do the shifties. First, I need to add. hard to hold that bottle in your hands and squirt it. So when mm -hmm. I got from Yeah, like I'm having a hard time holding on to it. Oh. it like my hand, it's not very comfortable to hold. Mm. Did you want to come on, Katie? Are you going to do some crafting tonight? Harlequin stencil? Uh, kind of, yeah. Well, it's, yeah, it'll make a. Eh, no, don't do that. It'll make that pattern. said she would love to come on. Okay. I'll get to the blank. I'll send you the blank. 
Ayun. down tape everything down Um, thing for binders, Stacy. I want something that lets me put all my paper this way, not yeah. like not stacked. Right. And I can't find anything unless it's so expensive I can't afford it. Mm. That does that, but it drives me crazy. Cause see, I've got all my papers right now in different drawers in my rainbow carts. Yeah. It's such a pain in the butt because if you need like if you're looking for a pink piece, right? You gotta go through 500 pieces of paper to find the pinks. It's annoying. Yeah. They sell the, um, well, they, well, they sell something you can put your paper in, but I, it depends on how much paper you have is whether or not it'll work for you. You know what I mean? Right. Because they have ones that are, you know, good, but it might, it might not hold as much paper as you have. And you kind of want it to be able to hold, you know, your paper all of it right all of it i've got quite a, i've got nowhere near any but probably other people have but i have quite the stack of papers yeah okay so i'm going to crackle this campfire oh crap with you camera i am so sick of this shoulder y'all no, oh, really? It's bothering me again? I'm sick of, of it. No, it's always bothering me because yeah, it's... always it. bothering me. Right. Can you see that, Janie? Oh, that's cool. Oh, that... Really? When I just did, and this is one of those times I can't remember what it is. Very it looks like a quartz. Quartz. Is that what it is? Yeah, I think so. And this is one I did with my Jasper. Now this one I haven't shine, I haven't polished yet. Oh. Ooh, Ooh I love pretty. that. I like that. That's so cool. Wow. And I had to order a wire to finish your surprise. They see it's coming Tuesday. Oh, okay. Because your yeah. first. My first time around, I messed up, and then so I started working on the second time around, <laughs> and then the second time around, I ran out of the wire because I didn't realize I had used Aww. it. <laughs> so it's, your wire is coming Tuesday. <laughs> oh, no rush. Oh, just a couple of pendants I made. This one's made out of Jasper. Leticia. The stupid camera would do. I said I can't get my hand up high enough. I'm gonna get paper anyway. And that's a uh, copper and jasper. And then this one, uh, Stacy told me it was quartz, which is right because I just couldn't remember the other day. I was like, "What was this? I can't remember." <laughs> it's a court, a pink quartz, and that's I did it in pure copper too. That's pretty. I like that. Thank you. And now I'm working on this one from the cabochons. 
which I think is so pretty. This one. Oh, geez. You can't see. On here, which you can't see, maybe. Wait a minute. Let me see if I can get it to. How could I show that? Anyway, when you see jeans with this, hold on. Mm -hmm. I'll get this down low so I can hold both my hands. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Can y'all see that? Or you can see through it? It looks no. like it's pretty and smoky. Yeah. These are some of the ones you sent me, Stacy. Oh, really? Yeah. It's the only ones I've got. It's the ones you sent me. So <laughs> if I show a cabochon, Stacy sent it. <laughs> <laughs> um. Anyway, so now I'm going to do a ham, a hammered piece. I thought you were going to say a ham sandwich. <laughs> I'm going to do a hammered piece with this one. It's so pretty in person because it really does look, when you look through it, it looks smoky. Like smoke is rising up in there. Anyway. Yeah. And I can't remember it, what it's called either. <laughs> Oh, a printer box. Thank you, guys. I have my papers, a lot of my papers. My desk here has, you know, the drawers and both of the bottom drawers, which I didn't realize till like not that long ago, had, well, had places for the hanging folders. I'm like, what is this? Is this for folders? I know. Yeah, and, you know, now I put them in there. Jane, them. when we moved to that apartment, you know, before we moved there, I had this huge filing cabinet that uh, it had like two regular, it was way wide. And when you pulled the drawer out, the stuff was in here this way instead of that way, you know. Mm -hmm. So it was like this way. And it had two drawers for hanging file folders. And then on the bottom was a super deep drawer. And it just wouldn't fit in that little apartment. So I sold it. Oh my gosh, how I wish I had that thing back because it was it would have been absolutely perfect in here to put Don't you hate that when you give away or sell yeah. something and a couple years later you're like, son of a bitch. Because it that. would totally well, I mean I had no choice. I had nowhere to put it. But anyway, um it would totally be so awesome in here because it was great for setting the printer on. I could have put my cricket and my printer on the top of it, and then I could have had all my uh papers inside those drawers where you just pull the drawer out and you can just flip through the papers. Mm -hmm. I wish I had that thing back every day. Yeah. And I think I sold it. It was probably a $400 filing cabinet. I mean, I didn't pay that much for it. Somebody gave it to me. Um, and I think I sold it for like $25 just because we were moving in a hurry and I had to get rid of it. Right. And it was heavy. Oh my gosh. I get that thing I like weighed that. 150 pounds. Because wow. it was all metal. You know, oh yeah, it'll last a hundred years because it was great construction. I just wish I had it back so bad. Wow. Yeah, that's how I uh, I'm separating a lot of the digitals because I took all the paper out and because I got a stack thing that holds like it's from We Are Memory Keepers and somebody in Scottsdale had it and I'm like, um, I want to go get this for fifty bucks. It was well, actually it was twenty five. It was brand new. It's a big stackable thing. It's where it kind of it's a tower and it you just slip your paper and it's you know if you want to clean in there it's a little tough on the arms because <laughs> but yeah is that one of the, the stand is that the stand-up thing with the paper in it you mean uh-huh yeah yeah it's like yeah now I that's that good i don't know y'all leticia and mary jane i just i don't know stacy do you think this is obsidian yeah, it might be. Because is obsidian usually got the like lighter colors and the smoky look on the inside? Uh, See, because on camera I'm looking at it, it looks black. It's not black, y'all. It's got kind right. of a ambery and obsidian obsidian isn't solid black either, I don't think. It's just so pretty to me. This one is just so pretty to me. I just love it. It's so perfect. I don't think it is. Oh wait, actually, no, no, no. That can't be obsidian then. That's right. I got it backwards because I don't think obsidian is that because obsidian is volcanic glass. Right. It's usually so black, black. Right, right, right. Yeah. Got a piece of obsidian. Black or a blackish green. 
Yeah, uh, this, well, is actually, like, this is translucent. I'm looking at it now. It says translucent. So, but I always remember it being like dark and not translucent. But then again, well, I guess. Let's put this lamp on it if y'all could see it better. Let me see. If does it? Lamp. Yeah, see if it looks like a blue, like a greenish black color. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, jeez. You'd have to put it underneath of it. Do you have a flashlight? Hold on. Let me get my phone. Yeah, your phone will work good. Yeah, I want y'all to be able to see it better because see, it's not black and it looks black on the camera, but it's real ambery, smoky. Oh, it's ambery, then no, it's probably not obsidian then. Oh, jeez. Hold on. See it? Yeah, oh, okay. No, 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 that's not obsidian. No, no, no way. See yeah, how it looks black near my thumb? Yep. Yeah. It's not. It's like an ambery, gray, yeah, that's, that's smoky not. look. Yeah, I don't know what that is then. Did you check your book? Um, let me look in my book. Jeez, I'm so dumb. Let me look in my book. Hold on, I put it over here on the shelf. Okay, go get it. Hold on, hold on. I'm holding. I'm holding tight. I don't know if I can hold on anymore. Nope, I let go. <laughs> put that in my hand. Yeah, obsidian is not as translucent. It's I guess it's translucent, but not like that. Not ambery. That wouldn't be it. Anyway, so. It's Linda. Different Linda, though. I thought it was the other Linda at first. Yeah, no, it's, Linda. Not. it's not Linda. It's Linda. <laughs> <laughs> the other Linda, I could say. It's Linda. Yes, yeah, Linda. somebody well, yeah so i don't know where she went she said hold on a second i think to go get her book i think oh well she's not wait a minute mine's right she's not in there i mean her her 
Oh, she's backstage. I didn't. I wasn't looking. I thought you were saying. Oh, where did she go? Oh, my whole. I don't know what happened. My whole browser. And here I am looking at my paper, listening to Janie go. Where'd Katie go? And I said, Oh, I think she got up to go. Like eventually, people look up. Yeah, I look up. And then I look up and realize you were actually backstage. You were gone, gone. When I didn't realize my book, my whole browser had closed. I don't know what. She's looking at the book like. I'm over here going. I don't know where she's smoky. What was this? Yeah, she's done. She's done. Yeah, mm. That's what it is. Smoky court. Is okay, yep. that's what it is. Smoky court, y'all. Mm. Mm -hmm. Anyway, it's pretty. <laughs> and yeah. I'm going to offend it with it. <laughs> it's pretty. <laughs> it's pretty, and I'm going to use it. <laughs> I wish I was like, hey, Chris. Hey, Linda. What you up to, Chris? Don't tell me how tall you are. <laughs> right. It's an old joke, but it's a good joke. Right. <laughs> hey, y'all, eventually this camera will stop shaking. You know, that happened to me the other day where I, my browser just suddenly closed down. I probably need to do an update. Mm -hmm. Probably. I just hate because it takes forever, it feels like. Is Katie on the moon? Yes, she was on the moon. No, she's not on that moon. That moon's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Beat us all to it. Okay, I'm gonna I gotta hammer, so I'm gonna mute me for a second. Okay. Okay, she's gonna hammer in the morning, hammer in the evening. That's right. <laughs> Black in the other one. Let's just do it. I am. Thank you, Chris. I'm making my little voodoos, voodoo dolls, and then I'm going to torture them. Call them boo boo, boo boo dolls. Boo boo. Little yeah, boo -boo they don't want the boo boos. Look at that. <laughs> Poor babies. Poor babies. Did you guys see my cute little pumpkins I made? They're adorable. I don't know. Don't you move now. You've been working it to the bone there, Chris.
Diana. So you guys, ladies, working on anything? Or not? Maybe not tonight, but recently. What you guys been working on recently? Who's gonna make a Halloween journal this year? A spooktacular Halloween journal. Spooktacular. something else that I can move out the way. Oh, I miss hammering, like, my wires and stuff. Like, that used to be fun. Okay. Look at Wiccan. Wiccan. Wiccan schick. Ooh, look at that. That's neat. It's like magic. Magic. All right. Thank you, Diana. You see my journal I started last year? So cute. I love it so much. Started it last year, but didn't finish it. It's got belly bands. It's got so work on it this year for Halloween? Yeah. And it'll go in the auction. I don't have to do too much to it because I wasn't going to do crazy things to it. But like I did do like a little, little card. Little belly card, belly band card thing. There's a pocket. Mm -hmm. Took spot thingy. And then there's just more pages. There's a lot of pages in here, actually. This thing's quite heavy because oh. each page is a black page with another paper on top, both back and front. So it's like quite heavy. It's a heavy wow. little journal. Okay. But I forgot it was in my box. So when I opened my box, I'm like, oh, I'm like, there's a journal in here. I'm like, every year I find a journal, in, an unfinished journal in my box. Every year I do that. I'm like, how, this, how do I end up doing that? I don't know. <laughs> Very weird. Hmm. 
question for y'all just to gather an opinion so last week or sometime I really felt good I felt energetic I felt all kinds of good things anyway so I thought you know what I'm gonna this was like a week or two ago anyway so I thought I'm gonna go live right yeah. So I came in here and I set up some things on the table to do live and, uh, you know, because I went through the YouTube thing where you just click the live thing or whatever and then you put the little event in or whatever. Right. And then I thought, well, wait a minute, let me make sure. Because I didn't think anybody would be on because this was like a Tuesday or something. And... I thought, oh, well, let me make sure nobody else is already on, blah, blah, blah. And there was three other people already live. And I thought, oh, my God, I don't want people to think I'm trying to horn in or step on They're their toes. They wouldn't think that. That's what I was worried about. Couldn't yeah, decide. You can't worry about that. I tell people this all the time. You can't worry about who else is live because guess what? There's millions of crafters on YouTube. We just don't know about all of them, but there's always somebody going live. You I know that might feels not weird with it. somebody I know. You know what I mean? Well, regardless, even if it is somebody you know, it doesn't mean you can't go live. It doesn't mean it doesn't mean that you're doing anything bad. Do you think I, I should message them and let them know, know? Or huh? I thought maybe I should have messaged them and no. asked them if they no. mind. No, no. Mm -hmm. Just go live when you want to go live. You have other people that are going to watch you, and their people are going to watch them. It's not going to take away from them, and and it's no. not going to take away from you. Do you know what I mean? Because people oh, are I, don't about me. I just don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. You're not going to hurt their feelings. There's too many people that are crafters that, that are going live. They're, you can't worry about that. Because if you worry about that, you'll never go live. Yeah. And I was like, oh, well, crap. I was feeling good and wanted to go live and wasn't nervous or anything. Right. Didn't have no anxiety yeah. going. And then I found out they were all on live, so I didn't no, do you it. Can't, you can't worry about it. Because it was making me so nervous thinking I would be hurting somebody's feelings. No, you're not hurting their feelings. No. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, I just need an opinion on it because I could, were hurting their, and, if, and if for some reason you like it, it's not gonna happen. But if for some reason you were hurting their feelings, that's there. That's on them. That's not you. You know I what know, I mean? Because you, you, so you don't need to ask anybody's permission because there's people that go live all the time. You don't need to. Everybody doesn't need to sync up their damn schedules. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I just have. I don't care if I'm though. live. I don't care if I'm live. Go live. I don't give a crap. Go live. Well, you know, that, you know what I mean? Like, don't worry about because you can't worry about other people. But see, what's know? so weird is I had kind of written down what days people were live. Right. And somehow I managed to miss, I think it was a Tuesday. I'm not going to say who was live that night, but or right. it was during the day. It was like five o'clock or whatever. Right. And I was like, oh, crap. I didn't realize that they do lives on Tuesdays. 
Right. Mm -hmm. And then the next thing I know, every single day is full with people doing lives. And I was like, well, crap, I'm never going to be able to do a live. Right. Yeah, that's, like, see, that's a problem. I'm not, I'm not saying that, you know, oh, don't worry about anybody else, like in a bitchy way. What I mean is don't worry about anybody else because when, when it comes to going live, because you will drive yourself crazy. You know, I would have people all the time come into my live streams and say, oh, I was going to go live, but I saw you were live and I didn't want to go live at the same time. And I'm like, why? Oh, well, I just figured everybody was going to be here. I'm like, no, the people that are here are going to be here. No, no, I don't care about that. I just say, well, I know you don't. No, I know. But what I mean is, like, the only reason anybody would worry about whether somebody else was live is because they would think that it would take away from their live. That's it. Oh, no, not me. I would be thrilled if two people showed up. (laughs) What I mean is, like, nobody cares whether somebody goes, like, I mean, you can't worry about it. You just can't. There's too many things going on. You just have to go, don't even pay attention to who's live at the time okay. you go live. Don't okay. even look at it. Okay, just I will. Like, nobody's going to get mad because if they did, then they're an idiot. That's okay. All I about okay. That. Thank you, Stacey. I, I don't, don't get mad. I couldn't make up my mind about what to do. I just couldn't make up my mind. Yeah. Because you got to know I'm weird, y'all. Right. I do have anxiety, though, so y'all just have to forgive my anxiety. So. <laughs> yeah, no, I understand. But I mean, like, you know, it's, it's, it's a thing. I don't understand, like, you know, uh, people have to understand that, you know, you can't base everything about what everybody else is doing. Otherwise, right. and I would, you know, just general people, but these were people I know and I'm, you know, right. sort of friends with and everything. I just don't want to, I don't want to step on toes. No, you're not stepping on toes. No. The internet's a big place and they can, they're doing their thing and, you know, you have to kind of do your own thing and that's kind of how that works. I do, I do remember a few people like asking or worrying about it like quite a while ago, but now I think everybody knows everybody's on, so they never ask it anymore. <laughs> right, right, right. They just go, yeah, I never hear it. Yeah, because people used to always say to me, like, oh, you know, are you going, like, yeah. I would get, like, a message on Facebook, are you going to go live tonight? And I'm like, oh, I don't know. Okay, well, let me know, because I don't want to go live if you're going to go live. And I thought maybe they would, it's because they wanted to watch my live stream. And it, no, it was because they were afraid to go live at the same time as me. And I kept saying, no, no, no. I'm like, you go live when you want to go live. Don't worry about me at all. You will have right. people that will come. And, and if, you know, I, I would say to them in case they were worried about and if somebody was going to come to their live stream because I was on, I'd be like, don't worry about it. Trust me. You're going to get a whole influx of people that don't know who I am that are going to go to you because you're live. And you're going to get those people that nobody else gets because of that. So that's why you don't worry about it and go live. And you're going to find all kinds of people coming into your live stream. Okay. All right. I take your advice and I'm going to heed your advice because see a day where I'm feeling confident and good and not anxious is rare anyway. But I figure once I get into this thing where I've been going live, it'll, it'll make that anxiety kind of go away. Yeah. Yeah. No, but I have to be the, it has to be a day where I'm feeling good. (laughs) Right. Right. So You know, I can't be like, Oh, well next Next Thursday, I'm going to feel great. I don't know, you know? Right. Yeah. Thank you, Carla. Oh, but hey, I, know, I know you wanted to go live initially on, I think, Sunday, and that didn't work out. But um, Oh, my God, I hurt myself so bad, Stacey. Did, did uh, Janie Yeah, that? Janie told me, but I was just like, I, at first, the way she said it, I thought she was saying that she hurt herself because <laughs> she, didn't just, what? With, she didn't preface it with this message came from Katie. She prefaced it with <laughs> just a message saying that she slid or something and i was like i was like are you okay jamie what happened <laughs> oh my gosh i hurt so bad i hurt myself so bad and you know what i was here by myself which is rare because usually christopher or Jeannie's here you know what i mean somebody's right, right. here but Jeannie was at work and christopher <coughs> excuse me y'all christopher had gone off with a friend hmm. was walking see when you walk through our kitchen there's a little like cubby there where the washer and dryer are and then the next thing is the door to our bedroom so i was walking towards the bedroom and i can't tell you what happened i literally slid forward landed on my knee which is my bad knee that i've already had surgery on and hit my arm mostly my shoulder up against the washer the edge of the washer Oh, and then man. hit my elbow down onto the floor. Good lord! And I almost bit my dad gone tongue tongue off. Oh, oh. <laughs> and, but let me tell y'all, if I had fallen backwards, I'd have been in a mess. I didn't have my phone in my hand. 
It took mm-hmm. everything I had and strength to get myself back up off the floor. Oh, so if I had fallen backwards, I'd have just been laying there until, and it was hours before Christopher and Jeannie were home. Yeah. So mm-hmm. I'd have just been laying there because I would not have been able to get myself up. There's but no you way. didn't get yourself up. Well, if anything ever oh. happens like that, you call me and I will come get you. Well, I, you know what? I'm told myself that day. I said, you know what? I've got to start carrying my phone around. Yeah, I always take my phone. Because I didn't yeah. have my phone in my hand. If I'd have been laying on my back, I'd have just been stuck there. Yeah. Uh, because no, it yeah. took all my strength to get up, and I'm telling you right now, I thought, my God, I'm that that hurts so bad, but I'll be okay. And I got up and went, did a couple of things, and then hobbled over to the couch and sat there miserable, crying to myself, feeling sorry for myself. Mm-hmm. And then, um, you know, I had sat there for a little while, and I thought, okay, you know, I knew this the auction was happening, all this stuff was going on, and I thought, well, you know, I'll be okay. And then I went to get up after sitting there for a few minutes. Oh, were you sore? Oh, my gosh. Yeah. So I just went to bed. And that made it worse, of course, because when I got up, I was even worse. Right. Off. Um, but anyway, I'm fine. But I did tell myself I've got to carry. Yeah. I've got to start getting in the habit of carrying my phone around because at least I would have had a phone to call Christopher right. to him. He had to come home. Yeah. Right. You know, and I didn't even have my phone on me. No. And I looked all on that floor trying because it was a slide, and I thought, well, there must have been something in the floor. Could not find anything in that floor that would have been slick or anything. But anyway, that's what happened. Maybe you should get checked for Ehlers Danlos disease because people with Ehlers Danlos trip over anything and nothing. Yeah, I fall a lot, but yeah. it's always when somebody's here or right. I would land in such a way it's not even a big deal. Like I fell over into the couch one time. <laughs> right. <laughs> so I landed softly, you know, but that, yeah. that day, that other day was not good. Not good at all. Yeah. Um, and Jeannie was, you know, one time she was making fun of me because I fall so much. She said, I'm going to get you one of those help I fall and I can't get up. I said, no, you're not. <laughs> oh, right. We were walking through the parking lot at Michael's one time, and I'm telling you right now, for no reason, I just fell down in the parking lot, Michael. <laughs> I didn't trip. I didn't fall over something. I just fell in the parking lot. Yeah. And Jeannie, of course, was horrified at first, and then she thought it was hilarious. <laughs> yeah. That's scary, though. It was scary, Jamie. Yeah, I knew you had to be really sore if you weren't if you weren't going to do your live that you wanted to do, you know? Yes, I was so sore. I was just hurting. And feeling pitiful and sorry for myself. Mm-hmm. I fell down at the swimming pool here at the rec center one day and the little lifeguard guy who was as big as my pinky, he came running over to me and saying, are you okay? Are you okay? And I said, do I look like I'm okay? (laughs) 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 He said, well, here, let me help you get up. And I thought to myself, little man, (laughs) I don't think you'll have the strength to help me get up. But I wound up, I was real close to the edge of the pool. So I just sort of swung my legs over, you know, Basically, just let myself fall into the pool because I'd have never gotten up off that concrete floor. There was nothing to hang on to. Wow. Hey, Rhonda. Hey, Rhonda. Hi, Rhonda. Hi, Rhonda and Carla. Poke my pocus. Pocus my pocus. 
Well, I, Carla, I fell in that same spot when we first moved into this house in that same exact spot. But what had happened there was Christopher, we, we used, you know, the spray stain remover on our clothes before we throw it in the wash if it has anything on it. And he had gotten in this habit where he would hang it over the floor and spray the clothes to throw in the wash. And uh, I went walking through there and his one of his friends was over here and Joshua was here and they heard me hit that floor and I did land on my back that time more on my rib and my rib hurt that time for days and they heard me hit and they came and got me and slid me across the floor by my arms to help me get up uh anyway it was something in the floor and I kept asking everybody you know, did you spray air freshener or what? Blah, blah, blah. You've got to get that up off that floor because I could fall on it again. Blah, blah, blah. And then I was watching him one day do his laundry and realized that he was holding his clothes over the floor and spraying the stain remover and it was going onto the floor. Whoa. And that's yeah. what I had slid in. That time. Yep. So Y'all got to be careful about stuff like that. Yeah. Because it makes your floor like glass or ice. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you saw me say that I'm in love with your pumpkin, Stacy. Oh, thanks. They're not mine, actually. I got. I learned it from that that lady that that May May made it, lady. Oh well, you made them, so they are yours, and they're absolutely wonderful. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> I learned it from her. She did a video yesterday, and I. I happened to see it and I was like half asleep and then I saw what she was making and I like perked up and I'm like, what is that? <laughs> who did you say you got it? What who? That lady May May made it. May May made it. Yeah, oh, she does know. like cards and stuff. Oh, I never heard of her. Yeah, she does like cards and different stuff usually I think. And I don't usually watch her very much or you know, she doesn't really come across my feed that much. But that I saw and I was like, ooh, I want to know what she's doing. And so I got up and kind of turned the volume up. Huh? I said, you did it absolutely beautifully. Thanks. Yeah, she used, uh, you know, um, scrap of paper, and I, I used mostly my my mixed media, except for my mixed media sprays, except for one. This one here. Oh, no. What? It's okay, because I use mixed media paper. But anyway, I use my mixed media Hi, paper. Good Good night, Letitia. Absolutely gorgeous, Stacy. So night. adorable. Good night, Letitia. You know, from a distance, it almost looks like you quilted those. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah when it's down on the camera, it looks like you it's something you quilted. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. Ooh, pretty. Well, wow. anyway. I don't know why I don't focus sometimes. Sometimes it does. Good. I'm gonna go get me something to eat. I'm hungry. I got peppermint patties. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Ooh, patties. What brand did you get? York. Yorks. Yeah. Those are the ones I like the best. I like the mini ones the best. I can't remember what now right now what that brand is. Jeannie always gets that I like. I can't think of it. I think it starts with an A maybe. I don't remember. I can't think. There's another brand of peppermint patty? Yeah, it's she always <laughs> She yeah. always gets that other brand and they're real good, but I like Yorks too. I love Yorks. Yeah. yeah. It's probably the only thing I like with peppermint in it. Mm -hmm. I, peppermint. Oh, I love peppermint. Well, depending on what it is, I like peppermint. Oh, Rhonda, thank you. Yes, I do. Yes, thank you so much. 
I'll hit you up on Facebook. And if you're not, if you're busy or can't do it right then, oh. don't, don't even worry about it. Thank but you, yes, if you're, if you're available, yes. Thank you so much for offering. I went live multiple years ago. Um, but my anxiety has gotten worse since then. So. Well, anytime you want to go live, just let me know ahead of time. And the later the, the better for me. Right. As long as I don't have work I have to get done. Like tomorrow I definitely have to get a lot of work done. But I'm up. You know, I'll probably be able to do Friday or Saturday, maybe. So, Jeannie has um, three days off coming up. Stacey, do you mind if one of those days she comes by and picks up my stuff? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, anytime. Anytime. I'll let you know if she feels. Um, she probably will wind up wanting to go to Nashville for something. She usually does when she's off. I can't find my big block. Shit. I don't know where it is. Poop. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know what I do with my big stamp block. No, no today, let's see, today's the 530 day, Carla, but thank you for reminding me. <laughs> she went to work regular time yesterday and the truck didn't even show up until like 10 o'clock, so... They wound up out there delivering really late in the night, which I hate because, see, she has the back roads route that's in all way out in the country and stuff, so everything's dark. Nobody has their address lit up. Most people don't even bother to put an address on their house. Mm -hmm. So she's out there in the dark, pitch dark, trying to find people's houses and stuff. Oh, that's annoying. And see, when she when the when the truck is late, that means she's late getting started, which means it's even later that she's out there delivering in that dark. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, you made a little tiny voodoo man. <laughs> I want the little tiny uh huh. Adjust my order for a little tiny voodoo man. Well they're all little tiny. Uh uh, the other one was bigger, wasn't he? The first mm -hmm. one. They're oh. all about the same size, I think. Oh, okay. About. Okay, Just maybe it was perspective. A couple lump of uh, I can't wait like to get it. <laughs> But I'll be I was trying to think who my tell enemy me. is that I want the voodoo on. I don't have uh -huh. any enemy. <laughs> I can't find my block. <laughs> you like the lighter or the darker? I like the light one. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I think did but too. I'm not that picky because I love them both. So if you just need to give me a darker one because you've got orders for your white ones, that's fine too. Oh, no, I'll be making more. But I figured since I have those, then I'm going to make some more white ones and a little bit and smaller, you know, not big ones. So, yeah. Crap, 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 crap. Yeah, Carla, they don't. And see, she's got one of those high powered flashlights. She can shine towards the houses trying to find the numbers, but most people don't even bother putting a number on their house. <clears throat> she says most probably nine out of ten houses don't even have a number anywhere on the house. What's that little thing, Stacy? What? Oh, it's one of those stamper things. Stamp, yeah, stamp pad. It's thing in my bobber. Because I um can't find my large block. And I don't want to use this because this doesn't stamp very well for me for some reason. The one that I got is kind of defective. Mm. But I did you try to send it back or what? Did you send it back? Oh, no. It no, because they can't, I don't think they can replace it because he, this is then there was that lawsuit and then he couldn't he can't sell these anymore, so I can't get a replacement anyway. I've been trying to think of how I could just make me one. Yeah, you can. There's, 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 instructions. there's several instructions out there to, to, on how to make them. I didn't make any of their instructions. I thought they were too bulky. <laughs> well, no, there's there's people that have like really good instructions on how to make them pretty simply. Uh, Rhonda, no, I hadn't seen that. But you know what I love to do with paper towels is Jeannie buys paper towels 
in bulk mm -hmm. and they usually have different little patterns on them and they're so cool to stamp onto your uh gel plate and it makes pretty patterns yeah, I I have have some they don't I I changed my mind about that I die cuts because i have a little kitchen type thing that has a little apron mm -hmm. and a little oven mitt and real little tiny silverware things which i cut out of uh gum wrappers that's why i save all the silver gum wrappers and i like take the like burnish them all together like three of them and then do the uh little silverware things with those but then i uh do like the because it's like a uh, a sewn um like little apron with a pocket mm -hmm. and stuff like that so I put like my baby wipes and stuff in there and it cut them pretty nice. <laughs> like a couple of them together. And they stuck right together. Almost like the little pinholes in the dye made them really clean. All there is about that. As you say, it's all I got to say about that. This is it. Mm -hmm. Let's call it a candle. This one's crooked broom stick. Yeah, Carla, there's no requirement for that here, which surprises me because you would think they would want to require it for, you know, ambulance drivers and things, but they don't. They don't require that. Not out in the country. I'm not even sure they require it within city limits here. Head. Oh, we we'll use this. Useless. Get it all over my hand. Useless. Yesterday or day before, I picked up my bot this little bottle that's got my alcohol in it, and I was gonna spray off because you know you have to clean your stuff before you can solder. Mm -hmm. And I had the pumpers toward me, and I didn't realize <laughs> it. I went to spray it, and I sprayed my whole face full of that. <laughs> oh my god! Well, at least god. I'm clean now. <laughs> <laughs> I've sprayed it. I've sprayed it like an idiot. I've sprayed the one of my oxide sprays, my homemade ones when I was making them one time, right into my mouth. Oh, yeah. Here oh. I am looking at the sprayer, trying to look at it, thinking I have it pointed the other way. And for some stupid reason, I sprayed it. And I'm like, why did I just do that? What was the purpose of that? What was that going to accomplish? <laughs> and it went in my mouth and I was eating it. And I was like, this is disgusting. <laughs> it's so mm -hmm. gross. Like, I, used to, I don't know why I did that. On Sundays, I used to get Nanny ready for church. By, I'd curl her hair and stuff for her. And uh, she would still be in her bath. You know, she'd get her shower. I'd blow dry her hair and curl it for her. And then she'd go in the bathroom to get dressed. 
It was Sunday. <laughs> I had curled her hair. Well, it was a disaster anyway because I burnt her ear, which made me cry because I hurt my little nanny. <laughs> I hate that. I, nobody can hurt my little nanny. Anyway, so she goes in the bathroom after I've curled her hair, and she accidentally sprays her deodorant in her hair and her hairspray on her armpits. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> she was, she had like glasses this thick, y'all. <laughs> And she couldn't see anything without them. She's in there trying to do it without them glasses on. Oh, that's oh, oh my God. She said, oh, no. <laughs> oh, she was precious. <laughs> so precious. I've done that before, Diane. Oh, my I know, Rhonda. What, you have, what she has to do is, first of all, she has GPS, and then she also has map. So she... She delivers in the same area every day. So basically, she has to have a really good memory and she'll mm -hmm. remember, oh, I've been to that house before and it's 107. And I've been over there to that house and I think it was 105. So this is probably the 103, if that makes sense to you. That's how she does it. Mm -hmm. It ain't easy. Keep all that in your mind. I would love for you to be a fly on the wall at my house, Rhonda. Just come, up. just come here and sit around and listen. Nothing's ever happened. It's boring here. <laughs> you don't want to be a fly on the wall at this house. That's all you hear me do is yell at Chris. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sometimes it's so quiet in this house. I'm like, is anybody alive here? See, I like quiet. I do too, but it gets, it gets, you know. Sometimes you just need some. <laughs> yeah, sometimes, but well, I, I like quiet because I get nonstop talking from you know who and nonstop noise. Yeah, it's super quiet here. Okay, come on now, get up in there. Why are you being a pain in my ass, Bray? You all plugged up. That's why you was all plugged up. I fixed you. There you go. Not so bad now. Not so bad now. What do you think about that? Y'all, Jeannie was mad about my hair. Boy, I hardly ever see her mad, but boy, she was mad. Why? Your hair. I don't know. She just, she was fussing at me. <laughs> you must have been on my vibes this week because I cut a bunch of my hair off too this week. Well, what had happened? Let me show y'all. This is, I think, what made her mad. Is see this thing? I have to have it on. Right. Without it, I cannot see. Right. Because I'm almost blind in my right eye, and I'm not so great in my left. But anyway, so you see this little rivet thing in here? Yeah. Okay. My hair was out of control, and every time I'd go to pull this thing off, it would rip a hunk of hair out oh, in those yeah. rivets. And the other day, yeah. I for the the final straw, I went to pull this thing off and it ripped my hair out. I put it down, walked straight in there, sat down, started cutting on my hair because I was so mad about <laughs> my hair out for the hundredth time. And now I think that's what made her mad is because I did it out of anger. So I was already right. pissed off. Right. And then, of course, I can't do things properly because I can't re reach my left arm up um, over my head like that. So I was having to aim my scissors I was looking in the mirror and just sort of aiming at the hair with the scissors. In like three <laughs> patches, I got super close to my scalp. Anyway, so I think it's if I did it when I was pissed off is what made her. She was like, if you'd have just waited. Yeah. And calm down, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. no, that's, that's, how I, that's how I am. That's, I, I got aggravated that couldn't get my brush through my hair anymore. Because the bottom part of my hair was so damaged and I couldn't get the brush through it. So I just grabbed the scissors and said, this is about a good length. And I started cutting it. Actually, I cut it. I flipped my head upside down first to cut it because it's uh, better to cut it that way when you're cutting it yourself. And then I did the back as best I could. Yeah, but um, you probably know how to cut hair. I have no clue. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, I went to school for it. So, yeah. <laughs> I am but totally still, good. But and, still, I was mad when I did it. You know what I mean? I was like yeah. pissed off. And usually that can be bad, even if you know what you're doing. I cut yeah. off too much. You know, I'll like I would cut off too much sometimes. and be like, son of a bitch, you know. But this time I didn't cut off too much. I cut off a lot. You know, but Chris was like, oh, my God, how much did you cut off? Because I told him I cut my hair. And I'm like, 
I'm, I'm like, I don't know. I'm like, I cut off a lot because it was up in a clip and when he saw it. I said, it's still long. Mm -hmm. hmm. It's just not in my, it's just, I can get a brush through it now because the ends aren't all straggly looking. And then what did I do? Immediately bought hair dye to re-dye my hair. <laughs> Oh my gosh, my, my hair right now is three colors. It's gray, bleached, and in spots. It's almost looking like it's black. Yeah. Well, I don't know how my hair got black. I was never black before. Huh. <laughs> That's why I got a kick out of that reminded me of uh, 16 Candles when she, they had to cut her hair when she slammed oh, it. Oh, yeah, door. when she was in the door. Just like, just cut it. <laughs> Remind me of these, uh, of these big scissors. <laughs> she turned like, oh, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, oh. I can't remember which movie that is. Is that the one with... um? 16 Molly Ringwald. Molly Ringwald. No, I know that, but I can't remember which one it is with her. I can't remember which movie that it's is. It's the first one she did where it was her birthday and everybody forgot her birthday and then Long Duck Dong. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It was his face, Michael, whatever his name was. Yes, yeah. Who, who was such he a nerdy little guy and he turned out to be so good looking later in life. I know. <laughs> he was in the Breakfast Club, too. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Michael something. John Michael. Anthony Michael Hall. Yeah. And that, Edward yeah. Scissorhands, remember? What? Edward Scissorhands. He wasn't an Edward Scissorhands. That was uh that was Johnny Depp. Right, but he was the boyfriend of the girl. He was Oh, that's boyfriend. right. He was. I totally yeah. forgot about that. Oh god, yeah, that's right. I forgot. He I was love the... Edward Scissorhands. I was just thinking oh, of I Edward did. Scissorhands. That's it. I wasn't thinking beyond <laughs> that. So, That's right. I totally forgot that he was in that. Yeah. Duh. Oh, oh yeah. I couldn't yeah. forget Johnny Depp in that movie. He was so cute. I mean, he's cute he anyway, like but I mean, that movie, movie was. I would cool. love that movie. Cute, cute. I know. Yeah. Okay. Now. I'm going to put it on here. There's the mark. That's just a hot mess going on over here. The dead zone. I think. Oh God, I think Dwayne hooked on that. Dead zone. <laughs> Is that the one with Christopher Walken? Christopher Walker. Christopher Walken. 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 Yeah, I don't know. I don't know that show. Is that with the zombies and stuff? Oh, I thought it was the one where he could predict, touch people and predict their future and shit. Oh, the Stephen, oh. King, Stephen King book started started it, right? Hmm. Hmm. I, I don't know. Oh, I just know he's on the rubber side. That's right. It's all the thing. This is the rubber side. I think. Seems like it's supposed to be, but it's doing weird things. Let's do it over here. Now I think this platform is flawed. Boxing powder that I just had. I'm just going to have to go. 
Hmm? I'm gonna tie stuff to you. Tape it onto you. I know, right? I need duct tape everything to me. I, it. I lose it in five minutes. There it is. Thus far. Now this is going to become the bell, and then these longer wires um, will become a frame on the inside. But for right now, I gotta go get me some meat. Okay. Okay. Be right back. Okay. Grab me a steak. Mm -hmm. Sounds good, doesn't it? Yeah. How much I watch. Things like that. Try again. <laughs> I know that's I was looking at uh Stephanie said, Where's Kate, uh, Katie going again? I was gonna say. And she went to get something neat, and then I looked up and she wasn't even there. <laughs> Just flying out of here. Don't know when she comes back. Oh, she's back again. There you are. Sorry, I was embossing. I didn't see you. You disappeared again. Did it kick her out and then put her back in or something? Skill. Ooh, look at that. That's cool. Skilly. Boyton. Wow. Mr. Skilly. That's weird. I wonder if it went out on its own because she got up and went got something to eat. Right. And then she wasn't there. Right. And then and then in order for her to have come back. She would have had to click something, I think. So I don't know whether she clicked something and then realized oh. I wasn't paying attention and didn't see it yet, or if she oh, if it okay. somehow did it on its own, which would have been kind of creepy and weird. <laughs> <laughs> because if you get if you if you get booted out, you go you have to click the link again. Hmm. So I don't know if she did or didn't. Weird. It was a ghost. Ghost, that's ghost right. With the most. Ghostest with the mostest. Oh, really, Shelly? Oh, yeah. Who's most hot that? like that? I think mine did that one. Or was it mine? I don't remember one of ours. That was really going. Yeah, I think that's what it was, a battery. We we're like, well, maybe it's a battery first. <laughs> and then it ended up being, it was the battery. Good thing, because it wasn't really time like for a phone yet.
It's only a year? Mm -hmm. I don't I don't know why mine needed the battery. Because it wasn't that old either. Because we usually have two years. And what kind of phone is it that you have, Shelly? Yeah, what kind of phone? I know, like, I had my phone for over two years, and the battery was great on that thing of my Samsung, the Galaxy Note 9. That was the first phone that I ever had that the, the battery wasn't a piece of crap that after a year it was like garbage. Hmm. Right, and that's how I, <laughs> I learned the hard way, Rhonda. Mm. Yep. Well, that's pretty much what I did the first time. Everyone's like, don't you ever shut this thing off? Oh, no, why? Should I? <laughs> mm. <laughs> Once in a while, huh? Should be good. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> The newer phones, though, they don't keep charging after, even if it's plugged in. It'll just stay at a hundred percent, and it'll, you know, it'll it'll charge only if it needs to. It doesn't ruin your battery as much as they used to. Hmm. Hmm. You know what I have? I have something. I think I'm gonna see if this will work for what I want to do. I saw, oh, I should an iPhone. Yeah, I think this is going to work. I'm going to do a thing. I'm going to do a thing. IPhone, what? She's an iPhone. Oh, God. Yeah, iPhones. No, no, no. Because yeah. <laughs> Apple has admitted that they slow your phone <laughs> down. And after, so don't get an iPhone. <laughs> yeah. She said it's only a year old, so I think she's gonna stick. Yeah, well, that's Apple does that. They they, they yeah. Just next time get something, get an Android, get a Samsung. Uh, no, me too, Rhonda. I can't stand the Apple screws of people over the way they do. Yeah, I was gonna get one of the phones. They're like, no, don't you're not getting that one. Uh -uh. You're not going to, we don't know anything about that. I'm like, uh, okay. Just so this box. Oh, I got more of that crackle stuff, so I can put some crackle. Oh, good. Stuff. Not just so much, just so much. I'm doing my project backwards now. <laughs> started with the inside of the thing because I didn't know what I was going to do and now I now I kind of know what I want to do and it's doing that this okay Steph oh, she's going to cheat on us <laughs> bye Steph she's going to watch other videos because other videos are more fun than us. Oh, really, Shelly? Oh, boy. It's her first iPhone. She said she's always had an Android. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. do you, I'm assuming you don't, do, do you not like it? I got an iPhone one time. This is way back. And boy, I, with it, it's, you know, it said I could return it within 30 days because I called them up and I'm like, I do not want this phone. And they're like, you can return it within 30 days. I'm like, okay, thank God. <laughs> I don't want it. I don't like it. It's horrible. <laughs> it's nowhere near as nice as my, as my Android. I just did not like it at all. Could not get behind that one. Mm -mm. Nope. <laughs> What made you choose that one, um, Shelly, instead of the Android again? Is, is there a reason? Can you get something to eat? Yes. Got me some it, yogurt, it, granola, and strawberries and blackberries. Before you went to get something to eat, or right after you went to get something to eat, did, did, your, did your computer kick you out again? 
Yeah, my browser shut completely down. Okay, and you turned it back on. All right, because okay. we were trying to figure out if it did it by itself or if you actually redid it. Because I was looking at what I was embossing and I wasn't paying attention. And then I realized we were backstage again. And I'm like, yeah, but she went to go get something to eat. How did she? I'm like, that's just weird. <laughs> well, right as I said, I'm going to get something to eat. My browser shut. Oh, okay, that's why like, it seemed weird that way. Because I was like, wait a minute. Oh, yeah. I'm going to go. Did you restart your computer before you came on live? You know what? No. And it's been sitting here on for several days. So it probably does have an update it's wanting to do. Yeah. Let me go clean out my water because it's yuck. Look at it. Yuck. <laughs> no. Yeah. And I can't clean off my brush in that garbage. So I'll be right back. Gross. These are the best blackberries, y'all. Look how huge they are. Oh, my God. Ooh. They're so good. They look good. Yum. And I'm eating with a tablespoon, so you know it's huge. <laughs> yeah. I, if y'all, if you like yogurt, but you can't eat it because of the carbs, mm -hmm. this is called the Carb Master Yogurt. And yes, I realize the fruits have sugar in them, but they also have nutrients I have to have. But anyway, yeah. this is called Carb Master Yogurt. And at first I didn't like it because the texture is a little bit different. Uh -huh. But then I just ate it two or three times. I got used to it. It is so good, y'all. Mm. Carb master? Yeah. It's wow. very low in carbs. Mm. Oh, it was on sale. You have iPad and Apple Pro. Mm. Expensive, huh? mm. I'm hardly ever on my phone. I'm really not. Only reason I have a phone is Jeannie insists on getting that phone. I mean, mm. smartphone. Yeah. She insisted on it, and um, I do use it when I'm in the bathroom. If y'all need to know this, I'm sure you did. I use it when I'm in the bathroom to play games. <laughs> I do that with my tablet. That, but hardly ever, ever am I holding my phone. But Jeannie, Christopher, and Joshua, they might as well have that thing welded to their hand. It drives me crazy. They walk around with their phones constantly. You can't yep. even have a conversation with them because... You start talking and they're talking to you. And next thing you know, they're looking at their phone. Yep. I like it. I'm that boring. Right? I know. That's what you think. That's what I'm like, so, hey, did you hear me? Huh? I know. It's so rude. It's like, all right. Like, Dwayne, he don't like, he doesn't, he doesn't like phones either. He has this, she got him one for Father's Day, a new one. And it, it's still a flip, flip phone because he loves his flip phone. But it was a new one. So. Old men like their flip phones for some reason. Oh, yeah, right? <laughs> the I had before I had a smartphone, I loved it. And that before that, sense. I had a Nokia brick. And when I went in the store, I had had it for like 10 years. And night, Diana. Good night, Diana. Good night, Diana. Yeah. The buttons started falling off of it. So mm -hmm. when I had to replace it, I went into the store and I said, I just want another phone just like this. <laughs> and I'm sorry. <laughs> we haven't made that phone in like 10 years. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> then that's when I got that that flip phone and I loved it. And but then eventually the little spring thing that held it together or whatever it broke off. Mm -hmm. And then that's when I wound up with the smartphones. Uh, but Jeannie's been buying those because I don't never pay that kind of money for a phone. It's insane to me. Wow. But somehow or another. It's a deal when you get them. So I don't know nothing about it, but you get the phone and the somehow you wind up with it free. I don't know. Well, they don't really do free anymore, but well, this one I've had for like two years, so they they used to do that, but now they have like where you make payments, um, and you, it comes on out on your bill. Hmm. 
or you can get or like with me i was able to trade in my old phone and get like like i think it was 800 dollars off my phone so it was you know it brought down the payments like a lot um for the new phone but yeah it's crazy phones are ridiculously expensive they are definitely not worth the money like that they they that but they force you to do it because they know you're gonna buy it but no. there's no way that a phone okay like i can get a laptop a low a fully loaded laptop for the amount that they're charging for a phone they're charging like two thousand dollars for a smartphone for a good smartphone like i have or whatever yep. and it's like you know you know I damn well ever. it does not cost that much i don't care enough about it and see, yeah. I can Skype on my computer. So if I didn't tell somebody that bad, they can get on some Skype. Yeah. Boy, well, you still can't see Diana. What's her name? Well, you're kind of forced to get it unless you, you know what I mean? Like, unless you, I mean, uh, I mean, you can get the cheaper phones, obviously, but, you know, but still, they're still. I don't even know what mine is. Mine's a, I don't even know what mine is. Motorola, maybe? Diana yeah. left. Yeah, why? Well, so Rhonda says we, she never can see Diana, even when she's we here. That so weird. I don't. I remember that was a thing. I don't understand, but yeah, it's so weird. We're gonna see if um, you block each other or something. Remember? Was that? A, yeah, I think. It, well, I don't know. Was that them or was that somebody else? Wasn't it you, Rhonda and Diana, that that happened to, and then? Stacy was about going to see if you guys block each other or something like that. Well, you have to go into your own accounts to do that. You have to go into your own settings and look into your privacy settings and then look under your blocked accounts and see if it was blocked for some reason. Yeah, and I remember you. One of you would have had to have hit it by accident. Do you remember I don't know. that one? <laughs> or was it somebody else? Maybe it was somebody else. Hmm. You didn't. Uh, yeah, she looked, and no, no one was in there. She may have accidentally blocked blocked you at some point, Rhonda. Yeah. You would have had to have done it in the chat. So if you go up to her, to her name, and that you'll scroll up to where her name was, and. Click on the three dots and see if it says block or unblock in there because it might like or hide or unhide or one of those those it would have been hide or unhide it would have said um, but scroll up to her name and see if it's when you click on the three dots if it says like either hide or unhide because when you're in a chat if I've been like let's say I was in the chat I'm not doing the live stream let's pretend those two are doing the live stream I'm in the chat and if I don't want to see Rhonda's chatting I could just right click or just click on her three dots and hit. I think I can just put hide or something and it'll hide them so that I can't see them when they're in the chat. So I don't have to deal with them. Oh, I think, I think I'm not oh. positive on that, but I'm pretty <laughs> sure oh, it used to be away. that way, but I don't like, they keep changing everything. So I don't know if it's still that way. Hmm. If not, then I don't know. Yeah. She, she can't, she, see can't, right. she can't see Diana and Diana can't see her. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Never mind. I see what you're saying. I'm an idiot. You're right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm an idiot. So you couldn't see her name. That's right. So, well, the only other way is to look in your, look in your, um, which I could, I could walk you through it if you want to, Rhonda. She said she looked in hers and nobody's in her oh, box. Okay. Then it yeah. might be Diana. So I, I don't know. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, I remember this from a while ago, but I just don't remember the details of what happened and if it ever got resolved. Daisy, what are you fixing to make? Um, a box, I think, like a little shadow box with my. Oh skull. my gosh, are you really? No, just a little one with the skull. 
Nothing major. Don't worry. Not a big one. I am going to do a bigger one, though, for Halloween. I am going to be doing that. Actually, no. It's not going to be a shadow box. I'm going to be doing a cemetery. And the cemetery is going to have... It's... I'm going to try to do it because I want it all to light up and stuff. So it's going to be a box, but it's going to be like a deep box. It might even be a cardboard box. I'm not sure how I'm going to do this yet, but it's going to be a cemetery that you look into the box and you see the cemetery and like in the back, there's going to be like a haunted house on a hill. Like, Ooh, like a diorama. Then, yes. And it's going to be lit up and it's going to have like twinkling mm -hmm. lights in the sky. And then it's going to have like, like skeletons and mummies coming out of the ground and stuff like that. So that's like the plan, but I'm still working out the details in my head about it. Hmm. Interesting. So, but that's the plan. This one is just a little who's a what's a box. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm thinking about if I want to actually get some wood and build a box or if I want to do it some other way or use a box I might have that I can kind of alter. I'm not sure how I'm doing that yet. So I'm kind of like, I've been thinking about how I'm going to work that out, but I want to make like a cemetery scene. But I want it to light up and it's going to, it's going to be fancy. And I want to start working on it in the next couple of weeks, like, so, before mid-September. So I have to figure this out soon. I can't believe it's September. I know it. It blows my mind. Gosh, that was good. Well, for my Halloween videos, I'm going to be working on my witchy house, my witch, and my wall hanging that I'm wanting to make for over that whole little vignette over there where my shadow box is. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm going to do for my Halloween videos, I think. That would be cool. I wanted to make a haunted room, but... I don't know if I'll have time to do that one too. But that was originally what I wanted to do was a haunted room. And then I thought, ooh, what if I did a cemetery instead? And then I'm like, well, I still want to do the haunted room. But the haunted room will be much smaller. It's not going to be as big as the other things will be much bigger. But I doubt I'll be able to do that. And the other one. It's going to take me a lot of time. A witchy house. I do. I just mean I'm going to work on finishing it. Oh, it's not finished? Oh, I thought it was. No, I still need some. I've got the furniture cut out of the wood. I just haven't put it together. Oh. It just needs some details, and then I need to add my lighting to it. I I've, got, I've got a couple of the lamps <laughs> made, but I want a few more. Hey, Linda. Hey, Miss Trouble. Hi, Linda. <laughs> oh, man. She has big plans. <laughs> oh man. Gosh, I hate it when I get my neck all stiff like that. Mm -hmm. I hope your neck's feeling better now. It takes forever, it feels like sometimes for this great neck. Remember, do I go forward or do I go? Yeah, that's folded.
You went to bed at 2 30 this afternoon? Oh, oh, this morning, gotcha. What were your plans today, Linda? Gonna play Parchivo. <laughs> We're gonna play Parchivo. What's Parchivo? I don't even know how to play that. What is it? It's a game. Oh, look, that came out of nowhere. It's an old person game. <laughs> What'd you say? Old person game? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that and there's that other game. Um, what's the name of it? Bridge. Well, I know the bridge? bridge. Yeah, the bridge. bridge. My grandmother had a bridge club uh, oh. that she belonged to, and they took turns going to each other's houses. Yep. yep. I have a. I had a cleaning lady. The lady that I cleaned for who did that. And whenever I was there on the days that they were going to be there, I used to help set up the tables that she would put out for everybody. The little finger sandwiches. Yep. <laughs> yep. yep. I just get such a kick out of that. <coughs> Excuse me. Such a big deal too. They made out of it. The green, the green stone. You is that? Was it this pink one, Carla? I remember that, Linda. This is quartz, and this one's a jasper one. I haven't polished the jasper yet, but um, I haven't gotten these listed on my website yet either. That's the jasper one. And this is a uh, two different wraps of wires, and then just a plain wire at the bottom and a plain at the top. Um, I love those little Sam we Sam Sammy's too, Linda. Cucumber sandwiches. Thank you, Carla. Thank you Thanks so much, Carla. And right now, I don't know if you were here earlier. I'm working on, oh, geez, I already forgot what this one is. Smoky Quartz. Yep. Smoky uh, Quartz. It don't look right on the camera, Carla. It looks black, but it's not black. It's, it's got a lot of translucent too and it looks real smoky inside anyway that's what going to this with another i think i'm going to put a bead here and a bead here if i can fit it in but we'll see Mm 
Usually, you know, I do messy wrapping. I'm trying to be a little more perfect or whatever you want to call that on this one. May or may not turn out. I like the look of messy wrap. Yeah, I do too. I like, it, I like it a lot, but I'm just trying to see if I can't do one that's not messy wrap. But if it dictates to me that it has to be messy wrap, then that's the way we'll go. It's only 56 there. Oh, I bet it's already 70 here. Something, 70 something. Yeah. Oh, on my, thank you, Rhonda. Call us <laughs> on my website, uh, sugarandcider.com. I just had not of those yet. I just finished them like a couple of days ago. Ben what? Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez got back together. No, I, I, don't, know who those, I don't know who those are. Oh, I mean, I, mean, I know who I didn't know they were ever together. <laughs> oh, yeah, they were back in 2003. I thought he was married to that lady that was on La Femme Nikita. He, well, I, oh, I don't know who that, who's that. Is that Angelina Jolie? Who's married to Angelina Jolie? Well, Jennifer something. Jennifer, oh, Jennifer Garman. Gar yeah, Garner, sorry. He's not married to her? I guess not. No, he's no, no, he's not married to her anymore, no. Um, but he's he, he was engaged to Jennifer Lopez, and then they split up, and now they're back together again, which is so bizarre. Hmm. I think it's the memes with... Ben Affleck carrying coffee angrily are hilarious. <laughs> I don't want to know about that because Christopher shows them to me. Yeah. So now what I did is I spaced like a coil. Ooh. The rat right there on the bale. That's cool. That looks nice. I love burning bushes, Linda. They are so pretty. I wanted some. Uh, we have a little corner spot in the in the uh, flower bed out there. I would like to put some in. Thank you, Rhonda. Here they don't call them burning bush, but I can't think for the life of me what they call that. But I know it's also called a burning bush. They call it. Um, I can't think. I have to ask Jeannie. I can't think. Oh gosh, what time is it? I gotta get her up. I'll be right back, y'all. I mean, she gets her own self up, but I just always like to check. Yeah. Is 77 there, Carla? I don't know what it is here. He's taking something about, you know, on 70 something. Probably. It sounds about right. It says 77 on my computer, too. But then the sun's not even. I'm not really there yet. I'll tell you what it is here. Um, well, it's 63 here. It's going to be 81 today. Oh, it's going to be nice today. 
Hmm. Hmm. We get rain with it. Yeah. Happy that fall is over. Okay, it rain. Yeah, I like the 1872. Nice. <laughs> she said, what day is it? I said, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what day is it? Oh, man. Yeah, what day is it? I was like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's 12 Thursday now. Oh, is it Thursday? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what day is it? It's the day that you need to get a calendar. I just totally don't have any reason to keep track of the days anymore. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I, don't have I, I still do to an extent, but I hate it. I'd rather be oblivious to what day it is. Yeah. Well, you know, I don't have kids in school anymore. The only person I have to keep track of for appointments is me. Right. Gosh, that is making my teeth hurt so bad. Jenny's <laughs> <laughs> using her bob. You know how you start to if you start to think about eating a cup with lemon, it makes your teeth hurt. Yes. <laughs> that sounds like the dentist. It's like, whoa, it's like my teeth hurt. <laughs> the other one's worse. This uh the little the little one. Yeah. That's oh, yeah, yeah, this one I got going. Yeah, that one that one's not so bad. And I, I don't it doesn't bother me, but it's Oh, it's not bothering me either, Jay. Don't worry about it. I was just this like one here. I tell you, I just now started hearing it really. Well, it's not going to do it here, but it's it usually it's pretty bad. This one is. Oh. Ew, it's going to be 96 where you are. Yuck. That's not fun. Ugh. Yeah. Now, do you, you have air conditioning, right, Carla? Oh, no. Who didn't I have air conditioning? I could not. Now, I could live in a lot of places without air, but I could not live here in Tennessee without air conditioning. No, I couldn't either. I couldn't live in I can even live on the East Coast as hot as it gets because uh -uh. the thing is, when you live there, all you have to do is open your windows and you're getting breathed off the off the ocean. Well, kind of. <laughs> and Well, where I'm from, you did. So, yeah. I mean, I could live there without air, but I could not live here without air. There is no air movement. Yeah. Yeah, there is no air movement here. Oh, Linda, send me a message or the link to that because I need one. See, I've got my coffee warmer here. Let me show it to you what I'm talking about. This doodad. Oh, yeah. I have one of those. And I need one that has a, a bottom like that. So will you send me the link in Messenger for that? I don't drink coffee, Do but I, I need a coffee cup. Oh, a coffee cup from Amazon? Oh, really? I don't drink coffee, but I do need something that lets me keep uh, water relatively warm on that thing because sometimes I'm needing warm water. And I don't want to have to always get out the tea kettle thing and do it that way. You know what you could do? Um, I haven't gotten one yet, but I've heard a lot of people, they get, you know those really big flat washers? Yeah, yeah. They get those and put them on their warmers, like here, like because your cup. A lot of people's cups have a little bit of like a little bit of a like a concave in it, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that makes it so that it doesn't heat well. Um, but anyway, but it so wouldn't crack my like regular old cup. It wouldn't crack it, no. It wouldn't get too hot. I mean, on that metal. No, no, no. Okay, okay. And you put the washer on here, and then you set your cup on top of it because it'll it'll even out and it'll 
So you get like, I think it's like a, it's like a seven, I don't know. It's like a, I don't know how big the washer is. You just get one that fits underneath your mug. I'll see Christopher out there in the shed today digging through the washer. Let's see if it I has to be one of the flat ones though. It's got to be flat metal, you know, like the, like, you know, obviously it can't be a thick one. <laughs> oh lady, you don't know how to send a link. <laughs> Do you know how to copy <laughs> <right>? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, something else. I'll find it for you if you want the mug. The mug is it expensive, Linda? I just want the links. I can put it in my wish list. Yeah, I'll find it for you. But I think it would be. Oh, I got a thermos. I never even thought about that, Ron. I'm so dumb. I found a thermos. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, what? Stanley thermos in there. I could have been using all this stuff. I never thought about a what? Oh, a thermos. Oh, uh -oh. yeah. A st and I've got the Stan Stanley kind, so they're stainless steel all the way through. You know. Yeah. Dwayne had that for work. He had it for years. I swear. Uh -huh. like I've got a big one and I've got a little one in there. I never once even thought, oh, I could just get that thermos. Out. <laughs> yeah. no. No, right? Let me tell you how crazy my ex was. Now, this is one of the reasons why we're we get became exes is he got mad one day over something and if you've ever seen a stanley thermos that's stainless steel it's stainless steel outside and inside and he got mad one day and he took that thing and hit himself in the forehead with it and dented that thing oh my god it was his forehead people oh now he never would really have turned on me or the kid but he would kick one time he got mad because he hit his head on the bathroom counter i mean bathroom the medicine cabinet door he got mad and he comes store. I was sitting in the living room. He comes storming through the living room and kicked his leg into the wall and went into the next people's apartment. <laughs> and he got stuck in the hole. And he's just looking at me like, will oh you help God. me? And I'm like, no, dumbass, you help yourself. <laughs> wow. We went out of it like $200. I had that wall fixed. And I'm oh talking broke as hell with two kids. <laughs> and we had to pay for that wall to get fixed. Jesus. That's the kind of, and one time he threw my, he, one time he got mad and he threw the, my, he threw my dining room, my, and I love that dining room set, and he threw the chairs to it across the walk, room into the wall, oh busted them up, busted them up into pieces, and he was the sweetest, calmest person, and then he would just lose his shit. All right, I want you to look at something, look at this what I found, I just bought two of them, because I need two, one for each of my coffee things, one for in here and one for in there. You put that instead of getting the washer for five ninety nine, you get that, and it goes on your on your coffee thing, and then your coffee mug sit on that because it's only like an inch and a half across or something like that. Yeah, that's what I need. See, because that'll keep it warmer, hotter. Yeah, because mine is one of the ones like that goes. To, it has like it goes up to one hundred and sixty seven degrees, and it like has different settings. And oh, so I, mine just comes on and off, and it doesn't keep stuff hot enough. It keeps it warm. Right. See, and it just comes on and off. It doesn't right. have any savings. Well, I'll send you the link to this, but yeah, I'm definitely, definitely. Thank you for using saving money because I really am going to get that thermostat. I've totally never even thought about it. The thermostat? Oh, the thermos thing. Yeah, I couldn't find a mug that she was talking about because I found like metal mugs, but they're not. I don't think that's what she was talking about. But the, that too does not work for all cups. Uh, oh, it might not work for all cups, but it'll probably work for my cups because I have big wide cups, but I think it'll work for most cups because my cups are pretty big and the bottoms of them are pretty big. So I think it'll work. Okay. And the cups I use have really big, I put it in the chat. So link to that. Okay, I've got it. I'm, I'm I think it'll work for my cup because I, have yeah, I don't drink out of the cup. So I don't care if it gets too hot. Yeah. I just need the hot water for projects. Yeah. And I don't want to have to get up every two seconds and go all the way to the kitchen to get me some hot water. Right. Thank you for the link, Stacey. You're welcome. Did you see my message where I got my beautiful book? What book? My book you sent me. I sent you a book? What book did I send you? The Greek book. Oh, duh. <laughs> Christopher, Christopher loves it, too. He said that was so cool. He loved it so much. Cool. Yeah, I sent you a message letting you know I got it and thank you. Oh, oh, that's right. You did. I'm sorry. I saw but, it. But I also know that. Uh, you don't always see all your messages. When I looked at it, I was half asleep. It was after it was after my auction. I was so tired, even though I didn't even get to sleep and didn't even fall asleep for like the longest time. 
but I saw it. It was it was it was either the next day. Was it that night that you sent it, or was it the next? Oh, night? I didn't know what the day was. I don't know what day. I, I don't remember, but at some point <laughs> I saw it. But I was like half asleep, so I didn't reply. And then today, oh, it's okay. I just wanted you to be sure that you knew I was so grateful. I like I'm bad at like I'll read somebody's message, and the problem is if I don't reply right then and there, I'll forget. And but it's a lot. To, I don't know why I bother even checking a message if I know I can't reply at that second. Yeah, that's and I do that all the time, and I'm like, damn it, I'm not going to reply right now. I have to do it later. And why did I even look at the message? <laughs> Why didn't I just leave it marked as new? Because then I'll, you know, see it later. And now I'm not going to see it. <laughs> no, I just want you to know that, that I do I do appreciate it so much. And to me, it's even prettier in person than it was on the camera when you were showing it. Oh, cool. The colors are even more vibrant. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty. Yeah. Yeah. Christopher loved it. He sat there for an hour looking at it. Cool. I think a lot of the imagery in it, I think I'm going to use in my star journal I'm going to make. Yeah. Yeah, because it'll be pretty in it. Are you gonna like scan it? I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna scan some. I don't want to cut that book up because it's too yeah, pretty. You know. Not yet anyway. I might eventually, you know, one day. Yeah. But right now it's new to me, so I don't want to cut it up. So I'm gonna I think what I'm gonna do is scan it in and then edit it in Photoshop a little bit just to right. tweak it a little and then print it and use the, the print in my book. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Is it is it an all metal cup, Linda? It's like colored, but it's like a stainless steel cup or whatever you call it, and then it has like a little wood lid. I I, I want to say maybe I did see that, or is it like ceramic with a metal bottom or something? I'm trying to see, because I seen one. Yeah, I see. There's one here with a it's a porcelain mug with a flat bottom, wooden handle. It's hot and cold. It's not metal though. It doesn't have a metal bottom, but it has the wood lid. Where's the other one that I saw? Oh, the cup of ceramic. Oh, I got you. I got you. Yeah, yeah. And I've seen the cup. Yeah, I've seen that cup. It's nice and flat on the bottom and it's got the lid. Yeah, I, I thought that was a cool looking cup. A little bit pricey, but nice cup. Linda, did you go to the sod farm? Was it fun? Oh, yeah. yeah. Sod farm. I think she said she did go a while ago. Oh, I've been missing her, I guess, because I've been off kilter somehow. With you guys. Where is that one? Oh, it's so lonely. What's lonely? When I'm off kilter with you guys. Oh, oh. I don't know how that happens, but it does, I guess. Or maybe y'all are off kilter to me. Maybe that's, that's right. the problem. <laughs> Probably. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so the only one I see is 14 ounce, and my, my cup's like a 22 ounce. I have a big ass cup. That's why I said it'll fit on that thing because my cups are huge. I like me a big cup. Yeah, my house cup that I use is great big. I mean, it's like this big around at the top. Hmm. You know, it tapers. Yeah. This big at the top. Actually, I'm going to go put on some water for tea. I will be right back. Okie dokie. So what I'm trying to achieve here, guys, is I'm wanting these two wires to be as symmetrical as I can get them. Kind of think of them as like a vase shape, you see? 
Mm -hmm. so i'm trying to even them up if that makes sense so that i i'm never gonna i'm not a machine so i'll never get them exactly exactly but i do i like this curve the best so i'm trying to take this wire and match that curve to the best of my ability oh okay. which i'm not saying is the best in the world but i'm just saying to the best of my ability makes sense to me And a lot of these uh, folks that I watch doing jewelry and stuff, they have all these very expensive tools and things that I'll never be able to get. So I watch what they do and then I try to replicate it with something that I can have that's easy on hand. So like these dowels in three different sizes, I just cut them. This is an idea for you guys because they use like metal, you know, stainless steel mandrels and stuff, which each individual oh. one is like 15 bucks oh, and then geez. if you want a kit they're over a hundred dollars for the kit so anyway long story short i look mm -hmm. at how they're doing things and i try to replicate it as best i can so mm -hmm. these are my mandrels which i just took some dowels i had and just cut them off on my little miter cutter and then oh. i think just lightly sanded the end so i wouldn't be constantly getting splinters in my fingers yeah. um, so that's an idea for you guys if you're wanting to try to do some of this stuff that you if you're like me and you can't afford to get every single fancy tool they have and of course theirs works better too because it's made for it so it's got the well, little yeah. slots and things which i could make some slots in this with my saw you mm -hmm. know but the problem with that it being wood eventually it's just going to keep wearing that wood down 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 whereas it's a bit stainless steel it doesn't do that of course but yeah, anyway, yeah. It, it, to me, good enough works good enough. What I'm doing. That's good that you and can of do that. I had, you know, unlimited income or whatever, I'd buy the fancy, but I don't. So. And right. you know what? Actually, I say that, and then I think to myself, would I really? Probably not, because I like to innovate and think of new ways to do something. You know? Yeah, so. instead of buying the. Yeah, just automatically mm -hmm. buying whatever. Yeah, I probably right. wouldn't automatically buy whatever. It burns my ass. You burnt yourself? No, this is a package that I sent to Debbie and it got returned to me. What is the deal with them returning packages to me all the time? There's no reason for this to be returned. What is the reason they gave? It says, cannot use a priority. Priority A, first class package. What? Why? I why? use it all the time. I don't understand. Yeah, why would they say that? I don't know. I have no idea. Cannot use priority. I don't know what that says for first class packages. What? I do all the time. What are you talking about? Ugh. Why do they care as long as it's got the postage paid for it? Who gives well, a shit what it's in? I don't know. Out, young lady. I don't know what the that's a good idea in the can and i do have some beeswax and a couple of other things i'll show you guys if i can find the beeswax i will show you um i don't know where i sat the beeswax but anyway a couple of my tools i do have be beeswax on the can but you have to be a little bit careful with that because um over time certain metals steel in particular which i use a lot of steel will turn black with beeswax um that's i mean it's on purpose thing people do it's called black and steel mm -hmm. uh but you have to be careful with using it you know like if i was to get it on this tool which is not a cheap tool it's like extremely expensive or anything but it's not something i want to mess up and let's say i had it on there and i didn't realize that over time it could blacken my tool and uh that can affect its performance so you have to be a little bit careful about that. But yes, in the can, you can take the beeswax and uh, rub it on some tools to make them easier to manipulate, have things slide easier. Yep, yeah, great idea. Just go in the box over there. I don't know why. Uh, which tool? Uh, this one is a bell. I use it for so much stuff, but technically it's for making bells. And this is just a nylon jaw one. This is a cheap one. It's not a great one. So 
this is the one that's a good, really good one. But I need to get some replacements, and they must have something to do with COVID. I cannot find uh, replacements for this that are in stock on the sites I've been to. They're all they have them. They're just out of stock. Uh, but see, I've worn it out because. Um, Mine's getting, mine's getting worn out too. Yeah, well, I use a lot of steel, which you know wears it down faster. Yeah. Um, so this is just me making do with something inexpensive for now, so I can get some replacement. Is that the tool you meant? Oh, um, they're called mandrels, and there's all kinds of mandrels, Rhonda, M-A-N-D-R-E-L-S, and they're mostly made of stainless steel and. There's punching mandrels, there's sizing mandrels, there's stainless steel straight mandrels, there's mandrels for chasing with a chasing hammer. There are mandrels that you use for a process called um, uh, Prusse, I think it's called Prusse, which is the opposite of chasing. It makes indentions upward instead of downward. And so there's all kinds of mandrels. And so most of the real, you know, the pros, they use stainless steel mandrels and I can't afford them so I just use dial rods. And it works out great for me because it's not something that takes up a lot of room either. Just sit them over here in this box and don't worry about it. Hold on, I'm, I gotta get my tea. Okay, so now I've got the inner part of the frame done. I'm going to take these ends right here and curl them in, I think, to make part of the backing. And eventually this will sit in here like this, and there'll be some different wire braiding and such. And then I think I'm going to put a bead in this area and a smaller bead in this area, but we'll see. That would be pretty. You make plans and then the plans sort of do what they're going to do. Yeah. <laughs> I love my, um, when I lived in the old house, Linda, we had Dutch doors. And I absolutely loved those doors. Because we had a screen. You know, screen doors for the uh, inside, and then you had the duck. No, no, the Dutch door didn't have a screen door. You could just open the top up, and you could see out. And then the back door had a screen door and a regular door. And I love that Dutch door. That's what we did at the our other house that we had everything basically done for that was gonna be the retirement home. We had the whole like when you walked in, if you came in the front door, then it had the big great room. So of course it was kind of like a TV room, kitchen dining, you know, just one big room. And then the back or back wall we had sliders but we had that whole back wall uh taken out and that was when the patio was built with the overhang and all that and then we had wind they put windows all through that and the french doors and everything a whole bunch of windows and all the light came through it was so nice but the interior doors janie in that old house we lived in the interior doors were pocket doors and the windows were all pocket windows. I loved those windows. Oh. Oh, they were so pretty and they were almost 100 year old glass. So they had that wavy look to them. Oh, yeah. Like yeah. old windows have. Oh, it was just so pretty to me. Nice. Hey, Morning, Debbie. Debbie.
I can't believe they sent that package back. That's crazy to me. I know. I know she needs to call the postmaster. I mean, we're, we're, I mean, what difference does it make what the package is as long as the postage is properly paid? I know. Care. That doesn't make sense at all. I wonder what their excuse was. <laughs> you know? Didn't want to take it. It got left behind and they wanted an excuse for why it got left behind. Yeah. Who knows? That's terrible. Yeah, I know. I <laughs> unbelievable. Plus, you know, that was the house we've been in the longest was 17 years. Because, you know, we had moved around before that and stuff. But it was all ready, you know, basically. And he retired uh, there. But we had tiled the, all the floors and we had that wall built. I had the patio. Um, she went to get her uh, tea. And everything, everything was done, you know. <laughs> completely in the yard of course you know i had okay. we did that worked on that all the time had all the plants and trees and um you know we had it up for sale and the first time and it sold like within two days then i'm like i don't want to go i don't want to go i don't want to go um and i remember having to call the realtor of theirs and explaining, you know, why and what went on. And they were nice enough to let us out of the contract. So that, that was, you know, and the weird thing was two years later, they were like, you know, Dwayne and Peyton Bo. I mean, they were like, you know what? If you don't go, we're going. <laughs> you can stay. You can do whatever you want, but we can't. We can't take this anymore. And well, what I mean, what was I don't know the story about what was going on that made you have to leave there. Neighbors <laughs> feuding. Oh, uh, with you. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, they were relentless little assholes, uh, and they weren't giving up either. So you know. Um, and before I, I was bad, just, um, but then I tried to, you know, try to just say, let's you now many times Dwayne and I both would say, you know, let's try to, you know, but no, um, if you, <laughs> you don't only have to listen to them once and you, you'd understand, oh my God, they're just, uh, and, um, what was their deal? What was their issue? Just any old thing, nothing really. Yeah, it had to be where everything was. You know, we had had to get security cameras and all that kind of stuff, which of course they hated. I would too, but they were stuff was starting to happen to the house, and you know, uh, <laughs> sorry, but it's just how it goes. And um, but then you know, it's kind of funny because we. We tried so hard to keep everything under wraps, you know, so they wouldn't know. And we did a really good job up until the very day that we moved out. And the neighbor across the street, the kid, now, it probably wasn't nice, but we used to call him the oaf. <laughs> he was an idiot, a true idiot. And he came out. This and we were like on the last um, packing of the truck. They were they were packing all our stuff up. We're like we're gonna get out of here. He came out, and he and the next door the kid. He was probably eighteen, something like nineteen. I don't know. And he had this stupid grin on his face. He went back in, and I went, oh no. He called them up. And the lady 
who, if you heard her, she sounded like the Wicked Witch of the West. It was horrible the way she was, oh my God, and the way she walked, and you, you would just, trust me, it was bad. And he went and called her at work. She was there instantly. I mean, boom, she was right there. She sat there in her driveway, looked over at us, and this cackle that came out of her went <laughs> right through you. And the guys that were moving, he'd come up and he goes, um, I hate to tell you this, but there's some lady that's in her driveway. It was your neighbor. She's sitting there looking at us, like laughing at something. Is something wrong with her? <laughs> Did you say yes? Yeah. Yes, there's something wrong with her. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was like, we, it was the worst thing that could happen because it was like that just left a feeling in you that. Yeah, it's like, you, okay, you got your way, you asshole. Why you guys sit there and gloat over it? Exactly. It was bad. Oh my God. I can tell it's down. right back. Hi, Kim. Yeah. But I understand you not wanting to leave there. When you got something that you love, a house you loved. Yeah, it was pretty bad. And the bad part was, too, is we were kind of friends with him. Of course, you know, Dwayne's like a antisocial. Well, he's kind of a little bit social now, but I mean, before it was just like, you know, Thank you. our whole marriage was like, you do what you want, you know, I'm staying behind, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, um, but, you know, uh, Peyton, we'd go over there and watch the dogs. Our dogs, we had a, that's where I get the black lab. And they had a lab mix. They'd have sleepovers. <laughs> it was just really weird because they just loved each other. And um, But I would watch the house, blah, 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 when they went on vacation several times. And um, I know, right? No. I don't think so. Well, actually, they were... Um, the people that bought it were investors. So they were uh, uh, renting, which they got like double the rent. I don't know how they did. Beats me how they got, you know, because really, you, you can't, I don't know how they did it. But um, yeah, so they, you know, with Peyton and everything, since she was what? Well, sir, when she was 11, and they actually would go and like they would call her a chink <gasps> yeah and to and go back where you belong and then she was a kid oh my god i know it was i couldn't believe they could be that and they when she we had her one of her birthday parties probably her only birthday party we had out in the backyard we were grilling out and and I look up and in their window, in their back window, she had drew a big picture of this face with slanted eyes. Oh my gosh. She put it for all the kids. And I went, oh, and uh, Darlene, she was, um, she's the one that had the stroke, one of my good friends, my friends, and she, uh, they always called her nanny and all the way through her grown up, she knew her, but she saw it too. And then I was like, uh, so we we're trying to get the kids all back in before anybody saw that. I don't, nobody said anything and I don't. Did you ever try to sue them for harassment or any stuff like that? Oh yeah, we did. We spent like $23,000 oh, and got nowhere. Why? I have no idea because you should have seen our stack of papers were, I mean, the way we went into court, we had everything documented and everything. And they had like nothing. But yet they still, our lawyer was like, well, you know, you're probably going to have to, you know, spend more if you really, because it's going to go in front of a jury and then. Now, if that doesn't, it could land, you know, and we, at that point, we had so many problems with police and everything. It's, it, 
I don't know. It was almost like you were in a movie and they were on their side and had no reason to be. It was the weird, it was the craziest thing. I, so I don't know how you kept your tip from losing your temper. It was weird. Especially with the myth of my kid shit. But I'm glad you did. I'm glad you didn't because you could have got yourself in jail or something. But exactly. And that's that's the thing. It's like, and she, you know, later on we found out um that she followed Peyton to school, which was probably oh my too gosh. Bad. That yeah. ought to be that ought to be um that's like stalking a little kid. I know, and she would go real slow and yell at yell out the window at her and everything. And I said, uh, I wish oh. I, we would have known this. This is crazy people. Something. And we had her like on video, um, leaving for work and driving up on our lawn, which anybody could have been standing there, and then driving back down and yelling things which you couldn't hear, but you could see. And then when she came home from work, same thing, around and came up, and, you know, and none of this mattered. We heard all that. Oh, my God, it was horrible. It was horrible. Well, I just spent the last, like, 20 minutes looking for a bottle of something that I just bought that I can't find. Disappeared in this freaking shithole of a house, as usual. I never have any help getting it cleaned up, so then everything gets lost. Oh. It comes in the door. Not another goddamn twenty dollar bottle of something that's missing in this house that I'll find where I don't need it. Did you say that package you just got back was for Debbie or for Darla? It was for Debbie. Well, Debbie's here just so you. Yeah, your package got sent back to me, so now I got to resend it because now all of a sudden they decided that I can't send a first class. Whatever. I can't send the package first class, apparently. I don't know. Idiots. Send it back out again. I'm going to need some help. Keep charging more and more money, and then they want to screw you over at the same time. Yeah. I'm sure it got all the way up to where it needed to be, too, before then, because it's been gone a while. So, why they couldn't just. That's send a, it. You know, they probably, I wonder what their excuse would be i mean me. i used a priority package and sent it first class well i've always done that i didn't know any different i've sent it from the post office like that and the postal person there never said a word so i didn't well, you know yeah so whatever they're a bunch of idiots just doesn't make sense it doesn't sense. make sense wow wow more aggravated right now that I can't find that stuff that I bought specifically to have for this time of year and now I have no idea where it is again and it'll probably be forever before I find it because I'm sure it's like lost under stuff somewhere was it the crap what you bought food. it's that paste stuff that I bought that remember I didn't have it mine was dried up I looked all over to see if I had yeah. another one I didn't I bought another one for twenty dollars because that's how much the shit costs and, and now it's gone oh my god I just bought it literally just bought it just got it in the mail a couple days ago yeah and you were just saying about it oh maybe it's in the car no it's not in the car why would it oh be in the car God. i bought it i, I put it online we stopped in the car to check our mail and i thought well maybe you oh, stopped no. It. no it's in the house because i had it in the house i just don't know where the hell it disappeared to it got put oh, down somewhere and now i have no idea where it is so oh. i think somebody would get off their ass and help me but never nobody ever gets off their ass to help me with nothing no, they'd be like, oh, no, mm -hmm. I'll never get. Yep. Well, I watch TV 24 hours. Like, a day okay, you know what? Did he, did he start his new job? He starts it next week because they had, they screwed something up. I don't know. Whatever. Well, okay, I guess I'm not working on that thing. I'm too aggravated with that to worry about it. Because I wanted that stuff and now I don't care to work on it. So, screw it. I'll do something else. God. Mm. Aggravating. I'm so tired of living in this house. Like, I really just want to move just so I don't have to deal with it anymore. Yeah. Because I can't take it. 
because I don't have any help. Like I have nobody that helps me. And then when I do ask for help, all I get is yelled at. So I don't bother half the time. What's the point? And I can't do it by myself. I just don't have the ability to, to, to get this all situated. And so it just keeps getting worse and I get a little bit done and then it just goes back to the way it was. And I just, you know, it just keeps going and going and going. I can still help you next week. <laughs> Yeah, but yet, but this, these are things you can't help with. There's nothing you could do here. You'd stand there and go, I don't know what to do with any of this. You know what I mean? Like, oh, you, I, you I have just to, think I could sit in a chair like at the dining table and be scrubbing <laughs> and wiping things down while you put it away. There's nothing, you know, it's, it's like, uh, trust me, like, it's so impossible that it's ridiculous. Okay, well, don't I mean, mean, like, I wish, I wish there was, like, if it was the garage or something, that's different. But because it's up here and things have specific places to go that nobody yeah, else I can put it away, but I can wipe it off while you decide. There's nothing to wipe. Everything, you know, there's nothing to wipe because there's no surface to wipe because every surface is covered. Every uh, surface is covered well, except for I'm sorry. Camera. I can't help you with that. But I wish that I, you know, like, I just want to burn the house. We down. do our housekeeping, like, Christopher brings me the stuff off the shelf, and while I sit and wash it and wipe it off, he washes the shelf, and then he takes it. Put, and you know what I mean? That's how we yeah. do it. Yeah, it's more or yeah, less like it wasn't that it easy. Wiped down because it's just shit that needs to. Get, every little thing needs to be put in a different place. Yeah, yeah. it's not really knickknacks; it's just piles of stuff. Right. And then I have auction stuff up here because this is where I'm packing it, and because you know I wish I could pack it downstairs, but I just don't have the motivation to sit down there and do it. And right. I, so I do it up here and things are just everywhere. I'm just tired of dealing with it to the point where I don't even care anymore. And mm -hmm. I just want to sell my house so I can start over again. <laughs> it's easier than trying to organize this, honestly. Yeah. yeah. That's what <laughs> like, really you're reading. She'll say, oh, I, you need an organizer. I go, uh, no, I don't. And, I, and she says, well, they could, I go, no, <laughs> see, that would be worse because they don't understand. I mean, what, what are they going to do? Yeah, I could take all this stuff and shove it somewhere too, you know, but they could find maybe the best way, but not my way and right. not the right way, but you know what I'm saying. And uh, well, when it comes goes, to things like that, okay, it's hard. Mm -hmm. Like I couldn't go into somebody's craft room and organize it for them unless they wanted me to be the one to organize it all mm -hmm. not like, or whatever their hobby is. You can't, you can't. It's so impossible to organize somebody else's hobby room because you don't yeah. know what they need near them, what they need around them, how to organize it, where to put it. That's going to be right. useful for them unless you really know the hobby they're doing. Yeah. And even if you do, sometimes everybody has their own preferences. So it's really hard. So when it comes to a craft room, you know, mm -hmm. like, but because my living room and dining room area is the catch all of everything in this house. <laughs> It's yeah. so hard to get anything done because there's nowhere to move things. So if I move something, where am I going to move it to? There's nowhere. Exactly. To there's nowhere to go. Okay, I'm going to move all this stuff over here so that I can clean this. There's no over here to move it to because over mm -hmm. there, there's a whole shit ton of stuff too. So you have yes. nowhere to go. You're just stuck, and that's what's the most discouraging about it. Is mm -hmm. I'm stuck because I, I, you know, the more I try to put things away. It takes me hours and hours and hours to get everything put, get just a very few things put away. And then I go back out and it's like, I have other things. And by the time I get other things done, it's a week later. And now the shit is back again because it's yep. more shit or whatever the case, you know, it's like, it seems to be never ending. I seem to get so far and then it stops mm -hmm. and I just yeah. can't deal with it anymore. I'm just over it. Yeah. Like I don't even give a shit at this point. Yeah. I just don't give a shit because I'm so tired of dealing with it. I'm tired of looking at it. I'm tired of, you know, having nobody to help me, which was like the, which was the biggest kick in the teeth about the whole thing is that I thought that, you know, Chris would be able to help me, but he's unable to help me because he doesn't give a shit about nothing, but sitting right. there and either smoking pot or sitting on the couch. And if I ask him to help me, all I get is an argument or I get yelled at, or I get frustrated with him because he starts like stupid bullshit every time. Yeah. Just and it just gets to a point where I don't care anymore. You yeah. know what I mean? I just don't care. And and I I feel like if I don't, you know, like I already want to sell the house anyway. I want to get the hell out of here anyway. So what's the point? You know, I don't care. I'm not going to worry about whether or not I have to show the house. I can care. I can give a shit. I'm going to be like, look, I know what this house is worth. You know what the house is worth. I ain't going to worry about cleaning it up to show it because I have no way of doing that. Unless I literally yeah. removed everything from this house, which I can't <laughs> afford to do and I'm not doing. 
Mm-hmm. So take your pictures, get, get somebody in here, show them the house. They'll want it because they, they this area is a hot area. As right. long as I have enough to buy the house I want up north, then I don't give a shit. You know what I mean? I don't care. I'm not looking to, to get an extra $5,000 because the house is cleaned up and somebody wants to offer me more money. No, just give me enough yeah. to get the hell out of here and not have a mortgage. I don't really care. Yeah. You know what I mean? Exactly. Like, I really don't give a shit. I just want, I just want out. Yep. Because at least if I get the hell out of here, I don't have to deal with this. Because I won't have to deal with it. Because at that point, if it's all empty, I can do it. And you know what I mean? Like, it'll be easier to do. Like, exactly. I, it, the only way I can stay in this house is if somebody took every sing, single thing out of this house up, that's upstairs. And I have to put it back. And I have space to put it back. Because, yeah. and, and, and a place to put it back the right way. But because things are like everywhere it's it's too discouraging you know what i mean like i just cannot get it done and then on top of it get everything else i need to do done on top of that have two or three days where i don't feel good on top of that have chris sitting on the couch all the time who doesn't do shit and i have to constantly tell him to get up off his ass to do anything and it's just discouraging i just don't want to do it it's i just don't care like that i mean whether that's i maybe that's depression i don't know but it's just been really bad and I'm no. just over it so much. I just want out of here so bad. Yeah. Yeah. There's only one thing that's standing in my way from putting this house up on the market. And that's the, the issue with the downstairs because of that wall that I told you about that was leaking. Well, we had somebody come out and look at it and he said, it's not the chimney. So it's not the, it's not the chimney. He said, what it is, is he said the next to the foundation of the house, like where the cement is, he goes, water's getting in. Now, this is where I had an issue with the people that did the basement because I wanted to waterproof that and they put the drywall up and didn't let me waterproof it. And I told him specifically, don't put Mm -hmm. that drywall up until, you know, like make that a stopping point one night. I said, because before you put up the drywall, make that the thing you do, you know, the thing you're going to do the next day and let me know. And I'm going to go down there and waterproof it with the stuff, the spray stuff. Right. And then you guys can come the next day and put the insulation in the drywall up. Well, they forgot and they never let me put the waterproofing in. Well, guess what? Well, now we have water that's seeping through the wall and Mm. it needs to be taken care of. And so now we have to have somebody come and dig around the outside of the house to waterproof the outside of where that is, which it's not a big spot. So whatever, but that has to be fixed first. And that's not going to be that much money, I don't think. So, I mean, it's not that big of a job. So, I mean, but it's just frustrating. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. No, instead of, instead of being grateful, he's, he feels like he's entitled, I think. Well, let me ask you a question, Stacey. If you're just going to wind up taking him with you to New Jersey. Oh, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. Oh, okay. No, no, no. No, I'm going by myself. I can't, I can't live with him. I can't do that anymore. No. No, I can't because he's, he's, it's too much. It's too much because his, you know, he, I can't, I can't deal with it. It's like, it's like living with a self centered 12 year old. I just can't do it anymore. You know what I mean? Like, I just can't. Yeah, well, I just, thought, I just thought, I don't know. Somehow I got the impression he was going to be going I, with Well, you. initially I had mentioned. No, I was that like, wasn't well, I just taking the same problem with you? <laughs> no, initially, if I could have gotten like a house with an in law suite or something where I didn't have to be around him. Right. Yeah. But at this point in time, I, I really, I just, I gave up on that pretty quickly because I just can't deal with it. I Thank, just you, can't deal with it. Thank you, Debbie. Use that rolling stuff. Yeah. See, that's what I was going to use. That was the plan was I, I had, I said to the guy, I specifically said to him from the get go, when you get to the point where you're right before you're going to put the drywall and stuff up, let me know and make it a stopping point for your night. And then I'll go down there after you guys leave. I'll put it on. I was going to do it myself because they wanted to charge me like $1,200 to do it. I said, no, I'll do it myself. So as I, I'm not stupid. I know how to do it. And I said, I'll do it myself. It's fine. Just let me know. Get, let me blah, blah, blah. So they never did. I went down there the one night and there was the drywall up. And I was like, are you fucking kidding me? I'm like, did he? and so then I messaged him and he was like, oh, 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 sorry. I guess they forgot. And there, I was like, okay. I so now what do we, and so I was like, well, now what do I do? Oh, mm-hmm. I'm sure it'll be fine. He says. Yep. And I'm like, yeah, but I needed to do that. I said, that was important. 
And he just, he no like, oh, do you want us to come and remove the drywall? But, uh, you know, nothing, no a desire to make it better. Yeah. And so now we have a leak and it's like, oh, figures. So now I got to deal with that. Hmm. It's just frustrating. It's all very frustrating. I'm so over like frustrated. Every day I wake up frustrated and I go to bed frustrated. <laughs> Sorry. No, that's, that's all right. I don't mean to like harp on this. No, no. I'm glad you convinced us. Yeah. I'm just sorry it's happening. Your head's going to blow off. And I just, I do. I completely understand. Yep. You know, and that's why I try to say, you know, I don't try to sound, I'm not trying to sound braggy about it. I'm just trying to acknowledge how lucky I know I am to have the people in right. my life I have. No, I know. Because I, 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 I mean, I'm so disabled at this point. If it was left to me to totally clean my house all the time, which I have a sm very small house compared to yours, uh, it would never get done. Yeah. Because I can't, I mean, you know, I, I with this arthritis in my back and all that, I can barely stand and wash the sink of dish, you know, right. a sink of well, dish. Now I am, and I can't. Yeah, and you're having to do it by yourself, and see, I'm not having to do it by myself. It just takes me so long to do no, one thing. No, I know, Stacey, I know. And then yeah, I have to sorry. concentrate on trying to get, you know, the stuff I need to do done, which is work-related stuff that I have right. to get done. And so that stuff is like non, it's not an important thing because me cleaning my house isn't going to pay my bills. You know what I mean? No, I know. So yeah. it's like, you have to set the know? priorities that you know you can accomplish. Right. I totally understand. But you know, it's just, I just want out of here. I'm so over it now. All right. You know, I don't want you to go, but if you got to do what you got to do. Yeah. Well, I mean, I've, I, you know, it's not a matter of, take, don't take him with you. <laughs> it's not a matter of going, you know, and there's a possibility I would stay in Tennessee, well, near Tennessee, potentially right over the border in Kentucky, because I found some houses there too. But I'm thinking more and more that it, you know, I might end up up north, but it, there is still a possibility I'll end up here. It's just, I don't, I just don't want to mortgage anymore. I don't want to worry about this stuff anymore. I don't want to feel like well, you would listen to me and, Murfreesboro is such a nice little town. And yeah, got... Murfreesboro doesn't have houses that are in my price range. Oh, it doesn't? Okay. No. I don't know nothing oh, yeah. about the housing market. I know Shelbyville and Milton and Las Yeah, I've looked, in, I've looked in a lot of places. I, you know, I, Las Cass has a lot of pretty houses that are not expensive. Yeah. I, I'm picky <laughs> about what I want, but at the same time, I found several that I want. Like, I was showing, I'll show you, like, the other day, I was showing, you know, I've, I found tons of houses I want, like tons, um, you know, some of them here, oh, but see, not crazy. any that are in like middle Tennessee, because anywhere you're near the city, they're going to be more expensive. Okay. You're going to get less house for the money. And I yep. don't want to settle for a thousand square feet when I'm going. No, no, you're going to get nice size houses, houses like out in the country, like Milton, Las Casas. Yeah, I, yeah, Shelby, I know. I mean, believe me, I've combed every single house on realtor.com. Every house that's for sale in the area, I have seen it. I've been to it not been to it, but virtually looked at it. Trust me, I've, I've combed the state of Tennessee. And yes, I have found some things, but you know, I've also found way better things in other places. Like up in New Jersey, I found houses where I'd have a built-in pool with 2000 square feet or more. And you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, in, in, in South Jersey and Vineland, which is actually where my sister is. So it's like, you know, and I found some here, but, uh, you do what's best for you. I'm just voicing my not liking it. <laughs> no, I know. I know. I mean, but really, honestly. But of course, it's that you, I still hadn't been to see you, so. <laughs> but honestly, besides you, that you, that's the only thing I would have here. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't have nothing here. I have no family, no friends, no nothing. I have nothing sure. here. Nothing. So being here, to me, is useless. It's useless. The friends I did have all moved away and like either that or, you know, they moved away or they, you know, got too busy and I got too busy and they're, you you know, apart. Was, yeah. And, and we just drifted apart or whatever. But I mean, everybody's, you know, doing their own thing, but either way, I just never found a connection here with anybody, really not anybody that's close enough where I can be, you know, have them around without it being a hassle. 
You right. know what I mean? Like, I don't want to have to have my friends drive an hour and a half to come see me. It's ridiculous or vice versa all the time. It's just crazy to me. And I just don't really agree with the people that live in Tennessee. So it's not like I'm going to become friends with my neighbors because they're all waving Trump flags. And I'm over here. Ugh. You know what I mean? Like, I just want right. to go away. Like, leave me alone. Yeah. I don't want to deal with it. You know what I mean? It's not my thing. I don't, you know, it's just not my thing. I don't want to hear about how, oh, I'm not getting the vaccine because it's going to kill me. You know, like if I hear that, I want to punch them. You know what I mean? Like that's my my thought in my head. So I can't be friends with that. You know what I mean? Yep. Because I can't. I just can't. You know, the reason I'm in that, Tennessee, Stacey, is because that's where Jeannie right. is. <laughs> right. But you have, right. But you have your son and you have Jeannie and you have people around you that right. you can relate to. Whereas I don't. Right. You know, I don't have anybody here that I can relate to. And I don't care to meet anybody else here because i'm just like well i'm just over it you know yep and it's just so it's just frustrating you i know you understand but it's just i don't feel i get I'm, all of it i totally understand all of it i, I just don't feel like this is my home around yep, here i know exactly what you mean it's not mine because hmm. like i've told you before if if the opportunity came up right this minute that I, we would move to north carolina i'd be packing my shit up so fast your head would swim Right. Oh, yeah. it was, this is not my preferred place. It doesn't feel like home to me. Right. It doesn't me either. Nope. It's not my cup of tea. The things that are to do here are not my cup of tea. Right. You know, uh, and being on the water is my life, you know, gives me life. Yeah. Yep. Everything that I love to do. The thing, yeah, that's the thing. The water, too. being outside, being... Mm -hmm. You know, fishing, swimming, boating, all that. Yeah, and that's another thing. Like, I I miss the ocean. I miss going to the beach. I yep. miss smelling the ocean air and having the option. Even if I don't, you know, you know, I don't have to live on the beach. I don't have to live, you know, I don't, it doesn't have to be like that. Oh, yeah, we didn't live on the beach, but we were 30 minutes from it. <laughs> right, and I have lived on the beach. I mean, I, ha I lived in places that were literally a block from the beach, and, and that's all fun and great. But I just like, you know, if I, if I could, even if I have to drive an hour to it, that's fine. But if I moved to Vineland, I'd be real close to the beach. But, I mean, it's just, I'm nope. just tired of being landlocked. It's so boring around here. God, and it's boring. The tourists, they, they cater so much to tourists in Nashville. Yep. They're they not, not anybody live here. No, there's no you no live here, they don't give a shit. If you're a tourist, they care. Everything they do in Nashville, it's not for the people that live in Nashville. It's for the right. tourists. A hundred percent. And everybody that I know agrees with that. I totally agree with it. There's nothing here. So where I'm from, we had community centers where you had arts and crafts and theater and right you know, all kinds of things to do that were interesting to me. And here, there's just none of that. Right. Mm -hmm. If it if it exists here, and I'm not saying anything, I'm glad they have it. But right. if it exists here, it's for the elderly people. Right. You know, it's the elderly community center and the you know, which I mean, they don't they would block me from going. But honestly, that's not my crowd. Right. You know, I love older people. I just don't want to go hang out with 70 year olds at the community. Center. Does <laughs> yeah, that make sense? Yeah. I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. I'm just saying that's just what, you know, it's no, not I, what I'm used to. Right. No, I completely, I understand completely. But it's just, you know, it's, it's, it's just, I just don't feel like Tennessee has anything to offer me here. And I'm sick of it. And, and I'll tell you right now, I 100% know for a fact that it's because I'm here that my health got so bad. Oh, yeah, I agree. You know, I, see, I when I was, that way. Well, uh, because, I mean, I was on the go constantly because I was swimming, fishing, boating, right. hiking. I used to jog and run two mm -hmm. and three miles at a time. And somehow once I moved away from home and wound up in Kentucky and Tennessee, all of that went out the window. Yeah. Well, I was it's still a pain in the ass butt. here to go to the water. Here. It's a pain in the butt because you have to hunt and hunt for somewhere that's not covered in duck shit. Right. Oh, and, yeah. Or boulders the that you can't pass. Here. The lakes are so gross. And, and the fishing sucks because the bank fishing here sucks and I don't have a boat here. Yeah. Whereas at home, I didn't have a boat either, but guess what? I had 15 friends with boats. Right. <sighs> yep. No, we... Ha, you know, like, 
I, I mean, I was active here. Of course, I had my business here, and, and that was did really well and everything. And if and, and you know what, if I had my cleaning business, I think I'd probably stay just because I made really good money at that, and I you know made more you money. Out, you know, hit people and yeah. But now that I'm not, and I'm kind of like always home. I don't meet anybody. I don't see anyone. I don't meet anybody. I I don't go out. I don't want to go out, really. But I mean, I don't. I don't, I just, there's nothing here for me. It was different when I was interested in the music scene here more and was singing and singing with bands and doing this. It was different. You know, it was more, it was more exciting, more fun, but that was all it had to offer. And once that was gone, it was like, all right, now what? You know, there's nothing here. What do I care? You know what I mean? There's absolutely nothing here. And so that's when it started to become like, ugh. you know what I mean? Like, I don't really want to be here. I totally get all of it, Stacey, but I just want you to know that, I'm almost always available to help you with stuff. So no, I know. I, I know I'm a terrible help, but I can do something. No, you're not terrible. It's not that. It's just I feel like it would. I just feel like it would waste your time and mine because it will your time mostly because you know it's like you wouldn't even know where to start in here. That's how bad it, it can be. I mean, it's not like dirty or anything. It's just stuff, you know. And, messy. And like, it's gotten messy. It, yeah, it's it's gotten like just stuff. Right. Everywhere. And yeah, I, get Chris, it. I mean, Chris did do a really good job cleaning the kitchen. I he was very happy that he did that. He did clean off all the counters and get everything real nice, which was fine and great. And I appreciated that. But, you know, like that's there's more to it. That's only part of the house. Yeah, right. But and I know he can't do the rest of the stuff. He can't do the, my stuff without me there. I get that. And I, and I understand that. But when I ask him to help me, that's where I get like pushback. And it's kind of frustrating because I don't. You know, I, I'm just tired of being argued with over. I know you have to do what you have to do, but I would really try your best if you can. If you can go without him, try to. Because oh, to me, I feel like that's just if you wind up having to take him with you, that just no, I'm not. He's he's not he said he'd help me move and stuff, but he's not, he can't live with me. I just can't do it anymore because I realized like ever since he moved in. I've been nothing but depressed and aggravated and annoyed and and I just can't. He's he brings everybody down because he's just I'm depressed. I'm depressed. It's like Jesus, you know. I, yeah, I got my own problems. I don't, you know. You've been depressed since you were 16 years old. I can't help you with that. It's not something right. I can do anything about. Right. And you can't. And if he's not willing to help himself, it's it can't yeah, be helped. I can't. I can't. You know I can't what I mean? That's one of those things. You know, I'm there with him on that with my medication yeah. and all that. But I have to be willing to help me. Right. Nobody else can do it. And I, you know, and I understand depression. I'm not trying to be like, oh, no, 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 I know what you're but, saying. It's like my mom, you know, it's like my mom. She had all these people and all these programs and stuff trying to help her. And she had medications and she just refused to take her medicines right. And, you know, if you don't help yourself, nobody else can do it to you. Right. Unless we institutionalized her, which we did several times, but that only lasted for, you know, minimal time and then she'd be right back to the way she was yeah and that's just because she would get in her head i don't need that medicine blah 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 i don't need that therapy i don't need to go right. to that doctor blah 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 and next thing you know she's right back to where she was right and chris is that kind of that way he yeah so i mean he didn't, that's not the, to, he didn't take any initiative to go and get himself the help he she needed. would get in her head that she was she had cured herself she was oh fine. yeah she didn't need that medicine and initially i was you know i thought about having chris come with me because most and like if, if i got a house that had like a mother-in-law apartment or whatever i thought you know i was mostly thinking of him for his family because his he's got all his family up there and his dad's had a stroke and he's like you know an invalid basically and his grandmother was like like you know like on her deathbed and it's like i was more or less trying to think of like willow winnie and willow get out right now they're, they think they're playing in here now <laughs> They're pushing their luck. But, like, you know, I was more or less thinking because of his family, like, you know. Well, well he'll have to take care of that for himself. And also, right, but also the, I'm afraid if he's here by himself in Tennessee that he's going to do things he shouldn't be doing. Well, Stacey, you can. And I know that. I get it. I know. Don't even have to say anything. I know. But it was just in my head for a hot minute, and then I decided, you know what, I can't worry about that. Nope. You Not know, anymore. I can't. I can't. You've got to look out for you. Mm -hmm. I've always you gotta I've look out for your health and your energy level and all that. Yeah. And yeah. So 
So I, 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 mean, I just can't worry about whether or not he's going to do something stupid and end up doing some sort of drug or doing something dumb. And, well, you know, you don't have a soul down here. If I leave, he ain't got nobody that gives a shit because anybody, any one of his friends are all garbage, you know? Well, I mean, those are friends he chose. So, yep. Yep. And I know, it would, I know you would be heartbroken and, and, and upset if something happened to him, but it's caught to the point now where you have got to look out for you. Yep. And you can't be you can't be sacrificing things that you need to get done for you in order to protect him. That doesn't work that way. And right. it's not it, it, and it's not making him do anything better anyway. It's really no. not. Mm-mm. No matter and I know that your heart's in the right place because you don't want nothing to happen, but right. You know, uh he he's a grown man and he'll deal with it. And he and the friends he has is the friends he chose, so right. No, I yeah. know. Anyway, that's one of the that's my favorite house that I've found so far. But I found tons of houses up there that are isn't that, that cute? Was adorable. I love that porch. God, I love that porch. Wait. Oh God, I love it. Oh, I love you that. Know. See, that's my favorite thing about here is our screen in porch. Yeah. But that's the house that I was like, oh <laughs> I just love it. And it's it's I know the area that it's in and it's you know, it's in a nice decent area with you know room between the houses you got a little you know you got some yardage and you know it's a it's a nice house the older house but you know it looks like it's very well kept obviously oh yeah it's, it's gorgeous i love everything i love all the details in it mm -hmm. obviously they have it decorated a little cluttery which is fine i would you know i would definitely rip out any carpets and put hardwood in but it's there's probably hardwood underneath the carpet you know, well, right now, as hot as this real estate market is, it's probably time to put yours on. Somebody well, was telling me that the houses are selling for astronomical prices. And look, here's the sun porch on the back. But, um, yeah, I'm putting my house, you know, as soon as I get that one thing fixed, that's the only thing that really is, needs to be fixed. And then has, look, a claw foot tub. And I know this house probably won't be available, obviously, when I go to buy, but it's it, it, the fact that this was even an option and several of the houses I found that I was like, whoa, this is like, I can get that. Like, I was under the impression that if I sold this house, I wasn't going to be able to buy anything. I just assume that houses in the in the north like that are in the million dollar ranges. Not all. No, there are some that are like higher price, but no, not in certain. Like you can, you can find some. You know, like I are you used to watch one of those shows. I don't remember the name of it on HGTV where they would go look for real estate, and it always yeah. was like nine hundred thousand oh, dollars. Yeah, oh my god, California. the house is not even as big as my apartment, and you're talking about nine hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, if you're in California or like certain parts of New Jersey and then like Boston and like New England area, yeah, you're that's what you're talking. But here, you know, no. But when I, I saw the picket fence and I was like, oh my God, it even has a picket fence. It's so pretty. Mm, I love that house. Well, I think now it's time for you to put yours up for sale because the market is hot. Yeah. Yep. And I'll show you, there's a couple of them. I'll show you another one that I found. I actually, I found several that were just, uh, to die for. And they're all over New Jersey. I don't give a crap where they are. Some of them are in New Jersey. Some of them are in, um, right over the border in Pennsylvania, which is fine by me. Um, which is not far. Uh, How far would you be from your sister and stuff if you were living in where this area is? What's this area? The area of the little house. About uh, how Probably a half hour. Oh, wow. Really? You'll be that yeah. close? That'll be awesome. Yeah, probably half hour max. Um, so there's some like up in northern Pennsylvania, which is right across the border from where I grew up. Um, but those houses, unfortunately, they're as gorgeous as they were and is in the price range. They had HOAs that were really strict. No I way. Out, I'm not, I, I would never that. do that. Yeah, I won't do that. I'm like, no, 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 no. I'm not doing that kind of thing. I don't I'm not having somebody tell me what decorations I can put on my yeah. house. No, yeah, that's why I was like, uh-uh, I'm -uh, doing that. Uh, where did one house go? There it is. Hang on. I'll throw a couple up that I can find here so that I can show you real quick. But I found, like, I did find just, like, tons and tons and tons of nice houses. 
Oh now, uh, northern Pennsylvania is more rural, isn't it? Like more country type. Yes, it's very like mountainy, kind of resort like, yeah. kind of like Ridgetop where I live, kind of. I was like, because like, I'll, I'll show you one of the houses I found up there, but and there was just tons and tons and something. The one I, the one of the ones I found was so cute, but because of that HOA, I was like, oh. And even though I talked to the realtor already because I asked him about it. And he's like, well, he goes, if you don't like really strict rules, then run. He goes, when you see HOA up here, run. Well, goes, Jenny hey, had a friend and she was in HOA and she put, they had like what you could have for decorations or whatever. Right. And they put a note on her thing telling her she had to take her and all she had was white lights. Yeah. Oh, she yeah. I don't doubt it. some of the best ones that I saw. My ideal outside of the house look is the one that I first showed. I love the way that style of house looks on the outside. I do too. I love Sometimes that. on the inside, depending on the house. Um, but you're trying to go smaller though, right? It won't be so no. hard to keep up. Uh -uh. I'd rather go either this size or bigger. Oh, really? For my business. Yeah, because I need to still have a business and I still need room for it. And I don't want to feel like I'm cramping that into half the size. Oh, I see what you're saying. The size saying. of the house though, is never a problem for me. That's not the issue. I don't mind cleaning my house and this and that. That's the problem here is that because of the way my house is set up, it's hard for me to have the space that I need to like... Are your rooms, I can't remember, it's been too long, but are they kind of odd shaped? Yeah, yeah. Most yeah. of them are kind of odd shaped because of the fact that the house is round-ish. But they do make good use of space in this house. It's just, you know, because the house the house is like hexagon or whatever it is, it, it's like weird shaped. Um. There's just, you know, there's lots of opportunity, which is why I was, I was really surprised by how much opportunity there actually was. Um, or, you know, like how many nice houses there actually was to, to get. And even some that were, like I said, in Kentucky and right over the border in Kentucky. You know. It's just well, I live in Kentucky, and if you don't like Tennessee, you're really going to fucking hate Kentucky. Yeah, that's the thing. Like I, don't, I did not like Kentucky at all, and I was there for well, five, yeah. four and a half, five years. And that's the thing. Like, I don't really want to move. I mean, if you already know you don't like Tennessee, you are not going to like No, Tennessee. I know I'm not. I know it's not going to be any different. I know that. But my doctors would be here. I'd have... Uh, access to the creative reuse you know what i mean but yeah yeah, yeah. And I have a mortgage, so that would be one plus you know what right I, mean? I don't yeah, care yeah. about that. you gotta weigh what's good and what's bad right and that's the thing weighing what's good what's bad figuring it out you know that's the that's the main situation is weighing the good with the bad and figuring out what's gonna, gonna work best for me yeah. and you know and what's gonna i just be. wanted you to know though oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. And it's not going to change the fact that yeah, it's still it's still what it is. Yep. But if I wanted, if I thought I about it, you know, yeah, what I did like about Kentucky is they had, um, it felt more like wide open spaces, kind of. Right. Yes. Even and though we lived the in the were. city limits, I didn't feel like people were right on top of me like I do here. Right. Right. Well, so it, I mean, does, it didn't like, have that feeling more like a country type place instead right. of being right in the city, but even though we were in city limits. Right, right. Yeah, and I, that's the how a lot of the houses I found were on like three and four acres. That's why I was like, hmm, you know, I, don't, I wouldn't have to worry about having any neighbors. I just, right. you know, whatever. But again, you know, 
it, it was just that option. I was just looking around just to see. There are that was, beautiful oh. places in Kentucky, really pretty Kentucky. Yeah. Places. But as yeah. far as living there, nope, wouldn't do that again. Yeah. No, I don't want to. It was. It's just a matter of well, you know, it depends on how things are going and what happens. Right. And when you get, do you know what if you went to? If you if you went to New Jersey, does that mean that you would have to give up the creator for use, or you already know yeah. where? They're... No, I'd have to give that up and find another thing. Either find, you know, find something else, or because there I look, there's not really much in the way of creative reuse up there. There's there is like if there is, it's not the same as here. Right. I won't have the same opportunity, so that's that's another problem. But if I don't have a mortgage and you know, I, I'll figure that out. Right. I, I'm very resourceful. I'm not overly worried about it. Right. Um, because I'm pretty resourceful and I usually figure a way out no matter what. So <laughs> I'm not somebody who's afraid to try something new. So, yeah. you know, I just can't You're do anything. You're a survivor else. like me. Right. Yeah. I'm a survivor. I, I make do with what I got to do, you know, but I'll do what I got to do. That's basically what that comes down to. <laughs> All right. So I found some. Let's see. So the other house that I liked, besides that one I showed you, the second oh, one on my list was also in New Jersey. Um, <coughs> I can just show you my screen, I guess. It'd be easier to do this and then pull it into here. So this was the other one. Did you see him? Oh, that's pretty. That's gorgeous. Yeah. So that was the other oh, one. Trees out there. Yeah. The only thing I didn't like about this one is that it's it's, on, it's got the you're a little closer to your neighbor here, but you know. I love the color of that one though with the brick. Mm -hmm. Oh gosh, that's gorgeous. That. I know that's what sells you right there. It's like okay, <laughs> a tiled porch. We look at the look at the little the, the things up in the what are they? Oh called? my gosh! That's, and see what's funny is I wouldn't change those colors either because I love no, those are my colors. I wouldn't either. No, but I that white and the blues. Oh, those are my colors. No, even in that other house, I wouldn't change a thing. Perfect. I'll take it. You know, like that's I love it. And these are houses that are in my price range if I sell this house, but I could pay cash for. Well, are you trying mortgage. to avoid a fixer upper just so you? Yeah. Want to yeah, I don't want a fixer upper. That's the only thing, you know, like I don't want to, I don't want anything as far as fixing up. What I mean is like anything aside from, oh, you know, oh, the carpet. Little things. Yeah, like, hey, who's leaving? Oh, Linda. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> Bye, Linda. As far as like fix up, Bye, as, long Linda. As, needs, uh, as long as it just needs paint. And maybe like, oh, the floor needs to be refinished, or it has a carpet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no like, major work. No, I don't want anything major. And if it's an older house, like these are older house, these couple of houses, I, I, you know, I found others that were not as old. I even found houses that were brand new. But I don't mind an older house as long as it was very well kept. And I, you know what I mean. And it's yeah. got like, you know, then then I'm then I'm fine with it. But if it's an older house that looks like it might have problems, like this is a very well kept one. The first one I showed you was a very well kept. This one's actually bigger than the last one. There's a difference between, you know, these houses that are well kept and not because you can have a house that's 100 years old. As long as it's well kept, it's not going to give you any more problems than a newer house would. If it's, you know, just a solid built, you know, I mean. And this one, you know, is definitely well kept. You can tell the difference between somebody that keeps their house well and doesn't. Oh, yeah. Well. I learned yeah. that from the gorgeous. Those people. floors just shine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love all that. That's my colors too. The yellow. Yeah. I don't like the green. I'll do green, but I love the yellow. Well, all my walls are yellow, yellow and gray. I love those arched doorways. They're so pretty. They are gorgeous. This kitchen, oh, this wow. kitchen is a little more. It needs to be a little, uh, it needs some counters and stuff. But see, to me, that's still not that big of a deal. Um, no, that, and I love how big it is. Yeah. Especially in one of these houses, because usually is that a pantry back there with like the laundry or? I think so. It's I think it's the back door. I think that's like the back door. It doesn't have much for counters, but you know, 
I don't care about that as much. That can be taken care of. Yeah, with some really cool finds with the thrift stores and stuff, yep. you can make counters. You can go to any Habitat for Humanity. They've got tons yep. of like, cabinets and counters. And yep. Ours uh, always has tons of countertop and cabinets and all that. And I, I can't see that, that so if anybody says anything, you can let me know because I can't see it. But yeah, it's a it's a beautiful house, and I would you know this type of house I'd take it in a heartbeat. Now, where's the one in Pennsylvania? Pennsylvania? Where was this one? This one's in New Jersey. New Jersey. Mm -hmm. I love that old like '30s tub. Oh yeah, and I love the pipe on the style. outside. Yep. The other one had a clawfoot tub. <laughs> really pretty, but and then as this room up here, I thought, well, that would be a good craft room. It's got a lot of space. Well, girl, I say go for it. Mm -hmm. You go get yourself happy. And then there was this is the one that was that started it all. It was it's in it's in this is the one of the ones I called about. Oh, I, I love wanted that. to find I wanted to find out um what the deal was because this is in Pennsylvania now. This is in Bushkill, this is up by the Poconos. Um and I'm pretty familiar with this area because I almost moved here years ago. I'm almost moved out here. And I used to go out here and teach country line dancing in a place that now has burnt down since it was a historic, uh, big, big, like old historic, uh, like dance hall place or whatever. But anyway, um, so I was familiar with the area and I always thought it was so pretty. But the problem is every one of the neighborhoods around here are very much HOA and they have very strict rules. And I just was like, uh but I did love this house. This house was so cute. And oh, I, I love it. It's my colors too. Oh my yeah, God. So cute. Such a cute little house. And the little, I say little, it's 2,200 square feet. I mean, it's not little, but I mean, it's gorgeous. It's a gorgeous house. And I was like, oh, I got to, I got to, I want that house. And unfortunately, you know, when I talked to the realtor about the HOA, I was like so disappointed because I was like, well, crap, I ain't going to get no houses up there. So. Yeah, I would never be part of an HOA, ever. Yeah. There's my craft room right there. And I'd be, and it'd have the, you open that door and it goes to that deck that's out in the front, the top. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Yeah, like that's what I would see. <laughs> and I'm across the street from the lake and the pool because they have, a, you know, of course they have a community that since you're part of an HOA, it has like the clubhouse with the pool and stuff. And it's literally across the street from my would be across the street from that house, like right catty corner kind of. And then across, you know, there's the there's the two car garage, which is, you know, and that's where I was asking questions because I said, you know, so if I wanted to turn that garage into like an apartment, he's like, oh no, see they wouldn't let you do that. But what? See, this is what I mean. I'm like, no, I don't I don't like being told what I can and can't do on my own property. Yep, me either. I'm like, no, no thanks. So that was the one that. Which was one of the reasons we were so desperate to get out of apartments. Yeah. Because you can't do anything that you want to no, do. No, I know. I know. It sucks. Now, this one's not as big. It's 1,200 square feet. This was in Absec in New Jersey. Um, this one I just thought was, I, get, I don't remember why I saved it, but it was just cute. You know, it was a cute little house. And, and these houses are closer to the beach area. Um, it's Absec and it's close to the water. And it was just a cute house. And it was like bright and pretty and you know it's like i see the problem is this house is so dark and dank because i don't know what kind of person i mean they built this house it's a cool looking house it's like almost round with its like you know hexagony shape or whatever and you know they did a shitty job putting windows in they could have done so you. much more <laughs> huh? i tell you one night you were sitting there going this hexagon or pentagon or whatever it is and i thought well i'm gonna go look at her house on google or yeah. So I can tell her what that shape is. You can't see it because it's all tree. I know. I know. You got to see it. <laughs> I think it's actually pentagon shape, but I always have said hexagon. So I always screw up and say hexagon. You say hexagon, pentagon, whatever this is. <laughs> yeah. I just say whatever it is. It's a geometric shape of some sort. But yeah, it, because of that, like you would think, and because of the trees and how pretty it is up here, because it is really pretty up here, that they would have utilized the fact that it's so pretty and put better windows here, but they didn't. And it's, it makes you depressed almost because it's so dark here in this house. 
But what I just thought this was a cute it? house, and I think that's why I saved it because it was an option. I thought, hey, you know, it's it's an option. It's better than you know, it's cute. I, I definitely like it. But that was one. Of them. <laughs> this was another one which I really I thought was really cute. This one only has fifteen hundred square feet too, but I think I remember this one was kind of cute. It has a nice Ooh. yard. Where is Hoboken, oh, New Jersey? Hoboken is like central, like mid, well, kind of like north central New Jersey. You should have seen the hurricane that ripped through there and the flooding. When? Last night, they're showing on the... Uh, oh, you mean a tornado? Yeah. I mean, oh, yeah. And the flooding is like... Yeah, huh. Terrible. Bad. This house here has an in-ground pool, and I thought it was really cute. Look how cute oh, that, that is house cute. This is a super cute little house, but probably too small for you, right? Well, I think it had a basement, a full basement. Oh, something. does it? It was still kind of big, I believe. I'd have to go when I go back. I'll look, but I can't remember how many square feet it was. I didn't check before I start flipping through the pictures, but it's really cute, and it looks like it's, you know, well-maintained. I'd probably do something about the ceiling in there, but that's the basement. It did, it did have a basement. It was, like, partially finished or something. I guess, it you know, it could be finished more, um, but, I mean, it was just an option, and it was pretty, and I just was like, all right, and I like the pool. I'm a pool person, and I've had a pool several times, and I'm trying I to tell Jenny's mom into getting to me one of those pools, and she has a huge yard. <laughs> Yeah, I said I was like, I you know, your house value would go up so much if you would get a pool. Every time I'd see her, she said, "Finally, she said, I'm not getting a pool." <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> it was uh, not. Oh, this was 900. That's right. This was this one was too small. That's right. It was too small. <laughs> I, I think I saved it before I even realized it was so small. This one is 1,800 square feet. This one's cute that's too. I'm built in. That's nice. Those cabinets are nice. <laughs> Red carpet. Oof, I'm that would not have too to crazy go. about that. Yeah. No, that would have to go. The wallpaper would have to go. I'd want the wood exposed. I think too. I think I'm partial to lighter color wood. Yeah, me too. Yeah. yeah. But it's also got this whole building right here that goes with it. Wow, but that's a lot to maintain. Do you think? No, well, no kidding. But if it was i think it's an apartment actually yeah because there's an apartment up there i believe there's an apartment up here that you can rent out oh wow and, and that was like oh, the source of income that's why i saved it i was like oh i'll save that one because you know you never know um and there was this one which was cute i like the, the, the you know if it's you know, i like the like a sun porch i like the idea of that A big ass dining room. Well, I think everybody that knows you like doors. I'm like, hmm, maybe that would be my craft room. <laughs> I think everybody that knows you be happy, yeah. so I think you should do it. Yeah. Yeah, I just want to get the hell out of here. I just don't want to have a mortgage. I don't want to have to worry about it. This one needs like carpet and like things. Not nothing major at all. I don't think I like all those. I like the basement. It had a big basement. Yeah. yeah oh, it's got it. a finished floor down there, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, I think it's a cement floor that they did, but you can... Oh, you know, to me, I thought it was a cement like they had you know, stained it or painted it or something. No, I think they painted it, yeah, but I mean, it's still like partially unfinished. It's like partially finished. And I think there's this bathroom is down there too. Like there's a bathroom and a shower and everything down there. So it could be like a little apartment. So it's definitely an option. There, like, there's so many options I found that was nice, you know. And that, this one has an above ground pool. But, you know, I, I don't know. I found bunches and bunches and bunches. Like, this one's 2,000 square feet. I 
ugh, need to be painted and stuff. Stuff like that. Like needs to be painted in some areas. Okay, it looks like they got almost finished and just quit. <laughs> yeah, I know, I just quit. I don't know. Okay, how do you do that? <laughs> I don't know. Unless they were packing something and they didn't ever, they never, you know, they were, they were, they were <laughs> it would drive me like, nuts. <laughs> it's definitely older and it, like older style and whatnot. I mean, upgrade, upgrade. I don't care about updating as much as you know. I can paint, paint it and make it look upgrade, updated. Right. Yep. But it was an interesting house. I put it on there just because I was like, oh, okay, you know, I just saved anything that was like doable you know like okay just to kind of keep me motivated i was like yes yeah, that's doable if that's doable well then this is doable and if this is doable then you know like so you just find yeah, yeah. it you know i'm not afraid of like painting and and stuff oh, like no, that i love to do that i like to paint and make it my own and this one has oh this is why i saved this one this one had a pond with lily pads <laughs> and i was like it has a pond and a creek it had a pond and look look lily, lily pads i'm like i gotta have lily pads i want a pond with lily pads and little frogs I know. I thought that was so cute. I'm like, I just have to save that because it was pretty. <laughs> but anyway, I don't remember if there was anything else worthwhile. I don't remember. This one was Pittman, New Jersey. I don't remember why I saved this one. If there was anything about it, I don't remember. I don't know. There was a bunch more. There's a bunch more that are like newer and stuff. I just grabbed a few of them. But yeah, this is just another one. Oh, that wallpaper. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> like oh please let me see oh jeez that's an eyesore oh, too much oh they've got carpet in their dining room yeah there's yeah never yeah this one just needs to be like i mean i've lived where i've had carpet in my dining room drove me up insane especially when the kids were little yeah. Yeah, I lastly i think it was this one which is in Winoka harbor which is also by the water Oh, I'm sorry. I'm gonna mute me for a second. Oh, that's fine. And this one's just a this one's a smaller house because it's more of a beach house because it's closer to the water in Winoka Harbor. It's kind of closer to the shore area, so it was just like a little house. I don't think I saved it because it was cute for being a beach house. Like if I wanted to live close, not a beach house, but like like within like ten minutes of the beach. What I mean, that's what I'm considering that. You know, just a car ride, a quick car ride to the beach. And these houses were all pretty, are usually pretty small around here. And it's right by the bay. I think this one's by the bay more or less than the ocean. Most of these are by the bay. Anyway, that's just what I was looking at. But, you know, my, and there's other ones too. There's like that one and this one. There's like bunches. Like I found bunches in different areas. Some of them were in New Jersey. Some, like I said, were all over the place. I was just looking at every single, I was just grabbing and saving everything that was like practically doable, sort of. Oops. How do I stop it? Go away. Anyway. What's to look at out there, though? Yeah, and a lot of nice houses that are doable. I didn't even show you any of the ones that were in Violin by my sister because I couldn't find where I saved those two. I think I saved those ones on my phone. But I just want to get the hell out of here because I think I'm just over Tennessee. I'm just done living where I feel like, you know, you just feel, you get to a point in where you feel like you're just stuck. Mm -hmm. somewhere and you're just sick and tired of it sick and tired of being stuck Carla wants to know what the new builds are like what do you mean what are they like what do you mean like the newer maybe newer homes Carla you mean like new houses I mean I found a couple that would be in my price range but not too many um but i found some that were newer like 2010 and newer like you know and they're you know they're nice i, f I mean i found some that were anywhere from 1900s all the way up to you know the 60s 70s 80s 90s um into 2000s but i don't know I don't know what I did with my paper that I made the other day. I can find it. You made some paper? 
No, sprayed. Oh, I thought you said made. <laughs> I was like, she made paper. <laughs> like made, like sprayed. Made for usage. <laughs> you know, the paper that I made to like for Halloween and stuff and everything. That's what I was looking for. Um, I colored and sprayed and did all the things. As I'd like a new house, I just know that I'll get more house for the money if it's not brand new. Yep. Right. Sure. And new houses to me too are kind of boring. They all look the same. Yeah, a lot of times they do. I like some of the house. I, I mean, I have some houses that I have saved. I think they're on my phone, but that are like custom built, nice custom built houses from the you know 60s, 70s, 80s that are just gorgeous. You know, they're just gorgeous houses and they're in my price range and they have, you know, every feature I want. And that to me is more important than whether or not it's brand spanking new. Cause yep. house can be brand new, but have just as many problems. Especially with today's worth it, work ethic on some things, you don't trust the new as much. I know. They don't, you know, I don't oh, feel yeah, like they're yeah. good of materials or anything anymore. No, I mean, you can find a house that was built anywhere from the 1900s up to 1960s and 70s. That is going to be a hell of a lot better built than a house that you buy yep. today half the time, unless you're and on top of it. One of the reasons I, well, I know some contra contractor people, but anyway, there's no way you can convince me that something that they broke ground on two weeks ago and finished yesterday Right. And they built that whole entire huge house in two weeks. Right. You're not going to try to tell me that that's well built. <laughs> yeah, no. It's using some kind of materials that are not like good old fashioned materials. Right. I mean, there are some aspects about it that, you know, they have better technology and this, that, and the other. But overall, they're more about profit nowadays than they are about, you know, about slapping it together. It. Yep. Yeah. Craftsmanship goes out the window nowadays. Ooh, that's pretty paper. Nice. I just, I'm okay with an older house, as like I said, as long I as it's I think they have more character. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, that's the one thing I did like about this house, you know, is the fact that it has a, you know, it has character to it because it's yeah. not. A cookie cutter house. Yep. You no, know, and I love that about it. But at the same time, I don't. My love favorite that thing about your house is that porch. Huh? The decking and stuff. I just love yeah. it. Yeah. That, it, I don't ever utilize it because it's just not very utilizable because of the fact that it's surrounded by trees and all you have, all you deal with is things dropping into everything. Like you get leaves everywhere, and it's just not. It just never was a utilizable deck because. First of all, that's another thing like they kind of did that I thought was weird. The decking is all around like the front and stuff, but then when you get in the back, it doesn't go all the way around to the back. You have to like, there's no back. Oh, it doesn't? Like, For some reason, no. I thought it did. But there, but there is a deck in the back. Like I'm in the room that's in the back and there's a deck off of here, but it doesn't connect to the front deck and there's no oh. way to walk. So if you want to go to the back, there is no, there's no way to get to the backyard unless you walk out of the house and go around it to go to the backyard which is actually oh see for some reason i don't know you know i just did, i thought the whole thing was all the way around no it's it's three quarters of the way around but it doesn't well, connect anyway, to the I, still love it. I still love the way it looks i just i you know i just don't i don't utilize it because it wasn't utilizable for me like 
it just wasn't an ideal there was nowhere to put a table because the deck wasn't wide enough in a lot of areas there was nowhere to put like a table and chairs it was like it was just a pain in the ass it just wasn't i don't know it just wasn't feasible for me and i never liked that part of all it. the trees huh and then aren't you always having to sweep and stuff because all oh, the trees? Yeah, constantly, constantly. And see, I don't want that. I don't really want to have that many trees up my ass wherever I move next or whatever. Because I just, ugh, too many trees means too many leaves. And then also means potential for them to fall on your house too. <laughs> Which has happened here. So... Oh, I don't know. I don't know any of that the square footage to price. Um, it depends on where you're at. It can range pretty significantly. You know, like some of the houses I looked at were like $100 a square foot and others I looked at were 150 you know, $175 a square foot. You know, it just depends on where. The location, I think, is the most important thing when it comes to that. It depends on where you're willing to live and you know i don't know anything about any of that so yeah it's just it depends on the it's price of the i ever really look at or look into yeah well you don't until you have to that's how it works kind of you know? well i don't want to be depressed <laughs> no. i love where i am my little castle is just fine with me but if I went to look at houses like in North Carolina or something, I'd be so sad. <laughs> well, there's houses in North Carolina that are affordable. Yeah, but she's not ever leaving here. Just yeah. so she's never leaving here. That would be the only other place we'd want to be is North Carolina, other than here. <laughs> I'm going to go with my stays on. I don't know where it is. Oh, there it is. Hi, Amy. Good morning, Amy. What are you doing? Just, hey, Amy. Yeah, North Carolina was nice. I gotta admit. That's where I consider home, North Carolina. Yeah, it's pretty there. That's where I had the beauty shop in the hospital. Yeah. But I went for my penicillin reaction and almost croaked. <laughs> <laughs> How would you like me to go to the Mm -hmm. well, I lived in South Carolina for a time, period of time, but you know, again, those, you know, it was nice there, but, but you know, I, I, I don't think I can see myself moving back there. I do like, you know, it, it's mostly because. I don't know anybody there and I don't I mean I don't really care about not knowing somebody somewhere but if I have the opportunity to move closer to my sister or to people I know just in general because I do know people up in New Jersey right but it would just be <clears throat> better See I, than, the reason I asked that I was what is that M U L L I C A Hill, New Jersey. M I L Mullica. M U L L I C A Hill. Mullica. Okay. I've I've never heard of that. That's in New Jersey. Yeah. I talked about Mullica. Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Where yeah, is it in New Jersey? It just says M U L L I C. -A -Hill. Oh, Mullica Hill. You mean Mullica Hill? Yeah. Oh, okay, I see that. I'm like looking, going. I've never heard of that though. Still, oh, New Jersey. Okay, catastrophic tornado. Wow. Where yeah. is Mullica Hill? Off. How the hell is that? I know. Look at that. I don't. I've never heard of Mullica, Mullica Hill. I it's probably a suburb of some little of some bigger place, maybe. Mm, I don't know. I think it's uh, it's got to be out in the middle of absolutely nowhere, but because massive tornado. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, I see. I know where it is now. Okay, I see where it is. It's actually South Jersey. What the hell, man? 
there's another hurricane brewing also well just one called larry or wait, wait is this a different is this a different hurricane to the one that was or i mean tornado to the to the one that was yesterday or is this the same yeah. one that was yesterday it just yeah it came through this is a different one i think like the aftermath of you know the different huh. storm coming to like the same but yet yeah it spun it off of it yeah yeah well i don't think these are the same storms Then there's one in the Atlantic Ocean brewing you mean again. Hurricane? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It is. Harry or Larry or what the hell? I'm going to run oh. out of names pretty soon. Harry or Larry. <laughs> tornado. Oh, sorry. That was, that's a big tornado that was out there. That's crazy. I know it. Just. I don't know. That's crazy is yeah, up there we don't get tornadoes like that. Mm -hmm. Ever. <laughs> it's like unheard of. That's so crazy. <clears throat> Global warming. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's causing all that to happen. And they even, you know, I I was watching something uh probably a month or two or so ago. They were talking about how pretty soon places that never get tornadoes like new jersey and new york will be seeing tornadoes all the time and now, <laughs> and now fast forward a couple, like a month and it's like bam uh -huh. well that because yeah. yeah we don't new jersey doesn't get tornadoes like it we've had tornado watches before and we've had even tornado warnings that turned into nothing because right. it would just be like um a rotating cloud and then it would just stop it would fizzle out <laughs> but it's very rare for there to be an actual full-fledged tornado that's extremely rare for the thing to, to see. There's one, let's see, where's that? Going up toward Minneapolis. <clears throat> A radar. Lining up. Strikes tonight. Probably the biggest. Oh, God. It's like the n regular news it gets too depressing to watch but yet you have to watch stuff because if you're in its path and you know, you'll miss it so you yep. ready for it <clears throat> kansas city Well, if I move up to New Jersey, like Tennessee better keep its damn tornadoes to itself. Yeah. Don't send them out. Don't go sending them up with me because I don't want them. <laughs> nope. Right. I'm done. When I leave here, I'm done. Tornadoes will be a thing of my past, I hope. <laughs> all of this crazy ass heat and the bugs god i'll be so happy to get away from the freaking bugs oh my god yeah, a lot of, I had a lot of bugs in the yard today when i was out there cutting the thing. there are all these little like all over the place oh, what the heck? oh really almost like a uh -huh. little what mini blizzard or something what are these bugs? what were they what <laughs> like what a mini blizzard <laughs> oh a bug yeah, all these little bugs. <laughs> what the heck? Jeannie walked from here to the shed the other day and got six mosquito bites. Really? Oh Just to, from here to the shed, which is like, you know, 15, 20 feet. Jeez. Yeah, the, I never seen bugs until I moved to Tennessee. Then I was like, what the hell's going on here? Because I thought, like, yeah, we had bugs in New Jersey, but nowhere near the amount. Well, you'd really hate the the North Carolina because our bugs are as big as birds. Yeah, well. I told Jeannie that in the first trip she took with me home, she wanted to get out on the bridge to take pictures over to the land from the bridge. Right. And I said, well, you better watch out because 
You're going to get eat up with bugs. Oh, it'll be all right. She gets out of the car and she's standing at the hood of the car and I'm sitting in the passenger seat. And all of a sudden she's doing like this, swapping. And then she's running around the car. And then she gets in the car. I am dying laughing. Because it's hilarious. Well, I mean, she, she said, you weren't kidding about these bugs. <laughs> they are big. Yeah. I mean, our mosquitoes can get up to like that wide. Yeah. I mean, I remember being in South Carolina. You know, it wasn't that bad. I, you know, I mean, it, you know, it was a little bit worse than New Jersey. And then I came to Tennessee and I was like, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> these cave crickets and these Ooh. Freaking cicadas and and the things that they've got here and these nasty ass. We call like, the cave crickets the mutants. We, we can say mutant crickets. <laughs> yeah, they're they look like mutant spider crickets. Yeah. And then there's, then there's the friggin' then there's the friggin' uh the the mud daubers and those wasps that are like that big and orange. Yep. They look like a, a freaking flying hot Cheeto going through the air. Yeah. Yep. Like <laughs> we don't have that in New Jersey. I was like, you got to be joking. <laughs> and so that immediately made me like. So just imagine all of that, Stacy, but bigger, because it's bigger on the East Coast. <laughs> well, I mean, I lived in South Carolina. I didn't see them that big there. Oh, they are bad. You can ask anybody that's from there. The ones on the East Coast of North Carolina are huge, and they just attack you. <laughs> yeah, well, that's how they are. The of bugs, and they just attack you. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's how they are here too. But I just don't. I you know, like in New Jersey, we didn't have to deal with that. You had some wasps. But they were like you didn't have nine thousand species of wasps that are like gigantic, and you just didn't have cave crickets and these weird other things. Like you just didn't have all this, and so I was just like, uh, that's the one thing I knew I hated immediately moving here was, ugh, I was just miserable about that because I was like, these bugs are terrible, and yeah, I don't like that. But do you have a tattoo on your right arm? Yeah. Oh my god, how did I never notice that before? <laughs> I have never noticed that till just now when you went to put that piece of paper <laughs> over there. I'm you like, I, I'm you observing, I? wait a minute, you've been to my house, you've slept over, and you didn't know that. I, I have never, I've always heard it on the left, but never noticed that one of the real That's so funny. But I thought I was like, did she get some black paint on her orb, or is that a tattoo? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, at least you know I ain't sitting around staring at you. <laughs> I ain't scrutinizing you, Stacy. <laughs> Change my water real quick. My little jar. Oh, this is the wrong glue. You fool. Why is that that glue stick I was using earlier? It'll just be nice to be back up north where I can have a difference in season. I feel like down here, you don't get, like, you know, you, you get a little bit of snow here and there, but it's not enough to, nope, it's, it's, it's just enough to depress you because all it does is rain and it's always wet and cold. Yep. You don't get the nice snow. You get the you get the nice fall leaves, and then it goes to wet and snow. Wet and that's and what wet. I miss the most about living in the mountains is the is the different seasons because you yeah. got very distinctive. I mean, summer was summer, fall right. was fall. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah that's Here how it blends sort of together. Yep, and I don't like that. In New Jersey, at least you get you know winter, spring, summer, and fall. And I, I, yeah, as much as I don't, you know, I'm not, you know, I'm not one that I don't love the snow, but I don't, I'm not a despiser of the snow. And I never was, I never hated the snow. Like some people are like, oh, it's, it's just snows up there. I'm like, yeah, but I'd rather see the snow when I went outside than mud. Mud. Because it, <laughs> it yep. rains all winter and it's cold. It's just as cold as New Jersey, just as cold, but it rains all the time here. At least yep. up there, it's not raining 24 hours a day. It's the same temperature, but for some reason, instead of snow, it's freaking mud. It's rain and mud. Yep. You get three hours there. of ice and snow and then four days of mud. Because right. <laughs> it melts off instantly. Snow. Here we don't freaking snow. 
Are you kidding me? I think we got what two dustings all year this this past winter. We don't get snow here. I don't think we had any this past winter. I think we had a, either one dusting or two dustings. That's yeah, all I remember. I don't think we had any here. I think there was an ice storm once. But it, yeah, and then and then all it does is rain. It's rain and it's cold. When you walk outside, and I, I'd rather any day I'd rather walk outside and it be snowing because at least you don't feel. Like, yeah, it's cold when it's snowing, but it's not the same as getting wet and being in the 13 or 16 degrees. Yeah. For some reason, it doesn't snow as much here because I guess for some reason, I don't know how it does because it'll be 35 degrees out or 30 degrees out and it'll be raining. And I'm like, well, would you just snow? It's 30 degrees. Snow. Yeah. <laughs> and I get it that it has to do with the upper atmosphere bullshit. But come on, give me some snow. I'd rather have snow because then at least you don't feel wet. Well, when I lived in the mountains, that's all we had all winter was snow. Yeah. We were out yeah, of school for six weeks one time because it got so deep. It was yeah. over my nanny's trailer. But that's what I mean. Like, I'd rather have snow because I can deal with snow. I, I you know, I, I, I'll have a four-wheel drive. I'm not afraid to drive in the snow. It doesn't bother me at all. And I can get everywhere I need to go pretty much. And if it's that important, you know, if it snows that bad, which it does on occasion, where you can't go anywhere for a day, it's like, okay, big deal. Then I stay cuddled up inside and I look at the pretty snow. You know what I mean? I'm not going to cry yep. about it. But I just, I think it's more depressing to live here and have it be all the leaves are bare and all you see is mud. You just look mud. outside, it's always wet and cold and mud. I just think that is the most depressing thing about living in Tennessee. I hated that from the first year. I kept thinking, where's the snow? Where's the snow? Where's the snow? And because we moved here in March, I didn't expect to see any snow. So it was the following year. And it was, I was like, oh, you know, when are we going to see some snow? And I thought for sure, you know, like I watched movies and seen that it snows in Tennessee. And and a friend of mine told me, she goes, yeah, you're in oh, East Tennessee all the time. Yeah. Well, yeah. East Tennessee does more than here, but my a friend of mine told me who lives who's lived here and lived in Dixon all her life. She goes, she goes, believe it or not, Stacey, Tennessee, this area of Tennessee used to snow a lot years ago, but, be, but That's over, the years, over the years, it quit. It just stopped snowing. And I was like, I was like, really? She's like, yeah, oh yeah, we'd get a foot of snow and, you know, it would stay on the ground and yada, yada. And I'm like, are you kidding? Yeah, when Jamie and, was younger, I think she says it used to snow when. Yeah. I love you. It's like, just crazy how it stopped. Um, and now it doesn't. It, it hardly ever. I don't. I, all we got last year, as far as I can remember, is last year as we got that ice storm and it only lasted that day. Yeah. Yep. Well, we had that whole week of snow around Christmas. I remember where I was even out of work for a week. Was that last year or a year before last? That was just this past year. Oh, I didn't remember that. This past it Christmas. Was. Oh, not by us. We didn't get it. I thought it no. I think it was la the Christmas before that. No, it was just. Oh, the, I know what you're talking first about. Time we were ever out for more than one. Oh, okay. Well, I had forgotten that, y'all. I totally it forgot. It wasn't a lot of snow. It was just that it wasn't a lot of snow at all. At least not where I was. It was a matter of the fact of the ice and the fact that it stayed so cold for those several days after. Well, Stacy, I totally forgot it. So. Yeah, I remember that because it was really, really, really cold, and that was what caused most. I of just the remember the ice storm because Joshua yeah. couldn't get to work because he couldn't get up our driveway. Maybe that was when that was, but I know it was. There was a little bit of snow, but then it was ice because it, it had either rained or something, and then it just stayed frigid cold for like a week, and that was like the biggest thing that happened this past year. That's right, I, I forgot think, about that. I did not remember that because I just didn't remember her being home oh. for that many days. Well, that's the only reason I remember is because when she said that that she was home for a whole week because it was snow. And I'm like, oh yeah, that's right. We had that really cold snap. You Remember, know what? It was like, you know what? It's coming back to me because I remember now that she wound up having to work extra days and extra hours because they had all those yep. packages that they couldn't get delivered because of the weather. Yeah. But yeah, it's just, but it's so rare to get like actual, any, any actual accumulated snow. Yeah. Like you're never going to get to go outside and like, play in the snow like that's never gonna happen <laughs> and every time it starts a little snow i throw go out there and put a bowl out there so i can make some snow cream and sometimes <laughs> i don't even get a quarter of an inch yeah <laughs> oh thank you you're welcome i love you be careful
Yeah, I think that was when Joshua still had that that truck he had, used to have, and he could not get it to go out of the road here. He would get to the almost get to the top of the road, and then he would start sliding backwards in it. Huh. That day. But I really don't. I still don't remember the whole being home a week. I don't remember that. Hmm. But that don't mean it didn't happen because. <laughs> Obviously, yeah. I didn't even know what the day was. <laughs> <laughs> what day of the week it is. <laughs> yeah, I didn't mind of that one, but you know, it's still, it's just. But she has said, I mean, she was standing there shaking her head, yes, that when she was a kid here, you know, they would miss a lot of days of school because of snow days. Oh, yeah. And then she said, over the years, it just got to where it was snowing less and less and less. Yeah, that's what my friend had said, too. But I'm not from here, so I, you know, I, I have no perspective on that. Right. Guns absolutely suck ass. Okay, how hard I try to hold that still? I just can't hold it still. Okay, let me see. Okay, so there's the frame so far. Oh, that's really pretty. And then yeah, this one that sitting is. There. this was sitting there. Oh, that's mm -hmm. pretty. I like that. And then I'll have it wrapped. And then I think what I'm gonna do is put a larger bead here and a smaller bead there. Oh, that'll be really nice. Thank you. Pretty. Yeah. Thank you. I want it. <laughs> I like it. Oh, you can definitely have it. You're the reason I have this. I don't thing. want it. No, I'm joking. All I wanted was that one pink one. Yeah, it's, it is almost done. I just ran out of that no, one. I, wire. You know, I don't care if you give it to me in a year. I don't care. I'm not rushing you. I was just saying that the one that I care. Well, I got about. so mad though because the first one I made turn, was turning out so pretty, and then I broke my central wire by accident. Uh oh. So that's why I had to start it over, and I didn't realize I was almost out of that particular one wire. So I had to order it, and it's not coming until Tuesday. So. Yeah. Hi, Thank Amy. you, Carla. Hi, how are you already? You were here. Yes, you were here already, and I said hi to you. I feel like. Every time I look at the chat, it's barely moving because everybody's like either asleep or going, either wait, just waking up or go, just going to bed. So, dazed, they're dazed. I have to run to the potty. I'll be right back. Okie dokie. So now what I have to do, guys, is connect the, this part of the frame to this part of the frame. So what I'm going to do for that is use a way thinner wire. But first, got to get that thing off my head for a little bit. I'm going to get me some drink. Get a drink. Get me some drink. I'll be right back. <laughs> How's your little mummies or your uh, your zombies coming, Jamie? Pretty good. How many yeah. did you get done? I'm still working on the, um, kind of putting the little final touches on the ones that are made, and okay, then I'll put uh, 
the resin on them together. I can't wait to use the resin. <laughs> wait, can we use it? Um, oh, you haven't used the new one yet. Uh oh. No. And then, oh, hey, Carla. Like, <laughs> and uh, these are the bats. I had a heck of a time making these. <laughs> it was something with the wings. Problem was with it was the stupid wings on here. Huh. Nuts. Just how the wings so went. Few, though. Yeah, I can see how that would be hard. I had a hard time just painting painting that one bat, so I can only imagine trying to sculpt them. Forget I know, it. I couldn't figure out how the wings went. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. Okay, this way? <laughs> I would be like, wait a minute, that's wrong. <laughs> Do it all over again. Right. Yeah, I would have had a hard time too because that's just not. Yeah. Got the skulls done, the red, uh, these red skulls, and then shaded them. So I want to, I want to take some of these and do the, you know, like the these little earrings, you know, that they sit on, and well, not not the red but orange, but you know, with the tassels. Yeah. And. Now these, this is. Well, they collected dust. <laughs> it's terrible. Oh, and I did these. Um, because remember, I had did the. Uh, wait a minute. Oh, I got the neck. The two, two regular pumpkins, and then, and then this pumpkin, and then I did another set, which they're not glazed yet. Yeah. So I did. They're a little bit deeper orange, and then, but I did this one flat for the necklace. Yeah. And because I thought, um, nobody wants a big lump on their chest, you know? I think that's pretty. <laughs> you want to do it as a necklace, you know? Yeah, that would be a good necklace. Oh, earrings. Oh, what is that? Started with then I did the cats. Well, I started the bodies and everything, and then I didn't realize I thought it was just like pieces of clay that I forgot, and I smushed them and put them over there. <laughs> I was like, oh, folks, <laughs> those are my cats. So, <laughs> kind of look like the bats, only without oh, the wings. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Carla, for reminding everybody. I feel like I'm missing stamps. Oh, they could be in that other thing. I'm not getting them out today, but they could be in that other bin that I didn't finish going through. But I felt like I felt like I had more stamps that had more words to it at some point, like sentiment style stamps or something. Oh. Somewhere in there, they, they might be.
Okay, I gotta rest my hands for a little bit. My hands are getting sore. Okay. So I'm just gonna sit here for a little while. Maybe do nothing. Rest up. But my the tips of my fingers are starting to hurt a little bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me. Hmm. I could have found a stamp that had like words on your mm -hmm. Okay. Let me just put a sentiment on here. I'm one of those ones I pulled out before. Carla, if you like that piece, you might want to check out my other Jasper piece that I have listed on my website. Just, I mean, I'm not trying to pressure you. I'm just letting you know I do have another piece. I just don't have this one that I just made listed yet. I'll list it today sometime. But I'm for sure not at all meaning to say pressuring you or whatever. I just thought you might be interested. Well, yeah, they're not going to know if you don't tell them. I know, but it just makes me feel weird. <laughs> no. Hopefully, Katie, if I do move up north, you'll you can come visit. I'm never gonna get to see you again, Stacy. Why not? I I've been I mean I don't go anywhere. I don't have anybody. The only reason I've ever left and gone somewhere up north well, was I'll fly your ass up. Because Jeannie's friend lived in Michigan, and she's the one that took us. Okay. If I, if it had been up to me, I never got to go. I'll fly your ass up. I'm not worried about that. Shit. I'll be so sad if I don't get to see you. You will. I'll fly you up. It's not that big of a deal. But I want you to be happy more than anything. And I well, want you to be settled and not upset yeah. all the time. I, yeah, I, that's my big goal. Is <laughs> You've to got to feel good for your health. It's just not good for your health to be upset all the time. No, it's not. And you're absolutely right about that that is the, that is like the number one thing that i'm concerned about is that i'm always stressed out and i always feel like i'm stressed out and i always feel angry and i don't want to feel like that no you can't it's not good for you no and with it you having your conditions you have uh-uh that's not acceptable mm -mm. at all nope you're right about that i just want to have peace and quiet back in my life a little bit yeah. yep. I just don't, I, and, and I just want to get rid, if I get rid of the burden of the mortgage, that would make a massive yeah, yeah. difference. You would have to be nervous about it all the time, worried all the time. Right. Because then, you know. Now, let me ask you this, Stacey. What happens to your little dogs? Do you get to keep all the little dogs? Oh, yeah, yeah, they're mine. Oh, okay. Yeah. He, he can't take care of the dogs. I just want, I didn't know if one was supposed to be his or. No. Nope. He's not capable of taking care of himself, let alone a dog. Let alone a dog. He's been here for six months. I asked him while you're here, you know, if he could if he could take over feeding the dogs and stuff. And I still have to remind him every single day when to feed the dog. That's crazy to me. Mm -hmm. That's crazy to me. Okay. I'm like, you you mean to tell me you can't remember when a to feed the dog? A man can't feed. I mean, think if it was a child. <laughs> yeah. Oh, forget it. That's not <laughs> very glad that never happened. That's great. Yeah, that's crazy to me. And and I'm not I I don't have any problems with him I I don't know him that no, well and I'm no. not saying things against him I'm just thinking mental health wise you'll be fifty percent better off without him oh of course I know that yep but I, I and I think he's probably a perfectly good person but he's just not the person that you you need around you all the time mm -mm. And I, I don't want to hurt his feelings but he can't hear you. He watching tv and he can't hear shit but no you're not hurting his feelings don't worry about that <laughs> he don't really care about hurting mine so who gives a shit Oh. 
I got this frame started, y'all. I haven't finished it yet. It goes on. Oh, that's pretty. One of my resin oh, pieces. Cool. That's really pretty. That's really pretty. I did it one day a couple of weeks ago. And then I made this frame. And it's got a couple of little boo-boos on it, y'all. I know. I can see them. They're there and there. But I thought I could uh, go in with some beads. Yeah, yeah. And some little beads oh, yeah, on my frame. Yeah, see that. For sure. I mean, I've been playing my resin a few things. I should have never argued with Stacy. I wasn't going to like that UV resin. <laughs> I think I'm addicted to that stuff now. I know. <laughs> Everybody I know, as soon as they get it, they're addicted to it. They're like, oh. Like they're now, I mean, things. don't get me wrong. Like, I've I still prefer my poor resin for certain oh, things. Oh, yeah, absolutely. But I that do. UV resin, oh, my God, it's gosh, so addictive. <laughs> it's so handy for, like, oh, I need something to be shiny. Okay, <laughs> put it under yep. light. Oh, my know? God, yes. <laughs> it's nice to have for that reason. I should have just known that she knew what the hell she's talking about. <laughs> 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 Only because I was like, I'm not going to ever wind up using it. I hate that she spent money on this and sent it to me, and I'm never going to use it now. I just use it and use it and use it. I had made one of those resin pieces not too long ago with the buttons in it. Yeah. And yeah. when I was working on wire wrapping it, I really messed it up. The wire, I just did it the wrong way. Let's just say, I should have. What I should have done is taped it off and then wired it and then pulled the tape off. But I didn't yeah. think about that. Anyway, I mean, easy peasy. I poured the UV on it, stuck it under there, perfectly smooth and beautiful again. Yeah, yeah. That's the nice thing about it is that you can always, pretty much, always fix mistakes. Yep. It's just one of those things where I just totally didn't even remember to put the tape around it. I just completely forgot for whatever reason. If it wasn't like Kathy is the first one that got me hooked on it because she sent me my UV oven thing and 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 a bottle of UV nail polish. She started with the she was doing with the UV nail polish. She was like coating like little embellishments and stuff. And so that's what she sent it to me to do because she thought it was kind of cool or whatever. And I thought it was cool, but I knew what UV resin was because I had seen it before. But I didn't know if I could use it with that light. I didn't know the deal. And then when I found out I could, I was like, oh. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Does that mean I can use my, is my LED polish the same thing? Yes. LED polish? Yeah. Is I use a LED light to cure it on yeah, my fingernails? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. can I use that the color stuff for my project? Yeah. Yeah. The nail stuff. Holy yeah. crap, I can. Yep. I had no idea. Yep, you can use that. I could have put that glitter polish on the side of that one thing I had the other day. <laughs> and it'll yeah, cure the same way underneath yep. that. Oh my gosh. Yep, because that's what I use. I, is I that what that is? Me. Is nail polish just resin? Oh yeah, you be you be Resin is basically just UV polish, you know, or, or gel oh, polish. Oh, yeah, I didn't know yeah. that. I didn't know they were the same. Yeah, it's, they're very similar. I mean, they're probably basically the same. I mean, I'm sure the UV resin is slightly different because they make the polish more, you know, like for specifically for nails. But it is the same stuff. It's like the same stuff. It might just be. Oh, holy you know, crap. I did yeah. not know that. Oh, yeah. I'm going to tell you that I did not one thing with that glitter paint, that glitter polish I've gotten. I didn't know that. Because yeah. I was trying to think, how can I add this glitter, the silver glitter, you know? Yeah. And I didn't have no silver glitter, but I had silver nail polish. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, well that's I what I started out using was she sent me the oven and the and some UV po nail polish. And I said to her, I said, I said, you know, I said, the UV polish is really expensive. I said that UV resin would be cheaper. I said, I think you can cure it with the light. And then I looked it up and I'm like, oh, yeah, you can. And so I started buying the UV resin after that. I used the polish up and I would just like. Oh my gosh. Polish you know over, what like, I'm thinking, Stacey? You know what I'm thinking now? Is you could make it look like enamel. What? You could take your colored polishes. Oh, yeah, you can. And paint them on like your, uh, like I've got those metal beads that are yep. just crap metal. But mm -hmm. I could paint them with that. Yep. And then it would look like I had enameled it. And I, I really love enameled looking stuff, but it's really expensive to get into actually enameling things. Yeah. Oh, but yeah, I can make it look color. like that. Oh, uh -huh. my gosh. Well, why <laughs> well, did you tell me this before? 
<laughs> well, I talked about how I used the the UV nail polish and stuff with it. Oh, you did? I was zoned I, I, I think I was talking about it because. Oh, I'm sure you did. And I was zoned out or something. Who knows? Oh, it just stands up so bad. But um, because that's how I got started with it was with the nail polish. And then, um, but you can use, I mean, you can. I mean, well, I know color. you can color your resins, but still, yeah. if you already had a color in a bottle, you right. just oh, yeah. yeah, you just yeah. Use coats, that's all. Yeah, I tell those interference things to try. Yeah, that I bought. So can I paint? <laughs> can I paint the polish onto a poured resin piece and then cure yeah. that under my UV light? Yeah. Holy shit. As long as you paint thin layers, yeah. Yeah, I know I had to do the thin because I messed up the first few times I was using my UV stuff and I did it too thick and it just would not cure. Right. So now I know I have to do it thinner layers. Right. Holy crap. Yeah. Well, I'm mad at you now for not telling me before now. <laughs> <laughs> All right then. <laughs> what are you gonna do about it? <laughs> gonna beat you up. <laughs> here, Carla, I'll wax this piece up while I'm just sitting here doing nothing because my fingertips are getting sore, so I'm just I can't do no more wire right this minute. But I can wax this up if I can find my wax. Wax on oh, wax off. The wax. What did I do with my wax? Let's see. Where'd I put it? Y'all, I love my little cart. I've got it organized so cute. You talk about nice. And see, when I was hurt the other day, I could not sit in this chair. So I was sitting in the living room. All I had to do is walk in here and uh, roll my little cart out there and sit on the couch on my at my little table. Because <laughs> I was hurting. It's convenient to have a, have a cart like that. Yes, it's got all my little necessities. Christopher's like, I'm so grateful you got that cart so I can stop having to walk back and forth 500 times taking stuff out there to you. <laughs> <laughs> At least I admit it, y'all. So once I wax this, Carla, I have to let it sit for about 15 minutes because what happens is that uh, wax will harden a little bit and then you can uh, polish it up. So we'll do that in a little bit. Now this one I had already polished. Did you, I think you can probably tell the difference about how shiny that Pretty. one is. Yeah. yeah, I already polished it the other day. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. I gotta quit this smoking. I'm so sick to death of this smoking I can't stand it. That's how I got towards it when I got started getting really frustrated with it. That's when I started to seriously quit. Like, you know, it makes me so mad. Out. It makes me so mad at myself, Stacy, because I quit for six years. Yeah. Oh, I, know. I, I, went into that, I went into a fit one night. I was so angry at the world, and my mother had just passed away, and I was getting a lot of pressure because I wasn't. I wasn't behaving about it the way my sisters and brother wanted me to behave about it. Right. And I was like, you can't tell me how to behave about this. Everybody grieves and worries and all that in their own way. You can't tell me how I'm supposed to be behaving. So they were on my case. She had just passed away. Then Jeannie and I had the worst fight we have ever had in the 18 years we've, we've been together. I mean, this was the worst argument thing we had ever done to each other. And I left that house at like I left this house at like midnight that night just to go ride around, right? And I'm a boohooing and crying about all of it at one time. And I stopped at a convenience store to get me something to drink. And I don't know why, what happened in my brain, uh, what what caused me to do it. I just automatically said, hand me a pack of uh, Marlboro Light 100s. That's what I smoke. And I went and got in the car and smoked the cigarette. And it made me so freaking sick after six years of not smoking. I thought, well, that's not going to last. Good. I'm glad. And within probably 15 minutes, I reached for another one and smoked another one. And I've been smoking like that ever since, y'all. Yeah. And all because of that one night. And 
I don't know why it has been so much harder this time for me to quit because it wasn't easy for me to quit the first time because I've been smoking for over 20 years at that point. But somehow or another, I just wheeled my, because I had pneumonia and I got put in the hospital. Mm -hmm. Of course, in the hospital, you can't smoke anyway. So I didn't have cigarettes for like four days. So that helped me, you know. Yeah. And then when I got out of the hospital, I just never bought no more cigarettes. So I quit for that six years. But for some reason, this time I cannot figure out. I cannot. Well, I'll tell you why you can't quit. Why you're having a harder time to quit this time? Because the first time you quit, you didn't know what to expect. You didn't know if it would be hard. Oh, you, you know, you had more confidence, I think, or or you didn't just didn't know. And now that you know that, and now and that you're pissed off that you had to go through all that, and now you have to go through it again right. to quit. And the fact that now you know what to expect, and it's like, oh, I got to deal with how many weeks of this before I'll start to feel better and get over it? And like, how many months until I quit having all these cravings? And how many, like, uh, even though you know it's, it's doable, it's still in your head. And because you already know what to expect, you know what's going to happen. And you're also afraid that if I picked it back up again once, I'm going to pick it back up again. You know what I mean? Like, your body has, has your brain has a way of telling you things. That you don't even know you're telling yourself. Well, I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, I, I am desperate to quit. And I mm -hmm. have thrown away the ashtrays. I've thrown away the cigarettes. I've thrown away the lighters. And then, you know, 10 hours later, I'm desperate. I'm like, I've got right. to have a cigarette or I'm going to kill somebody. Right. So it's just frustrating the hell out of me. And this coffin is driving me nuts. It's driving me up the wall. So I'm sure the people who live here are absolutely nuts with it, having to hear it. So what? Oh, your coffin? Yeah, because it comes and goes. It's like I'll have two days where I'm just coughing almost all the time, but then I don't cough for a week. Right. You're welcome, Carla. Check it out. I appreciate you even just checking it out. Well, you know, like, it, unfortunately, like, smoking has to be, it has to be, you have to get frustrated with it. And it has to be something that you do, you know, it's like, you know, it's hard to, it's hard to, it's, it's such hard a to, yeah, it's, it's, it's hard. But once you get to the point where you're at, that's where, you know, you're going to do it because you're at that point where you're frustrated and you're pissed off and you hate it. And, and that's the way it feels. Oh my God. It's right. Me. And that's a good sign because that means that you're now at the at the point where you're you're like you're you're frustrated enough where it's gonna get easier for you to decide. I hope so because you know what you know what worried me Stacey, the most. And see, it's when I quit that smoking the first time that I shot up to over four hundred pounds. Right. Right. And and that again. And that's there's, there's, that's another, there's another reason you're. Food. There's another reason that your 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 mind is trying to tell you not to quit. You know what I mean? But here's the thing. Would you rather be fat or have lung cancer? Well, I just don't know the choice. I don't want lung cancer. But um, honestly, if I was 400 pounds again, I don't know how I'd do it. Because I'm telling you, it took, first of all, it took me almost two years to get down to the weight I am now. Right. Which is, was a lot of work. And I haven't moved much weight off of me since then. But it hasn't gone back up at all. Right. I, I'm still losing, but it's very, very, very slow. But anyway, right. um. I gained up to over 400 pounds and became diabetic while I quit smoking. Yeah. And uh, I don't want to be 400 pounds again. I couldn't get up steps. Right. Because I could well, not haul my big butt up steps. Well, you won't be because you have to, you know, because you have to make that part of your plan. I mean, I quit smoking and I didn't gain that much, you know, like I didn't go up 400 pounds. Oh my God, I did. It was so people, cool. most people, when they quit smoking, you know, six X size, right? But you can, you can also just as much as you're quitting smoking, you can quit yourself from putting stuff I in your mouth. So. That you can, I really hope so because I just don't think I can do that again. It, I mean, but at the same time, I mean, I don't want to get cancer. I'm scared to death of it. And and. You know, like when I used to run the, the vape meets and I used to try to help people with quitting smoking, the whole point of vaping to me was to to drop down and eventually quit. I know. And I think that's what I tried, but I'm allergic to the vape stuff. Right. Well, and I mean, she it, knows how to make vape stuff and she has tried every formula for me. Right. And there's no, just, I'm allergic to it. 
No, right. I'm not saying you should vape. I'm just saying like something I used to teach them in the class because regardless of whether you use vaping or use a patch or you use nothing, it's, you know, you, there is, regardless, there's always going to be a withdrawal. There's always going to be something that's going to be different. That's not going to be the same as what you're used to. So it's going to cause you to have some sort of withdrawal or feeling of missing out on something, even if you're vaping, right. you know, it's never going to be exactly what you want. But, um, what I used to tell people is, you know, people that would like, you know, as I'd have, I do the beginner class every month and we had our meet up and we'd have, I'd have these women who were, you know, heavy smokers for, you know, they'd be in their 60s, 70s and they smoked for 50 years and all this stuff. And, I, and they're like, oh, I don't know. And they'd go, you know, ask all these questions about, you know, I don't know, you know, if they can do it and, and, you know, whatever. And I would say to them, I'd say, you know, here's the thing. My mother died of lung cancer and my mother wouldn't quit smoking for nothing, nothing. She tried, but she wouldn't get very far at all. And it was remarkable how fast she put the cigarettes down the second she was diagnosed with cancer. And I said, you know, I would say to the class, I would say, think about this. If you were told tomorrow that you have lung cancer, I guarantee you, you would quit. Even though it might not even save your life or help you at all. You would. But why wait till you get that diagnosis to do it? No, I know. I know. I tell myself all this stuff, Stacey. I do. I promise you. I tell myself all this stuff. And I also, too, mm -hmm. also, is thinking about all this money. Because, see, Jeannie buys my yeah. cigarettes. And all this money she's having spent because they're so expensive now. Right. And uh, and I don't think money can totally motivate you, but you would think some part of me would be motivated. That yeah. still needs a few more minutes, Carla, to, to cure. Um, I would be somewhat motivated by just knowing how much she's having to spend on cigarettes. It's outrageous now. They're like right. $8 a pack. Oh, I know. I know. Absurd. Same. Oh, that's ridiculous. It just feels awful all the way around. It feels awful every time I like one and all the way around and I feel terrible about it and I feel bad about it for and I hate the way it smells and all that stuff. But I'm so addicted, I guess. Well, that's how it unfortunately works. But just like you quit before, you can quit again. And no, I know, I know. Yeah, I just need y'all to just realize that I am, I am, no, I'm not I mean, really nearly smoking. I really don't want to be. No, and, and and I don't ever, I would never, you know, I'm not somebody who would ever judge somebody for smoking because I've been there. I know how hard it is. So, you know, I would just, I do, I do nothing but support whatever you're, how you do it, and how, you know, you have, because it's such an individual thing. You can't, nobody else can tell you what to do and how to do it. It's just not possible. And I went to, what's funny is I went, when we were still Army, they gave you free smoking cessation classes on the base. Yeah. And um, Scott was a smoker too, so we both went to the smoking cessation classes. And there was probably 10 or 12 people in that class and we'd come back for the next meeting and everybody would be like, and it was Wellbutrin that they use, which they don't call it Wellbutrin, right. they call it something else. But yeah. that's what they give you to take. Right. And everybody came mm -hmm. would come back to the classes and say, oh, the cigarettes taste terrible. I haven't wanted a cigarette in a week, blah, blah, blah. And I'll be like, I've been smoking twice as much now. And <laughs> the reason it didn't help me is because I was already on Wellbutrin. Right. As an antidepressant. <laughs> so yep. it's like you're giving me a thing to take that I already take. I right. take that too, Katie. Oh, do you? I take a, I take a sertraline and I take Wellbutrin and I take hydroxazine and I forget the other one. But anyway, um, how much? How much Wellbutrin? I don't know. I'd have to go look. I can't remember. Yeah, it's take... my top off medicine. Uh, not to be gross, y'all, but the sertraline kills all of my sex drive. Uh -huh. All of it, but if you add just a little Wellbutrin to your sertraline, it helps that issue. Yeah. That's what I take the Wellbutrin for. Oh, okay. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, did you, Kim, a smoking cessation class? Well, all the people would come in and say how they hated their cigarettes now. They taste nasty, and they hadn't smoked in a week. And I'd be like, um, this ain't working for me. Yeah. <laughs> Scott yeah. quit with it. Scott was able to quit completely. He quit completely smoking with that hmm. class. And I was still just puffing away. 
Yeah, I mean, I I think the patch was the thing that, like, besides vaping, of course, the patch was the thing that helped me the most. I had quit. Well, I had quit because I had gotten sick. I got bronchitis really bad. This was a long time ago. It was, like, probably 2004, 2003, 2004, because we were living in Jolton, and we only lived there for a year. So um, I had quit smoking because, well, I had, I wasn't smoking for like four or five days because of the bronchitis. I just couldn't smoke. And, and believe me, I tried, I didn't, but I just couldn't. I was so sick. I was sleeping. I had such a high fever and yeah. I just couldn't, I was always asleep anyway. I mean, I couldn't even stay awake long enough because I was so sick. And so by like the fourth day, I was like, well, I haven't smoked in this long. And since I'm still sick, I might as well not smoke and see how I feel when I, when I'm better. And when I was better, I was like, okay, well, I got over the major hump of it, I guess, because, um, you know, I, I was okay, but you know, it, it obviously got a little worse because I was, after I wasn't sick anymore, it was like, all right, you know, but I was able to just not smoke for like a, over a year. And then stupidly when my dog got sick one day and became diabetic and all this stuff, I got so nervous that my friend that took me to, to see the, took me to the vet, because at the time, I think me and Chris only had one car for whatever reason. But anyway, I ended up getting a cigarette off of her and that was that, and I went right back to it like an idiot. And then I said to myself, well, I'll never do that again if I quit again. And when I quit this time, obviously I went with vaping, it was a lot different and it was easier, but at the same time, you know, like I have zero desire for a cigarette. I would never in a million years touch a cigarette. And I did one time, like I was drunk one time and this was like oh, a few years ago and I was with friends and my friend was smoking and I could be around smoking. It doesn't bother me. And my friend was smoking. I said, let me see what it tastes like to smoke. And she's like, Oh, I don't want you to start smoking. Again. I said, trust me. I'll never happen. And I took a taste of her cigarette. I almost vomited. And I was like, Oh my God. I'm like, yeah, that first one I smoked in the car, I was gagging. It was so gross. Yeah, I, it doesn't say, bother me to be around it, though. It never did. I didn't yeah, have a problem with well, it. What had happened with us was I had pneumonia, and Jeannie was taking me to the emergency room because I was so sick. And we're in the car on the way to the emergency room that night. This is the first time when I quit smoking. And I went to light a cigarette in that car, and I was like, you're a freaking idiot. I could not breathe, and I was lighting a cigarette. <laughs> and I threw the pack of cigarettes and the lighter out the window and then they admitted me in the hospital. I think I was there three nights, four days. Yeah. And like I said, I just didn't have cigarettes. And so when I came out, I just never bought cigarettes again. I mean, I struggled not to buy them, but I just didn't. The pneumonia, that was the fourth time I had had pneumonia in my life. But it was the scariest because yeah. I could not breathe. My airways and everything were so clogged and so closed up. The, I, my pulse ox when I got to the hospital was like 60 or 70. Yeah. Wow. That's how little oxygen I was getting. Mm. Uh, oh, does it, Kim? I've never had a side effect from the Wellbutrin. Now I've had a side effect from the hydroxazine stuff. Well, man, I, what's wrong with I, me, I can't Kim? take Venaflax and it makes me hallucinate. Hmm. But it's just funny how, like, you know, we both quit when we were sick at one point. Yep. That's what I did. Yep. I just was like, well, you know. He was probably going 70 miles an hour trying to get me to the emergency room, and I'm sitting there lighting a cigarette in the car. <laughs> I was like, okay, you're an idiot. Uh, uh, you're a plum idiot. You cannot breathe, and you're trying to light this cigarette. And I did. I literally threw, uh, opened the car window and threw them right out the window. Sorry for the litter, y'all, but anyway. Hmm, that's fine. But I mean, that's, you know, sometimes it has to be that way. I just knew that, you know, I wasn't about to die the same way my mother died. And yeah, it took me longer than I wanted it to, to get there. I wanted to quit by the time I was 30, which was only three years after my mom died, but it just didn't happen that way. Well, my you know, niece had emphysema and it was soul crushing for me because little by little over time all of her organs started bleeding out inside yeah. of her and my mother was on oxygen for years hmm. cfpd so uh for me i guess that's just not a motivating factor i guess yeah yeah my mother had lung cancer at 63 and um only took her a, what two months to die and hmm. i just sat there and watched it you know yeah. while she 
And she said to me when she would, well, she was only coherent for maybe, I don't know, a week before they just loaded her up on morphine. And then she didn't know who I was. But she said, I wish you would quit smoking. Yeah. You're going to end up like me. And then, of course. Oh, I, I never knew you ever smoked, Janie, did you? Yeah. I was shocked, too, when she, when, when she said Remember that. Four packs? Four packs a day. Holy yeah. cow. Yeah. Yeah, four packs. Can you believe that? Holy when Jenny said that, I could not believe it. I was like, four packs a day? Yeah. Holy crap. That's insane. Oh, Jamie, I'm so glad you don't yeah. do that. Oh, my yeah. God. See, after she, when she said that, of course, I kicked the thing across. I was so angry. I quit for a year. Then we moved out here. And it was weird because we lived in this uh, complex, this townhouse. And there's a guy walking around. I remember talking to him and stuff. And he said, he said to me, so do you do cocaine? I'm like, <laughs> uh, no. And he goes, you will. I'm like, oh my God. What? Well, that freaked me out. Yeah. <laughs> I was over my friend Debbie. Four packs a day. What what did you what was your brand? What did you smoke? Um Salem Slim Lights. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's what you <laughs> with Salem. And when I'd run out of cigarettes and try to smoke one of her cigarettes. Oh <laughs> yeah, I did also the uh more cigarettes. Remember those? Yeah, no, I, I do. No, I don't remember that brand. I do. It looks like a cigar, thin cigar. Yep. Ew! <laughs> yeah, they are gross. Yeah, they're terrible. <laughs> but see, I didn't quit. I Well, I quit for a year, and then when that happened with that guy, I went over there, and I said, Debbie, can I have one of your cigarettes? She goes, I said, what? And I'm like, just, well, not, that, you know, that started it again, then. Then I quit when I was 33. Because is your husband a smoker? Never. Yeah, oh, really? He would say, "You know, you're killing me," and I go, uh, "I'm not quitting. I am not quitting." And Jamie's not a quitter. That's it. That's right. I am not a quitter, and I'll tell you, I'm not. A quitter. <laughs> I kept on smoking. So then we said, "Well, we're going to adopt Peyton." I said, well, I, you know, and I always smoked in the house. See, a lot of my friends never did, even though they smoked. I said, I smoked in my house. I know that's wrong, but I did. Yeah, I did too. I'm like, uh, I'm not walking outside. Well, they said, you know what? I don't want to smoke with a, kid <clears throat> and a baby in the house. So I said, I better start, you know, like not quitting, like start quitting now. And I said, I'll tell you what, I'll smoke in the garage. So, I took a cigarette out there, take a, take a couple puffs off of it, put it out, leave it there, go out, take a couple of it, let it there. I only took one cigarette, and I was done. Huh. I didn't pick out wow. any cigarettes again. That's good. I'm glad. Oh, my gosh. I can't yeah. go. imagine I'd be broke. There'd be no crafting. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> yeah $8 a pack. I mean, I had a hard time because I smoked like a pack a day, and I had a hard time like, well, a pack and a, a pack to a pack and a half a day. There were That's some days, yeah. yeah, some days a little more than others, but overall. But I mean, I if I smoked four packs a day, Chris would kill me because he didn't smoke or anything. He never smoked, and but he never bitched about my smoking. And I never like I, I was a very he would say he would always say I was a very clean smoker. I always I I smoked in the house, but I don't, I usually pretty much kept to one room. And I, I always had an exhaust fan going out the window and I'd sit right there or like, I don't know, or if I did smoke anywhere else, I was very like careful to like, I don't know, keep everything smelling as nice as possible. I do too. I'm obsessed with like, that's why I put my little, I put I mean, my little trash yeah, in my orders and I, I have a, two air freshener little plug-in things in here and then I yeah. air it out yeah. and I turn the fan on the air out because I'm just, I hate that. But the unfortunate thing is, is that no matter how much you do that, it doesn't matter. Smoking. No, it doesn't. doesn't. It filtrates everything. Yep. And it, that's what sucked for me is I always felt like, you know, no matter what I did, it was like, ugh, you know, it was everything so, in this room is in, in double plastic uh, Ziploc bags and yeah. inside totes. Mm -hmm. So it's inside doubled up bags and then inside a tote. Mm -hmm. And, um, 
you know, all that. But it, yeah. as far as your carpeting and your curtains, oh my gosh, it's you can't. It always is going to infiltrate that stuff. Yep. Right. Yeah, my mother and father did too, Kim. Oh, do you, Kim? You roll your own cigarettes? Wow. I used to yeah. when I was in uh when I was in high school and when I first was when I was done with high school and I was living with my boyfriend. We rolled our own cigarettes. <laughs> He taught me how because we didn't have a lot of money and it was so much cheaper to go to the store and buy the can of tobacco. Oh my god, it was so much cheaper. I never saw that. Where do you? I mean, they just sell. Literally, like, they well, yeah, they now they sell it. I think they sell it behind the counter, obviously, but it used to be just on the shelf. You know, we'd go and get this big oh, can, I never knew a that. coffee can filled with tobacco, and we yeah. would go. And he taught me how to roll. And I mean, I know how know. to roll a joint. Is it the same right. as rolling a joint? Yeah, it's kind of like rolling a joint, but it's a little bit, a little bit, you do it a little bit nicer. So it looks like, I mean, like a joint, people don't care and you can roll it where, however, but with a cigarette, you try to roll it a little nicer so that it, so that it, it, you know, so when you smoke it, it kind of like, you know, burns a little more evenly and stuff. Evenly, yeah. Yeah, 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 I know. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, he you taught me how to roll a cigarette. Maybe a little bit better, maybe. Yeah, I mean. You can do whatever you want, but I mean, he taught me how to roll a cigarette um, pretty good, and he was really good at it. He can he made it look, it look just like a damn cigarette at the factory when he did it. And he would. Do you do huh? it by your hand, or you use some kind of machine to do it? We had both. We we would do it by hand, but we also had this thing, which I didn't like. It used to frustrate me because it wouldn't get it it wouldn't get it packed tight enough. Um, and it would be okay, but it was like this thing and you put the tobacco in and you'd roll it. It had this, it was like a wood thing that I don't know where the hell he got it from. I have no idea, I but and, and it would help those. you roll it. It would help you roll it. And it was helpful at first for me to get me yeah. started, but then I had to pick it up and do it. And then I learned how to do it. And it was just easier for me to do it in my hand. I would use, actually use a piece of paper. And what I would do is take a, which is how he taught me to do it. So you take like a piece of paper like this, you know, not this big, like like half of this, like let's say it was this big, and you you fold it and you put the paper, the rolling paper in it, and then you put the tobacco in it, and then you would do this thing where you take the paper, you start it off. I'm trying to remember. I don't remember if you if you you did this after. No, you did it before you actually licked it and started to seal it and you would roll it back and forth until it got real real tight and he knew how to do it really good and i was he taught me and i knew how to do it pretty good too but yeah he you know did you filter, have a way to put a filter or was it always yeah, it, no we we bought filters we would buy filters and put them on there because i said i won't smoke it without filter and you can buy the filter things and that you roll it into the cigarette and he was really good at that and you have to do it when you're rolling the cigarette or you can buy the the filter that is like the plastic thing and you use a reusable one and you just stick the thing your cigarette in mm -hmm. i like the other ones better because the disposable ones that you buy even though it's a little more expensive but it still was way cheaper than buying cigarettes at the store hell yeah and, and it was just, they like, smoke it here anywhere. He, would never, he, would, he would put his cigarettes in a marlboro box and you would never be able to tell that they were they were hand rolled People, he would, he would offer them a cigarette. They would take it and go, oh, what kind is this? Because, yeah, it didn't taste exactly like a marble, but they would never know it wasn't store-bought by the way he rolled it because he was good at what he did. He was so good at it. I was not that good, but I was, you know, you could tell mine was a little homemade, but it wasn't, you know, it wasn't too bad. Well, I wouldn't care what it looked like as long as, uh, you know, it was yeah, cheap. Smoked fine. Smoked perfectly fine. My brother-in-law would go to he, Canada. He had it down to like an art. Because he was good at, he was just good at stuff like that. He was one of those people that was good at everything. Huh. Yeah, they go over to Canada and get them. Oh, they do? That's when we would live in, we were in Pennsylvania. Because it's cheaper? Cigarettes yeah. are cheaper there? Yeah, they were real, well, at the time. Yep, his parent. well, not his parents, but his, his brother would. Yeah, roll, roll with a run. machine. He had a, a thing that did it, a machine. And I don't know if they have different machines now. People back in the, uh. In the 90s like early 90s and then yeah, of course i graduated did not having to do that after a while because it was annoying to have to roll them because most of the time i depended on him to roll them all for me because he'd roll me an entire pack in like half an hour and i i didn't have to do it but once when we weren't together well by the time we were in living up in north jersey we were just buying them anyway so but I, I couldn't do it now. My fingers would never allow it. It just wouldn't happen. Oh man, I got that crooked. 
jerk. Or we do that. But he was he had gone to prison, so he knew how to prison roll a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I'm telling you, they if anybody knows how to roll a cigarette, it's somebody that was in prison. They know how to roll a cigarette. <laughs> You cannot. They can. You, there's nobody that. You know can they won't like let that. you smoke in prison anymore. I think that's just no. Awful. I know they don't. Like, yeah, back when it was just awful kid. to me. I'm like, you're already caged somebody up. Let them have their damn cigarettes for God's sake. Yeah. yeah. Oh, they get it anyway. So. Yeah, they do. Birth mark. I know I had it out here somewhere. You just said that a minute ago. I thought you found I it. I know. Oh, here it is. Oh, I look. Look, I. <sighs> well, what was I going to tell y'all? The other day. I grabbed one and I got it out and I said, Where's my birth mark? And I went and grabbed another one. And the other one was sitting right here. <laughs> I'm really losing it if that's what's happening. The other day I was working with my wire and I was sitting in the living room and a wire flung on me. It went flinging and I could not find it and I could not find it. I could not find it. It was stuck in my shirt collar. <laughs> in the back, like stuck up into the collar part of it. Wow. I was like, if I tried to get that thing to land in that collar like that on purpose, you couldn't do it if you tried a thousand years. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay. Can I take a picture with my camera even though I'm here? Oh, let me see. Oh, okay. I don't know. It said, sometimes it says your camera is already in use when yeah. I want it. Yeah, oh, that does for me too. <laughs> All the time. No idea why, but. <coughs> Ow! Busted my toe on that thing. But. Okay, it acted like it took a picture. <laughs> Let me see if it took a picture. It's all good. Uh. A pound bag. I'm going to get, well, Jeannie might say she ain't into that, but I'm going to ask her if she's interested. She can go find some loose tobacco. I never saw it in our stores, but I don't look either. So, yeah, they have it. I mean, they probably have it behind the counter somewhere. Oh, it just takes a picture of the thing that says camera not available. <laughs> Okay, I guess I'll be finished in a minute. Little, little, I don't know if Carla's is Carla still here. It's all right. No. I finished. I finished shining that up, Carla. I put the wax on, let it sit for about fifteen minutes, and then I buffed it with my Dremel. And so I think it's prettier. It's shined up, shown up. Oh, that's really pretty. Proper that's word, really is pretty. It? But I'm gonna get them up listed today, but because I can't use my camera right now to take the picture. Because it says it's in use, which it is in use, which is. Oh, it wouldn't let you take it? No, it took a picture of the sign that says camera is, is already oh. in use. <laughs> <laughs> it's confused. It's confused. <laughs> Thank you, Carla. Okay, my fingers are a little bit rested. Let me see if I can get this wrapped. I'm just wrapping the frame pieces together. That's what I'm doing right now. Oh, let me turn this light off. I don't really need it right now. Look how much darker it is without it. Mm. Oh, I didn't show you all my little box finish, did I? 
My little wood box. I never showed it to y'all. Oh, hold on, let me. Show us her box. Show it. The decorative box. Not the other one. The fancy box. <laughs> So that's how it turned out. Ooh, look how pretty. Oh, that one came out really uh, nice. Oh, it really made a difference once I waxed it, didn't it? I yeah. Yeah. And then I that put the really little, nice. little feet on it. Mm -hmm. wow. It's got the pretty. Oh, that's really pretty. Wow. And then for the liner that was in the box. This is felt that I just put in there that you could take out. Yeah. And I just covered the liner oh, with the with some wallpaper I had. Yeah. Pretty. Oh, it looks good. Yeah. And I'm putting a stop on it for the inside, a lid yeah. stop. But I had to order because the eyes I have are too big. Oh. And it's taking forever for them to get here, just like it did the hinges. But anyway, it's they're on the way. The little oh, eyes are pretty. Thank you, guys. I know who will want that. Hmm. I wonder who will want it. I hope somebody wants it. It's already listed on my website. Renee right? wants it. I guarantee Renee will want it. Why? She really loved dragonflies? Yes. Well, it's listed on my site now. I'll, I'll send her the link. Make sure I send her the link if she's not here. And I'll take better interior pictures. I was just waiting until those eyes got here for me to put them on there to put the stop on. Um, I had eyes, which so stupid. I should have checked them before I had ordered the hinges because I could have ordered it all at one time. Yeah. But, you know, in my mind, those eyes were a certain size, but they're not because look how big they are. Oh, and that's, yeah. And that's way oh, too big. Yeah. So then I had to order smaller ones. She wants to know if it's Paul Merkley. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, uh, well, it's multiple, yeah. It's polymer clay. This is all resin that I colored. Uh, the, all these bits are polymer clay. Um, the the dragonfly is wired on to this. This is wire armature that I then put polymer clay. And then I painted all the painting parts I did with Genesis paints. And then the resin was colored with... Um, Acrylic paint, alcohol ink, and something else that I don't remember now. Hmm. And then I had sanded my little box real good, and then I waxed the box so it'd be real shiny. But I mean, it is an older box. I got it from uh, Stacy's auction, so there are some little blemishes. But I think that just adds character to it. Yeah. yeah. And then I just took bag feet that I had, drilled a hole, put the bag feet, the metal feet through. And they're underneath the liner. The the liner is in there permanently now because I glued it down to the box. Yeah. Well, all we're waiting on now is the little eyes to make the little catch so the lid won't fall all the way back. There's wire under the wings. Let's see if I can get you. I painted the underside of the wings silver, Kim. And there's wire armature that goes through the body and through the head and then wire armature that's outside the body that holds the wings up. And if you decide to do something like this, Kim, just be aware once you've made your wings and you have to reheat another portion of this for some reason, make sure you have something propping your wings when you put it in the oven. Otherwise, the wings will collapse on you. Until you have them permanently wired, they won't stay stable until you do. Thanks, guys. And what I do, Kim, just so you know, is I just make these big globby polymer clay things. 
out of leftover dirty clay. <laughs> they look silly, but they work really good. So you just take the blobs of, of your clay that are left over that's all dirty and blob it together and see where I've got holes to because then you can prop something like this up in the oven to cook cook it or like for my wings I could rest the wing you know on the two blobs and that helped it keep its shape so just save up your gross clay and don't throw it away and then just bake it into a big glob and you can have little props like that I have a bunch of those too and little <laughs> ones. They're so silly looking I know but they work don't they oh yeah they work I have a yeah bunch of scrap clay from put it on there Yep. I was watching somebody one day and they kept calling it their dirty ball. <laughs> <laughs> the dirty ball is cracking me up. You got a dirty bum? <laughs> dirty bum? Dirty ball. It sounds like a it sounds like a like a drug or something. You want some dirty ball? Yeah, some dirty ball. <laughs> He would say, and then I use my dirty ball. <laughs> He's a really interesting guy. He uh, he does 